shops, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We're live every day from 8am to 11pm. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly Good morning, welcome to Jewelry Maker. I'm Hannah Stewart, taking you through until one o'clock this afternoon, joined by our lovely Jinda Bromwell. Oh, good morning, How are you, Linda. Good, Linda. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but yeah. I'll just, uh, should we just open up the text and uh, see if you can guess what the topic of conversation was <laughs> two minutes ago? Gin. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. wow. Well, yeah. It wouldn't be a normal yeah, morning saying, if it, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's, yes, it, it can be a topic of, of any moment. Yeah. <laughs> Linda will be with us until one o'clock this afternoon. Gorgeous kits today, by the way. Um, I've got Shibori. Well, oh, I've got Linda's got Shibori uh, in one of the kits coming up as well. It's beautiful at 12 o'clock for you. And the first kit, what time do we do the first kit, Scott? Nine o'clock. I'm not used to these early mornings, you see. Uh, loads and loads of treats. 95 solid sterling silver. Lots of it for you this hour. And let me just show you the deal of the day as well. A uh, really pretty um, bracelet. These have been so popular over the last couple of weeks. And in fact, um, just last year, last week, the uh, awards, um, the popcorn chain, which also came in two halves, uh, win product of the year. This is going to be very, very popular. So the deal of the day coming up for you at 11 a.m. this morning. Lots and lots of treats. Aquamarine coming up at about 11.30 for you. This is really, really pretty. Wow. Check this out for colour and clarity. It's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? It's so beautiful. It's so sparkly. It's really blue It as is. Well. It's the, yeah, that is, really that is the definition of aquamarine, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. And it's going under £30. Amazing. Um, Black Onyx. Look at this. Wow, this is beautiful. This is like, this must be a huge carrot weight, huge, huge carrot weight. All of these gemstones, you're black, black onyx. When was the last time we saw black onyx? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It'll go really nicely, actually, with the first kit. We've got some black agates in yeah. there. Yeah, it would do. This is going to go with anything, isn't it? It's really, really beautiful. Very high end. 14 carrots coming up for you in the 9 o'clock hour this morning as well. I might have to get me one of those. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. Very dressy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Chrome Black Side coming up for you. Sapphire coming up for you. Oh, really beautiful necklace. Beautiful chain there as well. And some yellow beryl. Wow. I don't see that every day of the week, do we? Um, right. Um, Sterling Silver. Let's have a look at. Oh, I've got this. And me. I have this. Do you know, I wore this on my wedding day. 
Did you? Yeah, it has an anklet. It has an anklet oh, made out of this chain. Beautiful. Only 20 left. It's been an absolute age since I've seen this chain. It's so, so pretty. Um, stars and hearts never date, do they? No, They're and I mean, a chain like that is, is so useful, isn't it? I mean, it makes the most fantastic sort of uh, tassel drop earrings, yeah. tassels, let alone just being your standard um, chain in the standard way. Mm. Um, really really good. Well, you don't really need to do a lot to it except add a clasp if you if you don't yeah. want to add to it. It's decorative mm. enough, isn't it? That's exactly what I did just for yeah, the uh, the anklet pretty. that I wore. Just yeah. added a clasp and that was it. Good to go. Those stars are so so pretty because you've got a big flat surface there. You've got so much lustre. So they are literally just twinkling away. Like they these are. Stars. Uh, in the second kit today, we've got some Siroski and um, some gorgeous little size 15 seed bead yeah. silver ones. Ooh. And I've actually sort of made star earrings which will really work beautifully yeah. off the drop of that. They would, wouldn't they? Yeah. They look stunning. This is fantastic. Now, a metre long length. If you want to, you could get two 16-inch lengths for necklaces uh, very, very easily. And you still have a 7-inch length left over for a bracelet. Um, or you could, if you wanted to, go for kind of five 7-inch bracelets or anklets. No, see, even Gorgeous. from there, look at the luster. I wouldn't do anything to well, this. The only I thing so I would pretty. do to add to that would be to multiply it, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, it? you'd have to. When you, you know, we've only got 20 left and already you're coming in nice and early. Really easy to get involved here at Joy Maker. All you need to do is dial 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. If you put anything in your basket today, just make sure you're checking out as soon as you possibly can. Always very busy here in the mornings at Jewelry Maker. So well done if you've already checked out. Come in nice and early. Get this home. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, um, which doesn't start from today, actually. It starts from the day that you get this delivered to your door. And then you've got 30 days to think about it. So, you know, day 25, if you think, oh, I haven't used it yet, I'm probably not going to use it. Just send it back. And do you know what? Even if you've already made jewellery, even if you've already made a full suite, you can still send it back. All that we ask is that you send your jewellery pieces back as well and we will give you your money back. No quibbles whatsoever. Uh, a metre of 925 solid sterling silver chain with your beautiful star links on here. WJRF38 and we're at £14.95. That is for a metre. I mean, what would you sell a bracelet for, Linda, do you think? A sterling silver bracelet just, just from that with yeah. a clasp on. I would definitely wouldn't put under £29.95. You couldn't. No, could you? you couldn't. I mean, it's that's a sort of a price where you think you don't have to think about it really. Mm. You just think it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's sterling silver. It's. I mean, my daughter would be all over that. Like, um, yeah. Immediately, yeah. she would because she loves delicate jewellery. Me too. And as I say, that sometimes you just want some an easy make. Yeah. Um, and you'll find that a lot of people that buy um, at craft fairs and that look for this type of product. Mm -hmm. They look for yeah. easy wearable because it is so wearable. That's it. It's everyday wear exactly. as well, isn't it? Exactly. You can wear it with yeah. absolutely any outfit whatsoever. Well done if you've managed to check that out already. If you've not, oh look, multi buyers as well. That's what I'd do. Well done. Okay, about four in baskets and only four remaining. Right, uh, ooh, magnetic clasps. These are so handy, so, so handy. Um, if you are somebody that suffers with dexterity problems or you are simply somebody that is constantly applying hand cream, like myself. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I can never, it, it takes me an absolute age to do up bracelets and necklaces just because I'm always putting hand cream on, even when I'm not here. Um, but no, if you have dexterity problems, then magnetic clasps are fantastic because it can be quite fiddly sometimes, can't it, with, with your bolt wing clasp and your lobster claw fastening as well. So magnetic clasps are brilliant. They're absolute godsend they are. Now you've got two of them. 925 sterling silver and you may think okay well it's a magnetic clasp so surely if i catch that on something isn't that gonna pull apart but they're very very cleverly made <clears throat> in that to get that apart you actually have to pull it out and then across it's oh, not it doesn't kind of just slide across so it fits in nice and snug so that if you do for whatever reason do catch the chain that's attached it's not going anywhere it's not going to go anywhere so you've just got to um pop that on very easily and it's always easy to get a magnetic clasp on obviously because of the mechanism that you've got there so just to get that off you just need to pull that out before you pull it across and that's that little added safety feature that you've got there as well which is brilliant because let's face it when it comes to jewelry making i think the most important thing is security isn't it because whether you're wearing jewelry yourself or you're selling your jewelry 
you don't want it to break, you don't want to lose that piece of jewellery, so security is very, very important. You've got a big, big gram right here. I mean, look how much silver you've got in just one of these. 4.2 grams is a huge, huge amount. You've got your 925 stamp just on the back there as well. 0800, 644, 655. I would be coming in, multi-buying these, and just having them as an extra on my craft stall to offer to my customers. Absolutely. You know, if anybody kind of says, yeah. well, actually. I mean, you know, I mean, you've got sort of say, let's say half a chance at doing a clasp up across, you know, the back of your neckline, because you've got two hands working on it. Yeah. But when you've got a bracelet, you've actually only got one hand to do it up on. Yeah, you're You know, right. so magnetic clasps are fantastic for that. Yeah, they're brilliant, aren't they? Fabulous. Have them on your craft store so that you can, you know, if somebody does come along and say, oh, actually, you know, I struggle with a, with a bolt and clasp, can't actually wear that design, you could always just offer to change it for them. 10.95 is all you're paying this morning for both of these. And as a director, Ollie just pointed out as well, the design of these is beautiful. It's almost quite vintage, I think, as well. The detail in this is exceptional. Really, really pretty. Uh, Collecting Buckinghamshire, well done. Joyce in Essex has come in and got two of these, so well done to you, Joyce. Uh, Veronica in West Lothian, you've got two as well. So that's actually four pieces that you're going to get. Do take advantage of these deals when they're on screen because we never, ever know when they're going to come back or if they're even going to ever come back. DC RF50, loads of you, and pretty much every person that's checked out so far is multi-buying. That's exactly what I would be doing. Do you know, from midnight last night, right through until midnight tonight, you've only got one postage and packaging. That is £2.95 standard here in the UK. And that doesn't matter how many pieces that you order from us here at JM within that 24 hours. You could have ordered 100 pieces and your package could weigh a ton and it will still only be £2.95. Well done. Fabulous. Right. Uh, sorry, Scott. Uh, ooh. Paradise. Ooh. Look at that colour. Just so vibrant, isn't it, Peridot? Um, these are beautiful. Now, over the last, again, few weeks, these have been really, really popular components here at Jewelry Maker. We've had lots and lots of connectors. In fact, yesterday, your deal of the day was a turquoise connector. Um, yesterday, they were really popular. And I think they're so popular because it's such an easy make and they're so versatile. So your connectors, um, you could pop them into bracelet designs if you wanted to. You could pop them into earrings. You can pop them into pendants. You know, they're just so... If you can open and close a jump ring... Absolutely. Get yeah, them into your totally. Stance. Absolutely, completely. And then if you can open and close a jump ring and attach a clasp, like the clasp, that you've just, the magnetic yeah. clasp onto that... Um, then again, that's an easy make, but it looks so high. Well, it is high yeah, end. It doesn't yeah, yeah. even look it. It is mm. high end. And again, in the, in the, in the boutique jewellers, you know, you're going to be looking in high double figures. Yeah, of course. Very high double figures. Yeah, definitely. For, for an Especially like for kind that, of ready eight made. carats. Yeah. And you've got eight carats here, and look at the colour in every Beautiful. single one. Do you know, I've always said this about Peridot, because here at Jewellery Maker, a lot of the time we bring you um, bead quality. But Peridot... I don't think I've ever seen a sample of Peridot where I've said, yeah, it's bead quality. No, it's no. always gemstone yeah, quality, yeah, isn't it? Clarity and colour is just fantastic with this. Um, so you've got eight carats across five gemstones there. So you're looking at approximately one and a half there or thereabouts. Very early for maths. Um, a big, big carat weight per gemstone there. Now, Tracy Spurgeon was here a couple of weeks ago um, on a show with myself. And, uh, and do you know, I asked her then about bezel setting because it's something that I've always thought about. I thought, well, how easy would it be if, if I wanted to do this? You know, if I wanted to bezel set to gemstone into a connector and she had no words. She just said, you wouldn't even attempt it. The time it would take you exactly. to, to, to set that gemstone into the silver to spend all that time yeah, burnishing exactly. and polishing and everything yeah. else. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a com it. it's a sort of um, a commitment, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic commitment and it's a beautiful end product. But mm. um, to be honest, I'm almost certain that this is definitely going to be more cost effective, yeah, to be truthful. I think so too, I, especially with the prices of silver Absolutely. right now having risen as much as they have as well. So, you know, if you wanted to do this, as, as, whoopsie, uh, as Linda said, you know, it's kind of a labour of love, um, you know, uh, being a silversmith or working with your silver clay and such. I would come in, 
and I would just get these as they are. We've done all the hard work for you. You've got gemstone quality there. And we're at just £19.95 for you this morning. That is under £4 each for you. You've got solid 95 sterling silver and a massive, massive carat weight per gemstone there. Um, the popcorn chain that we've got coming up, the deal of the day, how about you just pop one yeah. of these onto the popcorn chain? Perfect. That, it would be perfect, Absolutely wouldn't it? Absolutely perfect. Really I mean, useful. I think Peridot set in silver is quite Victoriana as well. Yeah. It's, quite, it's very vintage, and I think it would take me back because the Victorians love their coloured gemstones. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely love them. And Peridot was incredibly popular, mm. and it's remained up there since then. Yeah, yeah. It's, beca it's, it's very... Um, it's a very uplifting gemstone. I think so. Isn't it, yeah, and yesterday I was dream. talking to my friend. We were talking. Um, she'd been down her garden for something, and she'd just seen a little lily of the valley pop through. Oh. And she said, "Oh, that made me feel really joyful." Yeah. And I think the peridot does that for you. Yeah, it does. It's, it's one of those like gemstones. Colour, yeah. Definitely. And going into the spring, of course, which will soon be here, you've got the perfect, perfect gemstone. You've got that spring-like freshness, that beautiful vibrancy that is very uplifting. It works great with peridot. Uh, works great with peridot. <laughs> Of course it does. Uh, works great with citrine, um, <laughs> works great with amethyst, works great with appetite amber, as well. Amber, it, it just, works oh, stunning with ooh, amber. Do you know I've got an amber connector on? Just so Amber happens. and peridot are absolutely glorious together. And that's very kind of mother nature, yes. isn't it? Yes, yeah, it you're is, isn't it? You're yeah. there. That does look fantastic together. Lots of you coming through. Well done. Uh, IKUD76, you've got five pieces five pieces four pounds each that's incredible and again you know if you put one of those on the deal of the day that's got to be a 40 pounds bracelet oh, easily, hasn't it easily yeah, yeah absolutely love it um right oh no <gasps> right um if you're half asleep <laughs> right now just you know maybe you set your television to you could get alarms on televisions i didn't know this until very recently um yeah, mate, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't know either? Oh, thank oh. goodness. I think it was just me. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can set an alarm on a television and the television will wake you up. This is oh brilliant. Oh, gosh, I don't she think I could cope with that. Set jewelry maker. Can you imagine what the program the might be or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind yes. of that, isn't it? Or, or sometimes, you know, if you, if you have the... So the choice is, the option is your... Yeah, your alarm, your, your clock alarm, you, you, that makes a terrible, terrible noise, or then you can set the radio. And the thing is, it, uh, this always happens to me, if it's the radio alarm that goes off, that song, no matter what it is, will be in my head all yeah, day. Exactly. Even if it's the worst song ever, you know, it will stick in my head all day. So, you know, as far as alarms go, I think that's not a bad option, setting jewelry maker to come on at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so if you have uh, <laughs> set your television alarm, or maybe you just sat there half asleep, you know, and you put jewelry maker on at eight o'clock in the morning, just until you come round a little bit, to, just until you've had, I don't know, eight, nine cups of tea, um, then uh, I would sit upright now and pay attention because this is going to be the most affordable strand of fluorite I have ever, ever seen. Carrot weight versus price tag this makes no sense whatsoever. Well, three pounds, don't spill your tea. Three pounds and 95 pence for you this morning. That's ridiculously low, 3.95. If you're making a pair of earrings and just using two of these gemstones, you could easily double your money. On the whole strand. Yeah, most definitely. 3 95 it's bonkers. That's really, ridiculous. I'd, I'd be getting kind of four or five of these, I think. Fluorite is one of my favourite gemstones. So my top six are all green gemstones. I've got Zambian Emerald at number one. I've got Chrome Dark Side at number two. At one and a half, I've got about 15 gemstones. <laughs> and Fluorite, I can't make my mind look, see. Uh, fluorite <laughs> is there. It's always up there for me. It's yeah. such a beautiful I think the, gemstone. The, and the colours are really attractive as well, aren't they? Sort of yeah. subliminally, if you know what I mean. Purple and blues and pinks mm. and the greens and that are really, really attractive yeah. colours. Um, and uh, as far as perhaps somebody new to jewellery making as a beginner, uh -huh. um, it's a nice round and yeah. they're lovely colours and there's nothing, you know, there that, that you can't make, mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever, whether it's earrings, necklaces, uh, bracelets, brooches, whatever, it's yeah. going to work. And as I say, it from would. a jewellery maker point it of would view, fair, yeah. definitely. Uh, they've sold out. I don't think any of my personal shoppers will be up at this time. 
Um, sorry, Scott. Oh, oh. Do you know what? I love this. Think Gucci. Think Dior. Think Chanel. I'm just, I'm just wiping my fingerprints. Off it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to put it in my bag. <laughs> oh, um, that's gorgeous. Oh, Linda, Isn't I love it? this. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. Only been on air once before with myself. Uh, Try to pinch it then as well. <laughs> um, it's absolutely, I mean, look at that. You know, I've seen, and, and I think we do this as jewellery lovers, don't we? We always tend to pop along to those designer websites and just, you know, kind of wish and dream <laughs> that, that one day we'll have that piece of jewellery. I have seen pieces so similar to this, you know, um, that are Gucci, that are Dior, that are Chanel. You've got a real designer look. It's very classy. It's very chic. It's very simple. It's very elegant. It's that one piece, I think, if somebody perhaps that you know doesn't necessarily like to wear lots of jewellery, but just likes a little bit of something, I think you'd be on to an absolute winner with this. I mean, look how expensive this looks, Linda. Absolutely, totally. It's so sophisticated. It's one of those pieces that you probably yeah. wear and not take off. Yeah. Um, and whatever you put on, it's going to work with completely. Mm -hmm. And it's something that it doesn't really, in any, in, in any form, I would imagine, wouldn't have any form of a negative response to it. No. It's impossible. I know, yeah, it's just so, this is what I mean, I think it's, it's something for everyone. Exactly. Isn't it? It's such exactly. a great design, it's something for everyone. The luster from this is blinding, isn't it? It really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Now, you could also, if you wanted to, I'm sure if you've got your uh, mini stamps, or you could, um, What's the word? Emboss. Yeah, uh, engrave. Engrave. Engrave, that's that was the word yeah. I was looking for. Yeah, engrave onto that if you wanted to as well. You could personalise it, have a name on there, you could have a significant date Absolutely. on there if you wanted to. It looks like solid gold. It does gold. as well, and as it, it's got a little jump ring attachment, hasn't it, yeah. to it. So you could add um, another gold jump ring and perhaps add a black diamond or a black spinel or something mm. like that to it, um, which, would, which would sort of make it perhaps um, interchangeable yeah. a little bit, add a little charm, any yeah. little charm to it would, would That's just it. change it quite and, a lot. Yeah, you'd have that movement. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dreamy, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah like a little birth, yeah. add a birthstone to it, fabulous. Mm. That I love, love, love this. Um, this is the gold one. I had the silver one the other day, so I managed to get myself the silver one. I'm going to have to get the gold one as well. You know, I am a silver girl, yeah. but this particular component in gold looks amazing. It really is pretty. £14.95 wow. for you as well. That is a fantastic, fantastic deal. All those designers that I've mentioned, can you imagine a £14.95 price tag? I don't think so. I think you'd have another figure in front of that one, wouldn't you? Absolutely would. This is just beautiful. Do you know what? Do you know what I would do with this? If you're a little bit unsure, get it home and wear it for, for a couple of days. You know, that during the new 30 day money back guarantee, and just count the number of compliments you get or how many people say to you, oh, where did you get that from? Yeah, to be honest, although it's, it's sort of, um, you look at it, oh, that, you know, it's still really quite unusual, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. Uh, you know, the slimness of that sort of, um, my goodness, I've forgotten what they used to call them, uh, ingot. It's got yeah, like an ingot yeah, shape, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 definitely. But such, um, you know, that, the, the length and the slimness mm. of it just makes it look so sophisticated. So elegant and so high-end. I love this. Lots of you coming in and multi-buying on this one as well. This is the kind of piece, Linda, that I think, I'm going to get this for somebody. I don't know anybody with a birthday coming up um, or anything but I need to find somebody I can buy it for because it's well, so feel lovely. Feel free, you know, no, no problem there. <laughs> you know, you can Gender Brumwell. Practice on me, yeah. not a problem. But it's one of those, because mm -hmm. you know sometimes it you is. see a really good yeah. deal and something that's so nice, you're thinking, who can I buy this for? Who can I buy it for? Because it's so beautiful. Obviously yourself, but I mean, uh, other people as well. Michelle hopkins has got two. Diane in Wiltshire's got two. Congratulations, UAIL63. This one's going to be coming home with me today. Mm. Uh, Susan Grace Grant says, good morning everyone. What size is the bar, please? I shall just give it a measure for you. Um, let's have a look. It is approximately one and a half inches. One and a half inches, that drop there. It's just brilliant. Oh, really? Ah. Ollie just said that his, his mum's diabetic and she has to wear um, one of those bracelets. He's like, you could stamp some information on there just, just to, oh, I love that. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, for that price tag, 
you would wear it every day, wouldn't you? Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence for you this afternoon. Even if you sold this on, Linda, I wouldn't be selling this for less than thirty pounds. Oh no, no, absolutely not. Yeah. No, I think you'd be crazy if you did, because I think people would probably question it then, wouldn't yeah. they? You've got to put the sort of a feasible price to it, and certainly fourteen ninety-five just isn't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the gold one as oh. well. Oh my days! It's a bit early for this. <laughs> oh. This is huge. This is absolute. This is a monster of a pearl. Oh, goodness me. Look at this. Look how perfectly spherical it is as well. Tahitian pearls. Do you know this is one gemstone I never, ever thought we would ever have here at Jewelry Maker. Never thought we'd have Tahitian pearls. Um, we are, I mean, we, we pride ourselves on, on fantastic prices and incredible quality gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. You know, there, there's some gemstones that we still can't get and don't bring here at Jewelry Maker. Tahitian pearls, I always thought, whoopsie, um, would be one of them. And if, you, if you're watching on the web right now, open up a new tab and just type in Tahitian pearls. Go above seven millimeters if you can. I just have a look at prices because I doubt very much that you will find anything under £600 for a, for a 7 millimetre. This is 11 millimetres in size. Oh, this is huge. It's not just, this is the thing, it's not just 11 millimetres, it's perfectly spherical. Oh my days, in terms of value for this, I am seeing the pound signs. Absolutely. I really am. Now, pearls, um, there's lots of different locations for pearls. We bring you, you know, freshwater culture pearls here at Jewelry Maker, um, Tahitian pearls very, very occasionally. Um, you know, you can get South Sea pearls as well, which are highly considered and sought after. Um, and, and depending on where the pearl is from, the size of the pearl, uh, the roundness of the pearl, I've just heard a conversation mm. in my ear. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, Director Ollie's looking at a 10 to 11 millimetre Tahitian pearl. Exactly like this. Yeah. 365, we've managed to buy one under 500. That's, that's, that's good. That's really good. That's really, really good, that price tag. I'm shocked you found one that low. Um, if you trust me, start dialing now. If you are shopping with the state jewelry maker, this is the time to open up your order. I'm not going to talk about prices anywhere else or what we're going to do here for a minute, but I don't sell jewelry, but knowing what I know about Tahitian pearls, the size of this, how perfect this is, and prices elsewhere, this for me, Linda, would not be under two hundred pounds, oh, no matter where I'm selling. No, absolutely not. Absolutely, not. I. Oh my word! <laughs> but don't you think the bail as well is really beautiful? Stop. It just complements that pearl. That looks so like a diamond. Beautiful. Um, I um, have um, every year. I have my little Christmas dinner party for my two best girlfriends and their husbands. Oh. And um, strangely enough, both of these ladies mm. are completely diverse in their jewellery right. uh, likes, exactly polar opposites. Mm -hmm. But honestly, hand on heart, I made them both this pearl, this mm. um, bail, and um, a fine silver chain, and it was little table presents. Okay, I'm going to I'm, your I'm, house this year. A little table, table present. present. Yeah, a table wow. present. Because you came from Jewelry Maker, and yeah. that was on uh, the 23rd of December. And I just waited for reactions. And both of them, you know, literally for a millisecond couldn't speak. Yeah. Um, and, and they both absolutely love them. But they are both polar oh. opposites in what they like in jewellery. So, you wow. know, it's just a complete love affair with Tahitian pearls. You cannot other than love them. You cannot go wrong. Now, can I just say that already loads of these has gone. Now, how happy are you at £34.95? 
It is Friday um, and we are just about to make your week right here at Jewelry Maker. Not £34.95. You have got to be kidding me. VXWD03. There is no way that we will be beaten on price tag. No way. Anywhere else, it's just not going to happen. I'm so confident in saying that. An 11mm genuine Tahitian culture pearl you've got here with 925 sterling silver. It doesn't, I don't think, mention the gemstone that's in the mount on the graphicals there. Ah, topaz there. It's just there's too much on there. 10 points. Do you know, and, and Linda, you'll know this as well, if, you know, if you wanted this clarity in a diamond, you'd be paying an absolute arm and a leg. Absolutely, completely. And, I mean, let's face it, to be absolutely honest, and, I mean, I like to think I know my gemstones, but yeah. I wouldn't know whether that was a diamond or a topaz. I wouldn't exactly, have a clue. Exactly, exactly, because you've got diamond-like clarity, exactly. you've got diamond-like brilliance there. That's stunning. Our guest designer, Alison, is in. Early bird. Says, morning, ladies, and all at JM Towers. Popped on before going out and had two of these. <laughs> Not fallen in your basket, Alison, have they? <laughs> oh, see ya. Uh, sending much love. Oh, love to you too, Alison, and well done. I mean, you've got two, Alison, you know. Maybe that, that one <laughs> can yeah. just be for somebody You don't else. need a spare, yeah, you don't Alison. Need two. You don't need no. Spare. Um, well done. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Do you know what? If our, if our um, employees, guest designers, presenters, crew, we're always here. You always see somebody's name on the call screen. If they're, shop, if they're, if they're, they're tuning in at 8.30 in the morning and getting involved, you know it's good. You know it's good. They are nearly gone. If by any slim chance there's any left. Do you know what? I'll be getting a couple of these when I come off air today. I'll be popping them onto a 95 sterling silver chain. And I, I do keep saying that when I'm on maternity leave, because of course I'm going to have loads of time on sure, my hands. Yeah, of course you are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to make more jewellery and I'm going to try and sell some as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that again, this is, this is um, a, an item of jewellery that actually takes people's breath away and as much yeah. as if you you have to tell them it's that you have to give the information with something like this yeah it's an absolute must because i'm sure you know at our prices and what markup that you want to make mm -hmm. um it's still going to be a ludicrous price that you're going to be selling at so you have to give the information yeah yeah you do don't you yeah that's stunning uh, sarah in cheshire says um that's just daft <laughs> yeah, got daft. to uh, Dawning Bucket she says whoop whoop got to bought these when they were more expensive yeah. and they're stunning had so many compliments thank you you are so welcome just quickly uh, just before we sell out just to mention that two components do come separately all you need to do is find the drill hole on the pearl, line the post up, use a little bit of glue. Your high post cement is brilliant because you've got a precision application on that. Pop the glue on, pop it in, allow it 24 hours drying time, and that's it. It couldn't be, I mean, that's the quickest turnaround. It's, I think there's on the post, if I remember rightly, there is a little sort of screw. Yes, uh, it is which, with some ridges which then on there. consolidates the security. Yeah. That shows you attention to detail on the making and the security of the end product. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's yeah. Tahitian pearl. You don't want that to go anywhere, do you? Oh, they're they all gone. No. Oh. Well, there's no surprise, really, is it? I tell you what, I need to get up earlier <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't realise all this went on this early. <laughs> Have a look oh at this. This is pretty. Oh, I love silver. This is gorgeous, even from there. I think this is probably the first thing that attracted me to silver was that incredible, incredible luster that you have um, from this precious metal. It is the most lustrous of all of your precious metals, so it cannot be beaten. Um, even with no gemstones, nothing at all, silver just looks so elegant. It's so wearable. It's so durable. It's so strong. And is a beautiful, beautiful precious metal made up of 92.5% pure silver. The other 7.5% will be typically made up of copper or other alloys. Um, but it does make for great strength in jewellery. And as I'm always saying here, um, that you know, when it comes to jewellery making, especially when you're selling, you want to be relying on components. 
you know, you have to rely on those components to um, withstand the test of time, if you like. And, and 95 sterling silver certainly does that as well. The box chain that you have here is beautiful. I think with the box chain as well, because essentially what you do have is um, a, a cubic link, if you like. So you've got flat surfaces to the links there. So that makes for even more luster because you've got a big surface area there. I think the uh, the box chain is quite unisex as well. Yeah, so do I. I. Think. Yeah. So do I. But um, if you bought the Tahitian pearl, as soon as that came out, as soon as that popped up from behind um, the desk there, I thought that's the perfect chain for it. Yeah. It's got the beauty, the luster and the stability mm -hmm. for that size pearl. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, because yeah. you, you kind of need to balance I think that so. out, don't you? Yeah, I think, I think a finer um, yeah. chain, perhaps more of a loopy, finer chain, mm. would not work as well as that. Yeah, no, that you're absolutely brilliantly. right. And this is great as well because you've got that extender chain on. You can see there just in the centre that you've got that two-inch extender there. So it will go from a 16-inch uh, up to an 18-inch if you want to. And actually, if you were just that um, and had it shorter, so had it on the 16-inch the length, and then you've got that little two-inch drop just down the back of the neckline you could add a gemstone onto that as well if you wanted to and that would look so elegant Ooh. six pounds and 95 pence for you that's ridiculously that's crazy. though so if you've got that the tahitian pearl with the bail <gasps> with the chain that's 32 pounds well yikes <laughs> But imagine, and I know because we don't all sell jewellery, do we? Some of it, some of us just make it for, for as a hobby and, and wear it ourselves. But imagine the valuation of something like that. And it's really easy, and I was saying this just yesterday, it's really easy to forget to get things valued because we're paying such low prices. But if you took a Tahitian pearl for a valuation with 95 sterling silver, there is no way you would be disappointed. Absolutely I think you'd be not. Jumping I mean, hips. it would be great if somebody could, um, with, who bought the, the pearl by the chain, yeah. put the pearl on the chain and then take it for valuation. I'd love to know. Yeah, I'd it love would, to know it, as well. It, I would really, I, to be honest, I'm a bit scared on putting mm. a price on it because I think yeah. you'd be really shocked. I think you would too. We've had some incredible valuations come back. And it is, just, you know, I think people do forget to get valuations because we're paying such low prices. It's easy to do. Um, a lot of jewellers charge a flat rate of around £25, depending on where you live in the country, or 1% of the total valuation of the piece, uh, or, um, either or it will be. But I mean, if you can do that but also not just because um, of curiosity but also you know we're dealing with with genuine gemstones they are valuable possessions if ever yeah. you lost them or you know anything like that and you had to claim on your insurance that's another great reason for getting valuations done as well so if you ever do get any please please let us know iql 70 is your code for this one 0800 644 Olga in Cambridgeshire Brenda's there Tracy collect it in Tynawea Rianne Viv collect it in Hertfordshire you're there as well that's an add it to you in fact that's an open up your basket order isn't it I wouldn't think about that twice totally. gorgeous Right, Morganite, single figures. Oh, <gasps> Linda. <laughs> I saw that <laughs> as you opened the box then. I saw the phew. <sighs> slowly, slowly. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, let's have a look. You may need to sit down. Oh, my word. Do you know, if I say this is the best ever, I genuinely mean it. And this is the best Morganite oh I have word. ever. Oh my Look at the oh my word. <gasps> oh, goodness me. Oh, do you know, it's made me go goosebumpy from really? head to foot. My oh, goodness. You can't believe the colours from over here. Yeah. I'm getting off of that. Oh, that is so beautiful. I can't believe this. Look at that. I mean... Of gemstone quality is an understatement. Exactly. Look at the carat weight. 58 carat, they're single figures. If you, if you love Morganite, you have to come in and get this today. You really, really do. Um, I've never seen a strand quite like this before. It's not going to happen again very soon, I can tell you. I can't imagine that the original parcel of this was huge. I would imagine this would be very, very limited edition. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, 
My. Oh my good. God. Look at the riff. Look, look at the fire. Look nice. at the fire coming oh, off again. of that strand there. Can you see all those flashes of blues and greens and reds coming through? That is what we refer to as fire. So basically, when a white light enters a gemstone, it enters the gemstone, it bounces back and um, refracts into its spectral colour. So you get these flashes of blues, you get flashes of greens. Generally, you see that in diamonds, you may see mm. it in zircon. It's not something we see very often in Morganite. It's got a scintillation, hasn't it? Oh. Complete like a diamond scintillation. It's just breathtaking. I've just never, ever seen Morganite so pink with such incredible transparency, with such phenomenal, phenomenal clarity. Now, uh, you know, it, this will be a considered purchase, okay? It's limited edition. We don't have strands like this every day. Whenever you see the gold box, you know it's, you know, it's good, don't you? Um, again, I always talk about bead quality and gemstone quality. Generally, here at Jewelry Maker, we see bead quality. So the difference between bead quality and gemstone quality basically boils down to transparency and clarity. So, you know, when you go onto the high street and you see gemstones, morganite, aquamarine, topaz, they would all have incredible clarity. So you've got that transparency to the gemstone. Where bead quality, you have more of that opaqueness. So you've got great colour, but not necessarily phenomenal transparency. This Whoa. is gemstone quality. And how we have managed to get that at £69.95 for you, I have no idea. This should be in three figures all Absolutely. day, every day. Linda, what would you do with yours? Um, I'd probably sit and look at it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I love about it as a jewellery maker as well is that is that fabulous graduation yeah. where you're coming in from sizeable ones from the ends and then you've got that gorgeous shape in the centre through that graduation. But when you put it against your hand as well, you can see the quality of it simply because your skin was doing nothing to to change the look and the scintillation yeah. of, of the Morganite at all. Because sometimes that does happen, it can dull it down. But but that that's not having any dullness dumbing down to um, it in any way, shape or form. Can I just say as well, for the last one, it's gonna be fastest fingers first, but oh. I've just realised that this is completely natural. To have transparency like this in a in a natural Morganite it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Yes, get this value. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you even yeah, begin yeah. to imagine? Take it somewhere that is has, has got the, the knowledge actually yeah, as well. Definitely. Take it to a um, a coloured gemstone mm. expert. Yeah. Because I think that, that gemstone expert would love to see it to be oh, truthful. Can you imagine? Yeah. They would, wouldn't they? That's phenomenal. Massive, massive congratulations if you've just managed to get that. Time for a star box. Oh, I've got to have these. <laughs> Do you know what? It's only twenty to nine, and I've spent a fortune already. <laughs> um, these oh, are gosh. gorgeous. Do you know we've had some spectacular, spectacular earrings over the last couple of weeks? In fact, um, Alison Tarry was here uh, about a week ago. And, um, and and we had some phenomenal, phenomenal earrings. And luckily, her husband was watching and managed to get me a pair as well. I was so chuffed. Um, I would love, love, love to have these in my own personal collection. This is such a me design. They're there's so much silver in these. They are classy. They are elegant. They are high end. They are bold statement. They are less as more at the same time. 3.2 grams of 925 sterling silver. Now, tassels are so on trend right now. It's all about tassels, it's all about clusters. They are beautiful, aren't they? I love that drop on those. So elegant. Do you know, actually, I'm going to give them a measure if I can. Just going to give these a measure um, so we can see exactly the drop that we're getting on these. You are looking at the longest part of the drop there, approximately one and a half inches. That's a nice drop, isn't it? Very elegant. Hair up or hair down, these will look 
beautiful. Oh. So I was just about to say, going out earrings, but actually bridal I think as you well. Can Incredibly Ooh. bridal. Yeah, definitely. Very, very bridal. Do you know the weight of these? And generally with They're earrings, beautiful. you don't get a huge, huge amount of silver. But these. Oh, they're so pretty. So, so pretty. I love them. It's a lovely balance on them, isn't there? Yeah. With the with the ball on the on the pin and then mm. the two the two uh, on the drop. There's yeah. a really nice balance to them. I love that. And um, we were always talking about, aren't we, with earrings as well. Um, kind of um, you know, different lengths of chain. Yeah. Because, you know, it's a very on trend look at the moment actually. Um, again with tassels, that that's a perfect, yes. Yes. perfect component yeah. to be to be putting in your stash your personal stash 0800 644 655 you've got over three grams of 925 solid sterling silver in these now recently about a month ago we saw a price rise of 30 percent for 925 sterling silver that's the biggest rise that i have seen in years and years and years. Luckily for us here at Joy Maker, we're bringing you pieces still um, that we've had in our vault for a while, whereby, you know, we, we struck great deals, you know, maybe a year ago, maybe 18 months ago. So we're still passing those deals on to you. Still passing those deals on to you. And we won't put that price tag up until we absolutely have to for 925 sterling silver. But if you have a look anywhere else in the industry right now. <laughs> oh my word. That I didn't think was going to happen. <gasps> That, that, that's a £20 pair of earrings, isn't it? Oh, Especially, and the rest. Yeah, you know, yeah, and the rest, uh, definitely. They are just fantastic. I that, think, to get that gram weight. To be honest, I think they'd be a £20 pair of earrings if they were just like the one gram of, of sterling silver yeah. with the, you know, taking into account the design mm. as well. Yeah. But those are really sort of, um, they're very convincing. Do you know, you this know. reminds me actually, again, um, <laughs> Um, oh, I'm just going to say it, Gucci, um, other designers are available, <laughs> Dior, Chanel, um, but there's a, there's a bracelet, there's a bracelet that basically has yeah. um, all of the, the, the ball connectors, if you like, throughout the whole design with a toggle clasp. Um, that was in excess of five hundred pounds. Yeah, that, the the, the, um, the the lovely high end jewellers with the little duck egg blue box does that bracelet, and that's more than that. Yeah, there. They're stunning, aren't they? Do they you know, are. I just said, would you add anything to them? You could because you've got that loop, haven't you? Of course, you? you've got that loop, and does that in fact? Do you know what that does? That's an open loop as well. Yes, so you could yeah. open that one or you could add another jump ring in there. So there's no reason. Oh, Linda. Do you know nuggets would look fat? I always think about your nuggets. Oh, your, um, the, uh, thank you for that. Yeah, you're my welcome. nuggets are lovely. <laughs> you're knocking me nuggets, girl. <laughs> you know, I know you're remember? on about the fire, the fire opal. opal earrings. Yeah. It was what, two yes. years ago? I mean, if you've got some very high end, perhaps some of the silver diamond, the black diamond nuggets or something like that, and yeah. just drop them oh. down, that chain oh, with a uh, featherweight head pin um, down to the silver yeah. balls would make those earrings like, oh my goodness me, yeah. uh, unique, I would have thought. Can you imagine? Oh, they would just look so high end, wouldn't they? So, so high end. 0800 644 655. Loads of you multi buying. Do you know there's nothing to stop you buying two, three, four, five of these? I mean, you know, £20 is what I would have expected these to be here at Jewelry Maker today. £19.95, mm. all day, every day. I'd have been in multi buying. Selling these on with this kind of gram weight. I don't think I could I could sell them for any less than thirty pounds with no other gem. You know, just as they are, thirty pounds would be a great price tag if you were selling these on. But if you say, Linda, like you're adding diamonds in there, Oof. now we're talking. Mm. I don't think I can. Do, 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 do you think that would be really nice though if you do sell your jewellery to have those as what we call sort of um, don't fall about laughing, but the naked pair, right? And then you dress them with the diamonds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so we're going to be going to be dressing them with diamonds. We're going to be dressing them with very high-end aquamarine. We're going to be dressing them with amazing black spinel, morganite, any all all chrome diopside. Oh. Um. Actually, do you know what I've just done? I thought as well because I just spotted the deal of the day on your wrist. Don't they work well with the deal of the day? Of course. 
Of course. Look if you that. put the little silver ball, you know, little stardust balls, yeah, or like that. Put those into the deal of the day. You got a sort of um, a little sweet. That would look beautiful, wouldn't it? They look stunning together. Here you go. Quarter to nine, Friday morning. Talking about the naked pair. Here we go, Omega. TJ I L one four is your. You never know what's going to happen. I tell you. Uh, Leslie in Denbyshire. Leslie's got two. Well done, collected in Yorkshire. Marion, well done, David, Susan, well done, Irene, Hazel, Heather, Rosalind. You've got two. Patricia, Karen, Morag's got hers. Collected in Surrey. Collected in Tyne. Where Susan Lanarkshire, you've got three. Well done. That's amazing. If you've got them in your basket, just make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. I love those. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Look at these. This is like the dream. Oh my days. These are beautiful. I've never ever seen these before. How many do we have? 30. Not enough at all. These are gorgeous. Your beautiful Labradorite you have here. 925 sterling silver and the quality is just oh, incredible. Wow. So you've got your smaller drop for the top, your small patch. Can you see the purple? Can you see the purple coming from that bottom um, Labradorite there? If I just give that a little bit more of a wiggle. So, so sophisticated. Oh. And so incredibly wearable with absolutely any colour, any yeah. outfit, anything from, from black to the most sort of um, colourful outfit. They're going to yeah. work. Aren't they stunning? Look at, if I just turn these to the side as well, look at the amount of silver in the bezel setting there. Like that's a lot of silver. For, for a basil setting. It really, really is. These are stunning. So you've got two, uh, two of the elongated shapes there, 29 by 10 millimeters in size. Uh, bezel set for you. Um, and you've got 15 carats in total. You've then got the smaller, the smaller ones here at 3.8 carats combined. And then you've got a pair of your shepherd's hooks as well. Do you know, I'm just looking at the shepherd's hooks. Even the silver on the shepherd's, mm, that looks really substantial, it is, isn't it? doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can see that from here. Yeah, yeah. that looks yeah. fantastic, really does. Yeah. Now, you've got a couple of options here. So you could, if you wanted to, um, just take your shepherd's hook, um, pop the gemstones on. I mean, you don't even have to use a jump ring. No, you could you save on components if you wanted mm. to. I'm just going to uh, open that up a little bit. Um, just pop that down. There we go. So you've got your pair of earrings there already. Beautiful. So you could have mm. them like that if you wanted to. Alternatively, you could attach one of the smaller ones on the top as well and then connect the two together if you wanted to. Or actually, I'm looking at both of these, all of these Labradorites, and thinking, well, any of them could just be pendants by mm -hmm. themselves if you wanted to. Of course, you can save your shepherd's hooks for something else. You've got 925 sterling silver there. Or you can have the smaller Labradorite as your earrings. Have one of your drops as a pendant there as well. There's so many options. Absolutely loads of options. Options that we probably haven't thought of. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? I can't get... Oh, just the shepherd's hooks, Linda. Just in comparison to our normal shepherd's hooks, I'm looking at these and thinking they're really yeah, substantial. Yeah, what, what I actually like that as a set is the fact mm. that the shepherd hooks are very uncomplicated. Yeah. So um, the whole of that gorgeous sleekness of the Labradorite and the Sterling Silver aren't being bothered by mm -hmm. like coils on a shepherd hook. Yeah. Um, it's keeping the whole thing really sleek mm -hmm. and beautiful. They are so elegant. There's a lot of silver in these. You've got 18.8 .8 carats in total of your Labradorite there and a whole lot of 925 wow. sterling silver as well. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com just to make sure you're checking out as soon as you possibly beautiful. can for these. They're beautiful. You can have your earrings. Oh, yeah, of course. Ollie's saying, do you know what? You could use that little um, Brelet drop as a connector for your deal of the day bracelet as well. So this one that is coming up for you at 11 o'clock. I've got an amber connector there, but there's no reason why you couldn't take one of these little briolette drops and pop that in as and well. And you could, you could drop the larger one as yeah. well as a charm drop from it. Oh if my If you wanted days. to, just attach a jump ring and have it. Yeah. So see how it just it sits on the, on the hand there? Yeah. 
beautifully. Yeah, that would look absolutely beautiful. beautiful. I mean, it's quite trending now that charms are getting longer and sleeker, yeah. um, and very delicate around mm -hmm. the wrist, sort of from a literally from a like a, a speaker chain, like yeah, a, a yeah. chain sort of thing, and then having a significant charm drop. Mm. Yeah, that's. Yeah, still, I mean, this yeah. is gemstone of the year again, isn't it? Oh, so, I know. You it's know, back, it's... wasn't it? I had a year off in 2015. Let Tans and I have a go, uh, and then came back <laughs> yeah, in 2016. I'm, I'm having that back. Yeah. Look at me. I knew. Do you know what? You just knew. Yeah. You just knew it would because yes. it's one gemstone that you can never ever get bored of. Can't you? Yes. So fascinating. Yeah. It's so captivating. It's incredible. Uh, JAPK51 is your code for these. 0800 644 Even if you've never ever ever made a piece of jewellery in your life, you can do this in seconds, I promise you. Well done if you've managed to check those out. Right, time for one more before the break. Let's have a look. Ooh. Have we just had like a whole 925 hour? Or is it just me? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, this is brilliant. Do you know, as a, as a sterling silver girl, um, I, I've spent a lot of time here talking about the fact that I, I can't bring cutters to 925 Stanley. It makes me really nervous. <laughs> it makes me shake. I get the sweats and everything. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I find it really difficult. And, and you know, I, I guess that comes with time. And obviously, if someone's asking you for a commission, then, you, you know, you'd be quite happy to go in and, and chop and stuff. Um, but... Um, so, so for me, when we had these bracelets that came in two halves, I was like, yes, this is absolutely <laughs> brilliant for me. I don't need to get the cutters out to my 925 sterling silver. You know, it's already in two halves. It's already finished for me. There's no worry there that I'm going to that I'm going to ruin it in any way or spoil the design in any way because it's just simply popping them together. And, and so these for me are brilliant. I absolutely loved it when we launched these here at Jewelry Maker. Don't you think as well that, um, you know, primarily we're jewelry makers here, but don't you think that gives you more creativity as well? Yeah, You definitely. know, there, there, there's gotta be loads of ways yeah. that, that you can add to that yeah. as well, using sterling silver jump rings mm -hmm. and whatever else. I mean, you could put one of those um, the labradorite that you've just had could pop in there as well. So it yeah. it, it also adds um, to the hobby of being a jewellery maker yeah. because you can use your creativity with it. It's yeah. not what you see is what you get, mm -hmm. it's what you can do with it. Yeah, definitely. You're absolutely right there, Linda. Um, they are fabulous. And what I always think, again, going back to, to being a newbie, if you like, is if you've never made a piece of jewellery in your life, you've just got to open and close your jump ring. You know, it couldn't be any easier. And what I love about things like this as well is if Linda made this, Linda who's been making jewellery for how many years? Then I can't remember, it's uh, quite a while, a while. Now. Yeah, um, yeah, a while. And then me, who hasn't been making jewellery for so long, if I made the design and Linda made the design and we put them side by side, you would never ever be able to tell who made no, which absolutely one. Absolutely not. And that's what I love. Absolutely. You know, everybody, <laughs> everybody, can do this. You've got your 925 uh, sterling silver cable chain there, you've got your extender chain, you've got your bezel with 1.1 carats of black onyx there Beautiful. as well, and you've got your lobster claw fastening in there. 695! Oh! Present draw? That's incredible, incredible value. I mean, Linda, oh gosh, sorry, this isn't going very well. Um, if, you, um, if you went and, and, and saw this design anywhere on the high street, <laughs> you'd be talking 40, 50 pounds. Oh, absolutely. Easily. I mean, um, to be honest, silver and black um, are really sort of in inverted commas a safe buy because yeah. you'll find again you know 80 percent of the market will say oh i need to buy a gift mm -hmm. and rarely rarely would you find somebody oh no 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 don't 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 do black like that yeah. okay don't do solid black all around the yeah. neckline or something like that perhaps yeah. but certainly not that no um you know anybody would would love that would it and you know the um the sort of charm um, shops on the high streets and things mm -hmm. like that, you find how many black charms and black and silver that yeah. there is in those. It, that then proves the fact that they, obviously they do, do their marketing and that proves the fact that that's their biggest sellers. Yeah, definitely. You can't, you can't go wrong with something like this, can no, you? It's going to go not. with anything in your stash, it's going to go with anything in your wardrobe. And do you know what? We're at just £6.95. pence. There crazy is no price. way we should be that low. Crazy, crazy, so all crazy. you need to do, take your jump rings, 
open and close them, connect your connector in the middle of your chain there, um, attach your, your lobster claw fastening and the extender if you want to use the extender on this particular bracelet, it's entirely up to you. That's it, it would be so mm, quick to do, so easy. The lobster claw clasp is really quite a uh, chunky Stanchy, monkey, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, do you know what I was thinking actually, if you if you went That's somewhere beautiful. else, elsewhere, just to buy this yeah, component yeah, yeah. by you, itself. You, yes, if you went into our uh, fantastic um, jewellery quarter in Birmingham, I'd I don't think you'd, you'd get that under £15, just the lobster claw, to I be know. honest. Like £6.95 yeah, for crazy. everything that you've got here. I've got people mainly buying threes. Well done. Massive, massive congratulations. That's exactly what I would be doing as well. 0800 644 655. You could sell this um, as it is, as a little kind of DIY kit, jewellery making kit, if you wanted to, on your craft stall. Or you could literally have it as your, your, your quick turnaround piece. So all those pieces that you need to be spending a long time on, that take time, that are quite time consuming, you know, you see yeah. beads with your shibori ribbon and stuff you can make things like this have them on your craft store and that will allow you but to yeah, spend exactly time yeah that as your, far as your margin is concerned really helps yeah. you because you've got that quick fix that will get you a, a really nice price mm -hmm. And then you balance that against the ones that are a little bit more yeah. time consuming to make. That's a good point. Yeah, definitely. It's just something that's just going to give you a quick yeah, turnaround and, and will allow and, you and, to and spend really, that time. again, something that people's most impressions people say, oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, you can't go wrong with You know, just like that this. first look at something like that, black and mm. silver, of this quality, you know, these designs and attention to detail. Yeah. Spot on. They are stunning. Well done if you've managed to get a great gift idea as well, I think. One for yourself, one for gift. Oh, the Black Onyx chain that's coming up. It's coming up after the break, yeah, isn't it? Wow. It's coming up after the break. Have a look at this. Uh, the Black Onyx chain. Wow. Perfect. Brand new. Oh, you said under 30 the first time. You said under 30 first time around. Now it's under 20. <laughs> Where are we going with this? That's gorgeous. Coming up for you after the break, so don't go anywhere, and I'll be back for you in a couple of minutes' time. I think when I look back on it, I think I was brought up as a beader. Not a jewellery maker, a beader. Because, you know, we always had my granny's button box and lace box, and, you know, um, you could go through her beads and put them all together, string them, you know. Jewelry maker is quality, and if you want the quality, that's who you've got to go to. I like your presenters and the certain ones. Yeah, and it's a shame it's so far because I'd like to do loads more courses. But yeah, I, I will always be buying from jewelry maker. I am that sort of person with energy who likes to jump from medium to medium, um, depending on what day of the week it is, depending on what I feel like. I find I work differently if I'm sitting in my workroom at the table than I do when I'm sitting with a tray in front of the television. Um, but yeah, no, I would say to, to new people coming in, if you are looking at genuine gemstones, it's got to be jewellery maker. I would say look at um, the bundles, because I think you do some really good bundles. And press the button quick and buy them. You know, don't wait to think about it, because I think that's one of the big things is if you wait it's gone you can always order and what I usually do is I'll order and I'll have other things in the back of my mind that I can add to that order to get your postage money's worth yeah um, and if I don't like it I can send it back but I think that is the way to buy when you place your first order with jewelry maker we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started the booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. Good morning. If you've just tuned in, um, get yourself along to the website www.jewelrymaker.com and see if there's anything still available because we've had so many treats. It literally has been a 925 sterling silver hour the last hour. Linda and I bought everything. Yes. <laughs> She's got Absolutely. no money left for any gin now. Christmas put, no, I haven't. All my Christmas money's gone. <laughs> Plus a few vouchers I've got to sell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get some money back. Um, have a look at this now just before the break uh, we had a lovely component we had a beautiful um bracelet connector with, with a bracelet as well it was stunning this would be perfect to go with that this is stunning we were just saying that that actually black and and silver and actually the kit that's coming up black and silver for you um you've got a classic classic look now i do wear a lot of black and the reason being is because it's, it is safe, but it goes with everything else, you know? So it'll go with those tan colored boots, it'll go with the white pumps, it just goes with everything, you know? So you've got a block color that works with absolutely everything, that is bold, that is statement. And with gemstones, you've got exactly the same. You know, I'm always saying you, your clear gemstones, your white gemstones, and your black gemstones, um, you know, they are gemstone essentials in your stash because there isn't anything that they won't work with, especially your black gemstones. Put it with your amethyst, put it with your peridot, put it with your fluorite, put it with your ametrine, put it with your appetite, have I said that one? There's like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of gemstones. You know, they will work with every single one of them, but not just your gemstones as well. Think about your... Um, uh, your cord stash or your, your different coloured findings in your stash as well. Across the board, everything. There isn't anything that they won't work with. You've got that classic, and it is a very, very classy look that you have with these as well. Finished to a very, very high standard. You've got so many connectors in one necklace there. 14 carats of black onyx in total now we only have 60 60 and that's everything that's not like that's what's left over that's all we could source so this is limited edition which for me straight away would make me sit bolt upright because I love something that perhaps not everybody else has got, something that is a little bit different. Bearing in mind there's approximately 7 billion people on the planet, you're going to be just one of 60 people to own this design. That is incredibly, incredibly limited. 14 carats. I mean, as far as connectors go, we've had a pack of five this morning, the Peridot ones. Um, Yesterday, the deal of the day, we had 10 connectors. I think 10 is pretty much the max, isn't it, as far as a pack of connectors goes. Um, you have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 32 individual connectors. That's a huge, huge amount, isn't it? huge amounts so you've got 
essentially 30 connectors there. You've got 925 solid sterling silver jump rings in between every single connector there. So you've, you've probably got you know, 32 connectors, which is components by itself. Then you've got that jump ring pack, which is a component by itself as well, which is just incredible. I mean, how much do we, how much do we take the Peridot to? 1995, the Peridot, and there were five connectors. Four pounds each. Four pounds each, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. So there's about there's over 120 odd pounds there. Yeah. If yeah, and, and that would two. be a great price tag, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Absolutely, it would. But the carrot weight that you've got there, 120 pounds, brilliant. But come on, we are doing. We know we're not going to do this in three figures, are we? So maybe if we can get it to 99, that'd be great, wouldn't it? 99 pounds. No, we're not going to do that. If we can get it under 50, that would be amazing. Pound each? No. No. Pound each and, and all of those jump rings, 95 sterling silver jump rings, kind of thrown in there as well like, as an added extra. 32? Brilliant. Not your price tag. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Right, that um, is. I need to make a note. Oh, wait, there won't be any left. Lindy, you've got no yeah, chance. Got no chance. No chance. No. Uh, 50 centimetres. 50 centimetres in length. All you need to do is add a clasp. You do. That Absolutely. is it. That's it. I mean, that's going to take you Absolutely. not very long but at all. But also, um, if we remove the word chain, mm -hmm. again, from a jewellery maker's point of view, you've got 32 components, you've got all the jump rings there, you can refashion it into anything make it it's got so much mileage in yeah. it that has it really has hasn't it yeah you could use that as individual components no problem the design of this is just so sleek it's beautiful you do have the best of both worlds necklace bracelet you've got a couple of bracelets there so 50 centimeters is 19 and three quarter inches You've got two bracelets easily. Almost, in fact, two bracelets, yeah. earrings. You've got, you've got a complete. You've definitely got a bracelet. You've definitely got a necklace. Mm -hmm. You've definitely got earrings. Yeah. And with the addition of a little bit more chain, or even silver jump rings, mm -hmm. right? You've got a ring as well. So you could have four individual oh. components. Wow. With with minimum additions. Yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? That value. I mean, bearing in mind that we took five of the uh, Peridot connectors down to. Um, the same price. And now you've got 32, all those jump rings, all those silver. What's the gram weight on this, Scott? Do we have a gram weight for the silver? Five wow. and a half grams. The silver alone at 19.95 is great, isn't it? But then it's like we've just thrown in, you know, 32 connectors, 14 counts of black onyx, you know. We had 60 to start with. Lynn in Kent has got four of these. I don't blame her. I don't blame you, Lynn, at all. That's incredible, isn't it? I mean, like, so you've got four, you could necklace then you could separate one yeah, out yeah, you've got absolutely. all those rings yeah, as completely. you say all those earrings yeah, this is a component for you know made in heaven for a jewelry maker without a shadow of a doubt because it is as i say it's got so much diversity mm -hmm. yeah. you can you know and that's the pleasure of being a jewelry maker you can look at it and you think wow i love this i yeah. want that as a Pop a, pop a clasp on, but I'm going to get another one at yeah. this price, and that's when I'm going to make my money. Yeah. You know, I'm breaking up all those components, and I'm probably going to probably make that back tenfold. Yeah. Oh, easily. Well, and that's being conservative. I mean, the earrings, so if we took two connectors, yeah. just two of those connectors, pop them onto some 95 sterling silver shepherd's hooks, what price tag would you pop on those? Well, I mean, definitely for black onyx and silver, for a pair of ears, mm -hmm. of that design, that delicacy, that beauty, I would have to put at a minimum of £20. You would, wouldn't you? Minimum. Yeah. You know, and that's sort of pitching, uh, probably going up to mm -hmm. 30 so it all depends where I'll yeah. be selling. So we've got 32 We could get 16 pairs of earrings. There you go. Minimum of £20 a pair. Yeah, amazing. I'd be multi-buying. That's yeah. incredible. That's a Good deposit for holiday, that isn't it? Now, this is uh, probably one of the best the products I've ever seen for, for, for a money making for potential. Money. It's incredible, yeah. isn't it? It really, really is fantastic. Uh, OCUD30 is your code for this one. Grace in Bristol's got two Claudette, Pat Weldon, Patricia. Uh, Anne, uh, Marna, well done, Tina, Diane, Jennifer, collector, Karen, Susan, Elaine, collector in Buckinghamshire, Sandy, well done, uh, Judy, Jane, Josephina, you're there, uh, Silvana, well done, Sandria, Anthea's there, Marion, Renfrewshire, collector, collector in Perthshire, well done, uh, Perthshire. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was uh, Perthshire and Perthshire. Yeah. Um, I actually meant Perthshire. 
There we go. Uh, oh, hello, Shire. Uh, well done, Lynn and Kent's got four. Collecting in Greater Manchester, Carol in Durham. Well done to you, Valerie in Denbyshire. You're there. There's about 25 in baskets, okay? And look at the quantity on your screen. Unfortunately, you are not all going to do it. You're not all going to do it, so make sure you check it out as soon as you can. Uh, Director Ollie's back on the web doing his research. What have you found? £45 for a pair of earrings. They're drops, they're not marquees. Mm. The marquee shape is a very, very expensive cut. Very expensive in any gemstone. So actually, we've not even taken that into consideration, have we? Should we go back and start again? Maybe just double the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mrs. Pauline in the West Midlands, you've got to Bridget in Glamorgan. Good morning to you. Uh, Margaret in Kent, you're there. Nicola, Melanie, well done. Lynn, Julie, Bet, well done. Fran, Viv, collected in Camp Chantry. Can I just say a huge congratulations to the Webbers, actually, because there's not many people hanging around. You are checking out. This is an exceptional, exceptional deal you've got there. Two brace, oh, bracelet. That, that's cool. Oh, I think one of these I might add, if I could find them, you know, the earrings, the earrings that you have just there, yeah. the ball earrings. Um, I might actually take one of the little balls off and add one of those as a little quirky look. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Or, or actually really take pretty. the earrings from the top and, and drop, because you've got the, the jump ring on the top of the earrings, you mm -hmm. could drop from that uh, black onyx, Yeah. which would be a very evening look, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, gosh. That's glamour. the thing about black onyx, it is an evening look, yeah. isn't it, as well? It is, isn't it? It yeah. is little black Because it's got dress. so much luster, hasn't yeah. it, onyx? Absolutely, it really, really is. And, and to be honest, you know, with your black gemstones, when you think about black onyx and and black spinel and black diamonds, there's not much in it. Because no, I think you should so get lustrous. black onyx. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, OC, UD30, still got about 10 to 15 in baskets right now, but they are last to stop. Got quite a few of you on the telephone lines as well. If you are playing on the telephone lines and you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to do it now, am I? Not going to do it. You can still just try because if you don't try, you will never ever know. It's a free telephone number. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. Nothing to lose by coming in and trying. Uh, well done if you managed to get that. Right then, kits for you. Oh, these kits today. In fact, we've been talking about black and silver the last couple of auctions. You went to New Zealanders kit. Um, it's Elvis's birthday. Sunday. On Sunday, isn't it? And I'm mine. I'm mine too. I must on Sunday. Yeah, I was born on Elvis's birthday. Oh, get you. <laughs> get you. It's taking you. Wait, that wait. is true. That is true. That she is made true. It up. She made it up. Yeah. Uh, by Deepol. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I share the birthday. Who oh. do you share your birthday with, Scott? Oh, I won't say that, that one. I don't know who I share my birthday with. I've, I've never really looked at that. Never. 24th of July. 24-7. Put that in your diary. Do you know what? It's really funny, very quickly, but um, my uh, one of the twins came out of school yesterday and she, she'd made me a card at home. She's only four. And uh, I was saying to her, because her mum's an Elvis fan, and I said, oh, I, I share the same birthday as, as that. And she knows Elvis. And, she, and I said, Lily, who do you share the same birthday with? And she went, don't know, nanny. You're a twin, Lily. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Your sister. Brilliant. Um, I share my birthday with J-Lo. Oh. And Danny Dyer. <laughs> oh, put them Amazing. in the mix. Amazing. Oh, oh J-Lo's not too bad, I tell you. What no, about, not what at about, all. What about Leah? Leah, when's your birthday? 22nd of March. 22nd of March. Oh, I could have my baby on that day, Leah. My baby's on 20th. Oh, and you're a March baby as well. When's yours, Ollie? Sick. I forget all of these, by the way. I'm rubbish at remembering birthdays. Yeah. 22nd of March. Reese with a Ooh, spoon. Yeah, that's a good one. Not yeah. bad. Gary, Gary from, from Geordie, Geordie Shaw. Shaw. Mm, okay. Never seen it. William, William Shatner. William Shatner, Star Trek. Mm, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad day to be born. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Wow. wow. There you go. <laughs> Who do you share your birthday with? Um, <clears throat> right, uh, kits. We've been talking about black and silver um, the last couple of auctions. It, it, you can not go wrong at all with black and silver. It's absolute must. Those are coming up for you in just a second. The first, because two parts of this kit were really, really lucky, which I love. I love that we do this, that it's not just... 
you know, one kit that you have to come in for, that you get it in two separate parts here. So actually you can either choose between the two if you want to, um, and or use one for one project and the other for another project. You know, it, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to come in for both of them. You can if you want to, um, and you will need to if you want to work on this project. Have a look at these. Um, we were just saying, um, earlier actually that we've had lots and lots of messages from our customers um, very recently uh, about our gates and our coloured gemstones and you know the, the, the fun gemstones we had lots of them on pop art day um, on Wednesday they were beautiful you've got some huge huge rounds in your quartz here the desired quartz is such a fun gemstone and this makes it's one of those gemstones that makes me excited about summer okay, you know? it's got it, yes exactly but it, you know it's got lots of luster yeah. and it, it takes a graduate quartz takes graduation beautifully mm. those are really long strands by the looks of them as well they are um, they? a nice graduation lots and lots what look like around about a mm -hmm. uh, five through to a six yeah um through to probably a 10 millimeter so it's a great graduation really usable again um great stash builders um, very, very vintage, very 50s. They are, aren't very they? Very 50s. Really 50s. Yeah. So they make me think of Hannah Osborne. Yes, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very much so. They're very, very same. You could literally just restrand them. You could perhaps knot in between them as well. Add a clasp in there and they would look stunning. There's a fantastic, fantastic piece of jewellery. Now you've got 180 carats of the blue and the red quartz there, 6 to 13 millimetres they are in the round. So you could, if you wanted to, kind of cut the strand, take all your 6 millimetre rounds, you know, take all the 13 millimetre rounds, use them separately, it's entirely up to you. 44 centimetres on the blue and 45 centimetres on the red there as well. Have a look at these shells. I have never ever Oh, I love these. Woo! I love these. These, I actually, um, I was doing, at the back end of last year, I was doing a project. Um, actually, it was a sort of semi-commission. It was for a themed evening that a friend was going to. Yeah. And um, she told me, and I said, I know exactly what, I couldn't get them. Couldn't get them. I had to settle for the 10 millimetre, which didn't do wow. what I wanted it. They I are, love these. If you, if you want a statement piece of jewellery, fabulous. this is definitely it. They are stunning. 16 millimetres. With, with, um, sorry to interrupt no, no, you then. But no, I mean, I was, I, I'm a great, an avid fan of yeah. um, a Sunday magazine, Sunday supplements and mm -hmm. that. And um, I know Coco Chanel said, whether it's faux or whether mm. it's real, every woman should be draped in ropes and ropes of pearls. Faux. Yeah. And, and originally she used a lot of faux yeah. because she wasn't able to use mm. the, the culture pearls. They were far too expensive. Yeah. But it's the look that Coco Chanel was going for. Mm. And Chanel still used. Yeah. For, I saw a necklace a couple of years ago in a magazine, four figures, and it was shell pearl. Promise you. Yeah. And it had the, the interlocking mm. seas and that was, it's Chanel. So there you go. I tell you, if these had the uh, two C's next to them, exactly. we wouldn't be going this low no. today, that's for sure. Uh, so you've got your huge shells. I'm going to count these, actually. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 individual gemstones. At this size, they are sizable enough to use by themselves. You know, one of those long drop, maybe some of your chain. One There's of those. One. Oh, oh, she's done. <laughs> <laughs> Great lines and all that. Um, yeah, just, just that's the that's the very that's first one I did. Yeah. That was just inspired by mm -hmm. obviously by the kit. Very first. Yeah, thing. that's that's ridiculous, isn't it? And then you've got ten meters of your silver plated Rolo chain there as well with your three millimeter links, which is really really versatile. Absolutely. Just these shells mm -hmm. alone. You yes. know, I mean, I'm in already just for these. And I am. Uh, with that, honestly, in a heartbeat. Yeah. I, I truly am. They are stunning, aren't they? I mean, what kind of price tag, what kind of price tag, Linda, would you pop on this? So you've just used one. You've got a small length of chain okay. there. Yeah, we're going to call, um, what's the term that we used for, for sort of, jewelry that isn't precious you know costume jewelry yeah now there was um there there is um and still is i believe a, a great company uh, i will say other companies are available but, but mm. they're in wilson i'm not quite sure whether they're but mm. they made such a huge impact on the costume jewelry yeah. um and i can honestly say as well that anybody um back in the day the real you know heady days of hollywood glamour that had stashes of really good jewelry really precious jewelry 
most of the time they would have fakes made from them yeah. they would have copies made from them and particularly with pearls and the shell pearl in particular um can you imagine that if it was a cultured pearl i mean oh. it, it, it probably we're prob probably not Ooh, able to get have it, would we? a strand like that but that particular necklace there going on what we call the costume jewelry is um is is probably i would put i'd have to put 21.95 on that yeah uh, minimum of um, and that's going on the costume jewelry mm. look it's a perceived look yeah but the thing about shell pearl as well is it, it's so incredibly wet it's so durable oh yeah and so spherical it is I know perfect. Mark Smith loves shell he pearl, prefers them over the yes. pearls because they yeah. are yeah. perfect and that's exactly what you get with your shells they are perfectly spherical every time they're pretty much flawless they are a vintage very, color aren't they they're almost beautiful. kind of ivory winter weight, they? win winter weight. they're winter weight <laughs> yeah. darling winter wedding they're beautiful aren't they uh, 33 pounds and 80 pence amazing do you know if you came in on the web today and bought everything individually that's the price tag you'd be paying can you believe mm. that S sorry no 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 not just the shells for everything that you have here we are taking every penny and every pound off of this for you today. 19 pounds and 95 pence. We should not be that low for what we have here. You've got so much. Have a look at, at Linda's pieces as well, the, the use of the gemstones. I love these earrings, Linda. I love those. Again, tassels, you know, lots of chain there. Yeah. They're really on trend, aren't they? really on trend um, and then you've got just this I mean it's <sighs> that is just such a simple look but it's um, you know with that little pop of the yeah. blacks in I there I like that um, it's just that little bit of a feature again it's wearable mm. it's yeah it's beautiful and you know I think with that graduation in your courts as well you just uh, you just think I can't I, I need to leave that graduation there it just looks so perfect already yeah. which is which is what you've done with that one as well they are beautiful and the shells down the, there the as shell well. necklace down there it was that was just what I sort of indulgent I went I, I went for that one um, and to be honest um, you know, jewellery looks great, uh, sorry, uh, gemstones and pearls look great on their temporary yeah. strand. They look great on, on a static bust, but mm. you wait till you put them on, they've taken a whole new lifestyle. And that particular necklace on looks great. Yeah. It's what I call I a Sheila necklace, that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I bet it looks fantastic. It really does. And then uh, the one on the end as well, the um, way you've used all of that chain, that's beautiful. You know me, I love that laid up look, and that looks so so fabulous it really just you've got so much jewelry that's oh, the thing it, it, it's it, gone so it, far it, because of the uh, addition of the um with the next part of the kit as well yeah. the two lots of chain obviously it, it just extends the life yeah. of this kit so so far i love the bracelet just, just with one of the one, shells yeah and oh. um yeah looks incredible do you know what i'm gonna ha i'm actually gonna have to get this kit i've got a friend that's getting married um in april and she's got a 50s dress she's not going oh, tradition right. can she's you imagine a 50s that with a little 50 sticky out to the she dress would absolutely yes. love this jewelry yeah, less is more that one is isn't yes it? uh and 19 pounds and 95 pence there's lots of you coming in for this one get involved so we shouldn't be this low that is such They're a great not. great price tag if you are new to us here at jewelry maker and you're just starting off your stash what a great way to come in and if you are a regular and you're topping up even better for you saving you money all the time that's what we're about here aj gc 38 is your code for that one right uh, second part of the kit, have a look, black and silver, again, duxy, just so classy, can't go wrong, you've got two beautiful strands here, two different sizes, are really great to have different sizes um, of, your, of your gemstones there as well, so you've got 270 carats in your 10 mil rounds and you've got 265 carats in your eight mil rounds together they look beautiful but again they're, they're sizable enough to use individually if you want to you've got that classic block color that you can never ever ever fail with they are stunning so you've got two of those strands this gorgeous cabochon 
as well, which is stunning all by itself. Just again, long drop pendant, a little bit of wire work with that. Such a classy, classy look. Whether you use this with your silver or whether you use it with your gold wire as well, you're still going to get that beautiful, classy look. Director Ollie just saying, Do you know what? We never mm, have just a long time plain since black seen those. It's, it's, it's a long time, isn't it? And again, again it's incredibly <coughs> um, wearable and diverse what you can do with it. Yeah. Definitely. That's st I'd, I'd be tempted to multi-buy this one, you know. Um, and then you've got uh, 20 metres of wire, so you've got your 1 millimetre gauge of your silver-plated round wire, and you've got your 0.4 millimetre gauge. You've got two great gauges, one very, very structural and one weaving wire as well. You've got 10 metres of the black chain in this one. Links are a great size. Always, always important to look at the links as well, so that will enable you to do lots of different things with your design. So this one, quite sizable. You can get your head pins through there, you can get your thicker gauges of wire through there as well three and a half millimeters um, in your links there and then icing on the cake oh should we just top that off with some 925 dollar sterling silver yes i think so one of these charms in that famous high street store that sell charms one of them how much would you be paying for a 925 sterling silver charm the heart motif will never ever date it is such a great addition to getting in fact so many guest designers that, that do sell jewelry have said to us before that stars and hearts on their craft stores just fly off they are so so popular and you're going to get five individual components there so just adding one of those in again with the deal of the day it could just be one of those on a jump ring in the middle as the, as the deal of the day coming up for you at uh, 11 o'clock this morning £45.15 and 15 pence is your price tag for everything individually. But again, because you're tuning in and you're watching live today, we're going to bring you a discounted price. So get involved. 0800 644 QUGC16. Massive, massive. So that's over 50% saving that we've just done for you. Do you think you could get... Um, you know that, that Charm Brand Charm Brand High Street? Mm -hmm. Charm Brand High Street, I know it well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think you could get one of these for £20. Last time I looked for a 95 sterling silver heart charm, it was £40. Yeah, just for one. Wow. <laughs> um, you've got the whole kit here for £19.95. and pence. Oh, 800 655 Amazing, amazing value. Uh, what are you going to show us then, Linda? <laughs> a little bit of something. <laughs> a little bit of um, something. You see the black necklace just by this one there, here. that one. Yeah. There. Yeah. Um, just is, um, I'm not specifically a wire waker. Wire waker? <laughs> <laughs> not awake yet? I'm no, not, I'm not a wire waker no. yet. But, um, cool. I'm, yeah. I'm not a wire worker um, particularly, but I do like working with wire, if, mm -hmm. if you can see my point. Yeah. And um, again, looking from the sort of the 50s um, vintage. Um, not that I can remember, but <laughs> truthfully I can. Um, my mom had a necklace similar to this, um, and it, uh, I can remember having, as a child, looking at this sort of black linked necklace with yeah. this floral design in the centre, and it just suddenly came to me, and I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to just be inspired by yeah. that, you know, um, and try to do that. So um, you've got the wire in the kit, so mm -hmm. all you need is the wire and um, the gemstones which are in the kit uh -huh. um, and then add um, a couple of jump rings and a clasp and that was it you can actually make your jump rings with the wire you can make a clasp with it so you don't mm -hmm. need to actually add anything else so um, to make the flower very 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 simple uh, it might get a bit noisy in a minute but very simple right. um, taking uh, probably about 20 inches or so of um, your point uh, sorry your one mil wire um, just slightly warm it up um, to make it slightly more malleable because okay. I'm going to put a few little sort of bends into it okay. as I'm as I'm going along now, it's going to be random so don't try and overwork it just go with it in other words don't um, you'll see when I'm going through it that I'm going to give like little kinks in, into the wire. So if you think that, oh, I'm not sure about that, just mm -hmm. go with it, just okay. leave it, because once we've given it a bit of a hammer, that's when you get that right. sort of nice shape. So taking your round nose pliers, okay, um, on the end, the very end, using your sort of forefinger as a, as a bit of a cushion, um, go in about a couple of mil from your round nose pliers, okay, and slightly pull upwards and round, okay, trying to um, get a coil rather than a loop 
okay? If it actually ends up being sort of a teardrop shape of lip, just take your uh, cutters in and just snip off the end, but okay. you're looking for a, a, a curve. Then we're swapping to our flat nose pliers. Um, we're just going to, I'm sort of putting my hand in front of the wire and grabbing roughly where that sheen is changing, halfway down the plier. And then um, with my non-dominant hand, I'm just sort of going to steady the wire and then just do this little bit of a, as if you're making, which I have done on a pair of earrings, a coil, okay? But keeping the wire not close to each coil. Give yourself a couple of mil gap each time. So we just... <laughs> we're just going to coil that round till we get there. Then I'm going to, with my flat nose pliers, I'm going to literally take them in, in sort of a pinch format and just with my thumb, kink back slightly, okay? So that's slightly <laughs> compromising the wire, okay? And then again, using your thumb to curve back in. See, we've now got this sort of little bend, a little sort of a dog leg. Again, um, giving yourself a little bit of a gap. Coming round, and we're going to do it again. Mm -hmm. Little kink in there, bringing the wire back, forming it around. So each time you're bringing it towards, but not onto. Okay, and then again, you sort of get these lovely little shapes that yeah. that looks like an apple. I might use that as a charm. <laughs> um, and again, bringing it back mm -hmm. in. So we'll speed up a little bit now. Again, kink it back. Um, the, the larger the circumference of the, that's a big word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The larger the circumference of this sort of um, Tudor rose-esque shape yeah. becomes, the more often you put the little kinks into okay. it. Okay, so we'll bring it around again. It's very clever, isn't it? And then bring it around. Done. Another little kink in it. You, could, you, you can make like many shapes. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it around now and just sort of round mm. it up slightly, okay? okay? So we'll bring it round to here. I can see now that there's all my centre point there, yeah. okay? And I want to bring it back more into its circle now. So I think that one off a little bit, leaving that nice flow there. And then here, more or less got um, the shape I'm looking for, okay? So I'll take my cutters and I'll just cut off. I'll cut off a reasonable length, about an inch. And just because I'm not quite sure um, where that's going to end up. It's going to be hidden behind, right. but I'm not quite sure yet. And then, um, if you don't mind a little bit of um, hammering, okay? Go for it. Now, what we need to do, I've got my uh, nice rounded hammer mm -hmm. here. Um, I've not used this before, but it's here on the side. Is this meant to deafen the sound yes. a little? Let's you put it put underneath, it, on. it yeah. takes some of the shock Gosh, that's and really uh, some of the sound as okay. well. Right, so uh, when you're hammering something like this, some sort mm. of a form um, that you've sort of this random form, just check first that there are no overlapping okay. wires because wherever any, any of that wire will overlap, it's, it will fracture um, as you give it a bash. So on this, be very careful, okay, because I'm going to give it some, mm -hmm. some welly. So on this little mm. bit of excess here, I'll hold that. So it's not going to take a lot, but... Yeah. Just balance it off, and then I'm going to start from the outside and just literally give it a thump down. Now, you don't necessarily need to take the roundness out of all of it if you don't want to, because it's quite nice to have some of yeah. the round wire there and keep the um, and putting in the flat. So I'll just go into the centre now and bash that down. You get the idea. Sorry, Hannah. It's all right, Linda. Now. What we've actually done to the wire, I'll leave it at that. You can do that as much as you want. You are strengthening the wire, but at the same time, it's sort of a bit of a double whammy in as much as you strengthen the wire, but mm -hmm. because you flatten that surface, you can also make it fracture a little bit okay. um, if you go in too heavy-handed right. with it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is find out where to take this excess. Okay, now in an ideal world, I just want to hide it behind um, the perimeter here. Okay. So I'll chop off that excess there, put that out of the way, keep your little bits of wire, I'm sure that they can be useful at some point, and then just bring it back, okay, and then just hide it behind. Now what I would do, or what I did do at home, okay, was um, just took a little file, and smoothed it off there so that it okay there is a bare edge there but it's not 
it's not dangerous uh, okay. and it won't hurt if you yeah. file it off and right. smooth it off a little bit. Okay, and then all you need to do then is mm -hmm. make another, um, for this particular necklace anyway, you can make another, uh, either larger or smaller, the larger yeah. one going on the outer perimeter mm -hmm. of the necklace itself. Um, and then when you, I'll, I'm going to rosary link um, the beads together, which yeah. I'll just go over quickly in a second. Um, but the idea was, it, um, although the two drops, two layers, two graduated layers to the necklace, what you need to decide is whether you want a big gap. Right. Okay? Yeah. Um, and so keep on measuring the final, mm -hmm. the outside layer. Do the uh, inside layer first. And then do the outside layer, and right. then if you if you're lucky enough to have a static bust or something like that at yeah. home, just measure it up so that it sits nicely. It's quite nice to have that little. See how that just slightly overlaps? Yeah. Um, that, that's quite a nice look. Mm. Or you could actually have a, a much longer drop and then perhaps make another one of those Tudor okay. rows and link those two together yeah. just on yeah. their own with jump rings. Um, so again, as I said before, if you haven't got um, any jump rings to hand. Obviously, um, you can go on the website, there's tons. Uh, if you've got any of the findings mm. packs, there will be. But if you've just got a pair of flat no round nose pliers or you've got um, anything like a pencil or something like that that's the right size, okay. all you need to do, I use the round nose pliers, I'm going to have plenty of excess to one end, okay? And then I'm going to bring this one round. Now, what I tend to do is move the pliers around mm -hmm. and then I cross over. So that we've got a crossover point and we've got that nice perfect circle. And when I cut the jump ring, the first one, first cut to the deepest, as they say, mm. pop that in. And then I just slightly, just ever so slightly, go past the cut um, on that. And then when I use the jump ring, what I do is I take my flat nose pliers. Did you hear that click? Yeah. Okay. And then just push away, pop on, always away and back again, slightly past mm -hmm. and back again and that's not going anywhere. There you go. And that will be your uh, rosary link yeah. to, um, to your black beads. Okay. I'm saying black beads because I can't remember whether they're onyx or agates. They're agates, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. We have had onyx this yeah. morning. Yes, we have. Yeah. Um, so just a quick rosary link mm -hmm. um, onto the motif as it were. I've cut a probably two or three inches of, again, the one mil. What we'll do before we actually make it is to check that the one mil, and it happily wow. goes through the agate. So this is a great shape, a great size, with a great inside um, hole there for anything like macrame, kamehimo and things like that. Agates always give you these, um, these sizable yeah. uh, drill holes. So, back. I'll just mm. make a wrapped loop, so push away, flick of the wrist round, bring it back using the pliers as a former. Mm -hmm. Okay, take it out, back where it fits, and then, I know this is a one mil wire, but you can see I'm doing it quite easily. Yeah. Um, push it all the way around, okay, trim off your excess, mm -hmm. being very careful, because I've got a short excess there, so being careful of your fingers. Um, pop on my escaping agate, okay. And then we'll go to the half wrapped loop okay. stage. So push away towards, sorry, away from you. Yeah. Bring it back again, pressing down on the wire mm -hmm. on top of the, the pliers to get that nice, um, good chance then of having a nice round for your loop. Pop it into your jump ring. Let it completely take the weight. Let gravity yeah. take its force there. Pop your pliers back in and then complete the loop. I'm doing it really quickly here, but what I did do on the necklace, yeah. hand on heart, what I did do on the necklace was I made, um, each time I used the, um, the round nose pliers, mm -hmm. I tried to make each rosary link exactly the same. Okay. And I made each coil back around, two, um, two coils around, so that the chain, um, it looked like a gemstone yeah. chain that was meant to be, right. rather than just being sort of, Quickly done. Yeah. I just, I think you do need to sort of spend a little bit of attention to detail mm. when you're rosary linking and make sure that the the link size are yeah. as, as the same as you can get them, and also the amount of wraps that mm. you do are exactly the same yeah. per stone. And then it's as simple as that, just going around. And I I use the larger agates on the outer mm -hmm. 
part of the necklace with obviously the larger motif and then the smaller ones wow. on the inside. See, that just shows you can, you can rosary link with one mil. That's oh, amazing, yeah, isn't absolutely it? absolutely you can. Yeah. Yeah, most Fantastic. definitely. That would make for a really sturdy, strong necklace as well, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, you know? totally. Yeah, Beautiful. absolutely. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. Uh, thank you so much for that, Lindy. If you've got anything else in your basket, the kits, you just need to check them out and you'll have them home in just a couple of days' time. Um, for now, it's time for your chromed upside star buy. <laughs> Number two on my list, chromed upside. Oh, just stunning. This gemstone has been one of my favourites for years and years and years now. And believe it or not, I never used to like green gemstones at all. And now my top six are all green. It's one of those colours that whether you're wearing it or whether you see it, it's just so striking green you know you think of all the green gemstones we have here at jewelry maker um from you know your peridot through to to, to your green tourmaline through to your chrome upside through to your emeralds every single one beautiful tones different tones um but so striking in their own right as well what always blows my mind with green gemstones or well any color actually but completely natural gemstones um is that for me this is completely natural so this is the color that mother nature intended green to be i just think that is absolutely mind-blowing when you think about it it's just incredible um you've got 50 carats here which to be perfectly honest wouldn't surprise me if this was the entire parcel from a, a, a season of mining so when i talk about a season of mining basically because it comes from siberia over in russia uh, temperatures can be as low as minus 45 degrees which means that the, the ground is frozen solid it's an impossible task to gain access to the mine so we have an eight week window possibly between uh, July and August. So that doesn't necessarily start July the 1st and ends August the 31st. It can differ a little bit, but it's basically an eight week window and it isn't necessarily eight weeks. It could be two week window within that eight week window. You know, it's just, there's a very, very slim chance. That's the time that we're gonna be kind of on it, if you like, uh, and waiting and, and studying temperatures and weather conditions there to see when we will be able to gain access to the mine. So all of it, that's a big if, isn't it, you know? So then that's if we can get into the mine. So let's say we do, let's say we do get into the mine. We've got to hope and keep everything crossed that we actually find some chrome dioxide. And then, if we do, we've got to hope that it is of gemstone quality. Because, you know, nine times out of ten, when you think you've found, when you think you've struck gold, and if you've ever seen on our little uh, commercials that, you know, we've, we've sent presenters down the mines and, and we've seen people in the mines, and, and you think you've found some, and then one of the miners will turn around and say, actually, no, no, that, that's no good, sorry. <gasps> Um, so you know it's not it's not an easy task you've got all these ifs all these buts in between um, so this makes for a very very rare gemstone but can you imagine just for one minute striking gold and seeing this color within that mine I think it would be the most amazing amazing feeling to find you're chromed outside with this colour. And because this is, this is the colour that this gemstone is mined with. There is no treatment whatsoever. It is a very, very collectible gemstone because of its, its rarity. Anybody that is anybody that works in the gemstone industry wants to own chromed upside. And it's one of those, again, just like um, the peridot that I was talking about earlier. You know, I was saying that... Um, never seen B quality peridot i've never seen B quality chromed upside even our nugget strands have incredible incredible transparency look how perfectly color matched every single one of those gemstones is look at the saturation 
of colour. So with coloured gemstones, there's three things we're looking for. One is the hue, which is the actual colour of the gemstone. One is the tone, which is the lightness or darkness of that colour. And the other is the saturation of colour, which is basically the vividness of that colour. We can tick every single box here. The colour, the tone, the saturation, they are all <laughs> perfect. There is not anything I would change about this at all. They're four to seven millimetres in size. So actually, individually, you are looking at a massive, massive carat weight. Now, I don't think, I, I wouldn't say there's 100 gemstones there, would you? I don't think there is. With 50 carats, that would mean that they over, they're over half a carat each. That's bigger than the average. So each of these, individually, a solitaire, 59 pounds and 95 pence, is not your price tag. <gasps> 25 pounds off of that price for you this morning. And can, can, can I just say, I, I, from my point of view, I think that's probably, the, you know you were talking earlier about gem quality and bead quality. Yeah. This is definitely gem quality for me. I think oh, this is. I'm not, I'm not just saying doubt. this is probably. Um, uh, it's just. Yeah. Oh, it's just stunning. Uh, the so lustre. The, I mean, you, you don't even associate something like um, massive sparkle, do you? Scintillation from chrome mm. dioxide. But my word, I think Carl Fabergé would bite your hand off for that strand. Can you imagine? Uh, just, it's not one of those you see on the high street, is it? Oh, you know? absolutely I've not. I've never seen it on the high street. I'm not saying it's not there, but I've never seen chrome drop side there um, on the high street. I've, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere no, else. I don't think I have. Well, and I honestly think if you saw that, to be honest, let's say you see that in, in a Bond Street... Um, jeweler's window you'd automatically think my goodness that's the beautiful highest caliber emerald what i have ever seen wouldn't you yeah yeah isn't it yes um, and it's so much rarer to be honest isn't it it's oh, got to way, be way, so way, much way, rarer, way, rarer than and um, ollie's just mentioned the uh, the yeah. boodles documentary i don't know if you saw that it was quite, it was quite a while ago now it's called the million pound necklace yeah. <laughs> This would not look out of place not at all. In, in Boodles, would well, no, it? Yeah, no. I mean that necklace as well had got lots of teardrops. Yeah. And it was it was very much a teardrop shape. Um, it took like a year to make yeah. and it was it was that colour and it got the, all these shapes yeah. were very intricately woven into mm -hmm. that particular necklace. Can you imagine? I actually think that necklace would have been better. I do too. I do, honestly. I do too. The vividness that, of colour that yeah. you've got here, just incredible. Do you know what? Over half of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised with that price tag. £34.95. Um, I'm going to count half of the strand for you. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33, pretty much halfway. Yeah. 66 gemstones. 50 carats, they are way over half a carat averagely each there. And in fact, because of the graduation, the size of those ones in the middle there, even bigger. Well, to get chrome upside over half a carat is so rare. 53 pence per gemstone. Gosh, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, they, they, they virtually look cherry picked from, and from a, a gemstone that really can't be cherry picked because there's yeah. not that much of it anyway. Mm. But they do appear to be cherry picked, don't they? Yeah. They're all of the same quality. They are incredible. Each I mean, one. that that Linda could be the whole parcel. The whole parcel yeah, I'm sure of, it, of, yeah, of that it mining came out season. Mine, yeah. it, Absolutely. It could. You know, that's just incredible. Look at that Can you imagine? You know, I've just talked about the mining conditions. Look at the price that we've taken this down to. How are we even allowed to do that? That is absolutely bonkers. The BMCD09 is your code for this one. Loads of you have checked out. If you've got it in your basket, you've got to check it out. You're nearly there. You've nearly oh, done it. Do you know I'd get my certificate of authenticity with this Oh, without well. a doubt. I mean, just a pair of earrings using two of the smallest at the very end. Uh, that, that's going to be 34 95 mm. on sterling silver for definite. Yeah. And that's two of yeah. them out of the 60-odd. Oh. And that's two of the, t the smallest ones. Do you know what? I could stare at, literally, I could stare at these for the rest of the show. And do you know what, as well, out. saying the two smallest ones, they will have the same impact and effect as the two Absolutely. in the centre yeah, because of the doubt. clarity of the colour. Without a doubt. Yeah. They are, look at that green, that's natural. Can you believe that's natural? You can't, can you? No. It's unbelievable. 
just unbelievable so so high and last 15 <laughs> chances um, if you do have it in your basket now you will have to check out it's a case of fastest fingers first we've got more of you with these in baskets and on the phone lines than we have available quantity Fabulous. massive massive congratulations they are beautiful um, can I just show you this very very quickly your deal of the day coming up a beautiful bracelet chain you've got here loads of 925 sterling silver and oh, imagine. put the creme dioxide on, please. Put the <laughs> creme dioxide to those. Can you imagine oh. the creme dioxide? You know, so as they are stranded oh. in the centre, just as they're stranded, doubles. At that price, you can afford to do it. Wow. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, and with the peridot earlier no. and the black on mix. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, can I show that strand? Oh. Uh, do you know what? To be fair, other than for gin, I've never seen Linda move so quickly <laughs> before. Um, honestly, Scott didn't hadn't even put it down, and she shot from over there um, to come and have a look at this. As soon as Scott says, no, "We've got iron light," <gasps> oh my gosh, that's no. Can I say that? <gasps> Under ten pounds. Oh, they've gone before they're gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Under ten. Oh my goodness. What time are we doing that one? Can About you keep 10, your eye 30. on that strand though, please? Because um, they're going to go in a heartbeat. So they're going to go. Yeah, really keep your eye on that strand. Don't let that really too far quick. away from you. Oh, dear. Under ten. Are you sure? Um, He's not now, actually. He's questioning it now. Um, have a look at this as well. It's coming up for you a little bit later on. This is really substantial. In the 10 o'clock hour, that's stunning. Yeah, one drop, one drop of the chrome dioxide off of that. Wow. My days. That would look phenomenal, wouldn't it? So that's going to be an exciting hour the next hour. Um, right, lobster claw fastings for you now. Have a look at these. I've never seen these ones before. We've not had them since April of last year. They've got a satin finish to wow. them. How high end That's do these lovely. look? It's almost it is almost like the Stardust collection, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, if you've used any of those, which I know loads and loads of you have, the Stardust collection is one of the biggest uh, and most popular ranges here at Jewelry Maker. Um, that is just fabulous. Stunning. Silver is the most lustrous of all of the precious metals, but you know, for some of us. That's not what it's all about. It's all about the durability for 925 sterling silver. So perhaps if you want something that little bit more toned down, sophisticated. Yeah, and also um, the um, the lobster claw clasp. I know I love obviously all clasps, but yeah. you know, some clasps are more decorative than others. Mm -hmm. But for me, this is the one that offers, uh, along with the bolt ring clasp, the most security. Yeah, and also you can double, triple, quadruple strand. Knowing full well a lobster yeah. claw clasp is going to hold it, that you know, because true. of the mechanics of mm. it. Absolutely, and that's the thing. It is it's not it's not just a head pin. This is a mechanical piece. This exactly. is a working component in your jewelry. So a lot of a lot of work has gone into making each and every single one of these. We were saying just earlier on actually about the price of one lobster claw fastening elsewhere, and uh, we can't be beaten, can we? Get that trumpet out, Leah. Um, we, we can't, we really, really cannot be beaten. Um, you have a look at the price tags for um, lobster claw fastenings anywhere else for one component. And I mean, that you, you could, if you wanted to, get these home and sell them individually yeah. if that's what you want to do, you know? Uh, and I'm sure you'd remain still very, very competitive. You are going to get five of them, 925 solid sterling silver, and they are just 695. Wow. We all know you can pay more than that for just one component. And you've got five of them here. I would totally, totally be multi-buying for that price tag. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, you know, you do need to keep a certain stash of um, findings. Yeah. Um, clasps being an absolute essential, yeah. completely and utterly. No matter what type of jewellery you're making, other exactly. than a just straight over the neck lariat yeah. style, you need a clasp. And also, these are great. I mean, you'll, you'll find a, a lot of, in fact, most, if not all, of the high street um, charm, they're all dropping from a lobster claw, aren't yeah. they? So they're very mix and match, add yeah. to, take away from. Mm. So it's a great thing um, to, and, it, and it's expected, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's because the high street 
chains are doing that, mm -hmm. then we expect to see a lobster claw clasp yeah. with the with the charm drop onto whatever it is, whether it's a yeah. necklace or so. And, and, and you know, so affordable. you will be in with the upper echelons yeah. of jewelry yeah. making, and it's affordable it? to do it as well. Very like one pound something yeah, each, you, do you know. know multiply but I mean sterling silver whoa yeah. what's the what what's it you know at that price exactly Crazy. I mean the hearts the beautiful heart charms we had exactly. in the kit as well you know yeah, you just exactly. pop one of those yeah, um, exactly. onto the uh, lobster claw fastening and that, if you want to add a clasp charm. onto that black onyx chain as well I mean mm. that's the one you need if you want something that's going to be oh, wow. secure yeah um, and that you can trust mm -hmm. then your lobster claw every day of the week that's perfect, isn't it? And yeah. that, how easy. You know, again, opening and closing the jump ring, popping that on, job done. That would be fabulous. Uh, loads of you multi buying, and you can, you know, one PMP in any one day. Just £2.95 standard here in the UK from midnight to midnight. Uh, well done, Norma in Middlesex. You've got two. Sarah's got two. Jeanette in Lanarkshire's got two. Marion in County Londonderry's got two. Collector in Glamorgan's got two. Uh, Catriona, well done <coughs> to you. You've got two. Uh, Hazel in Wiltshire's got two. Linda in Devon's got two. Janice in Dorset's got two. Daphne in Middlesex has got two. Uh, Janet in Wiltshire, you've got two. Sally in West Yorkshire, you've got two. Pamela in Aberdeen, she's got two. Tanya in Surrey's got four. That is the way to buy here at Jewelry Maker. There's no limits to how many you come in and purchase. So you know how sometimes you go to the supermarket when they've got their deals on limited to two, three per customer. You can buy as many as you like. If you want to take 10 of these, in fact, if you want to take the whole quantity that we have, you can. You can, and I would grab that deal because, you know, if they sell out today, who knows when they're going to come back. You might be sat there in a week's time thinking, oh, I, well, well, do you know what? I use them all. I got my pack. I use them all. Why didn't I get two packs or three packs or four packs? Go for it at 6 95 That's amazing. And um, quite a few of these in baskets. Get checking out for them. Well done to all of you that already have. That's fantastic, that value. Tell you. Amazing. Um, coming up after the break. Oh my gosh, got so many treats. I've got that gold chain coming up for you after the break, which is just stunning. And the Iolite at 10.30 is gonna be a huge, huge auction. Go and get yourself a fresh brew and I'll meet you back here in just a few. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you have found a workshop you'd like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator, Wendy, at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information.
If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no-quibble 30-day money-back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Good, I was going to say good afternoon then. Uh, good morning, welcome back to Joymaker. If you've just tuned in, go and have a look at the website, www.joymaker.com. See if there's anything still available from today's show. We've had some fantastic, fantastic pieces for you. We've had loads of 925 sterling silver. Um, we've had a fabulous kit, two parts to the kit as well already, both under £20. And we've got Shibori coming up for you uh, later on as well, which is going to be fantastic. 10.30... There was smoke coming off our Alinda's feet, I tell you. That's how quickly she moved. Um, Scott's a little bit worried now because I've said uh, under 10 out loud. <laughs> 10.30, it is happening. It's happening now, that's it. Brilliant, so not too long to wait for that. Um, right, I've got a 925 sterling silver chain. Oh, I love this. Oh, I tell you what, we've had enough silver on the, in fact, I've had more silver in the last um, hour, two hours, than I've had all year, I think. I've had absolutely loads. Spoilt. Spoilt. 18 inches in length, 925 sterling silver necklace chain you've got here. This is so pretty. So what I love about this particular one is the detail and the fluidity of this as well. It really is spectacular. Now, if I could just hold that down a second, have a look at the detail on this chain. It's incredible how they do it. Can you see that? Isn't it beautiful? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so high end. And you can see actually how thick, how substantial that 925 sterling silver chain is there as well. So you've just got this very decorative detail kind of every couple of centimetres throughout the chain that just gives it that little bit more uh, pizzazz, if you like. It sort of textures it, doesn't it? Yeah. It gives a texture to it. That's stunning. Have a look. Oh. <gasps> mm. It's like liquid silver, isn't it? Oh, oh. oh, wow, look at that. That's clever. It's clever, isn't it, Linda? Hey? <laughs> Um, I love that. I'm, trying, I'm just looking at it now. Now we're really close. It kind of looks like the box chain, but it kind of looks like a snake chain as well. It's stunning. That's silver. That is just so, so high end. And this is, I mean, how close are we there, Ollie? Times 40. Wow. Do you know, we're hiding nothing. You know, the detail in this, you know, the quality up close and personal, you could never, ever get that close yourself. It is just, I mean, look at that for a finish. Absolutely spectacular. J 
Jeweler's Loop, yeah, Jeweler's Loop, you're absolutely right. 10 times magnification, Jeweler's Loop. We're now at approximately 40 times magnification. Yeah, there's absolutely no room for error then, is there? No. 40 times the magnification no. at all. No. No room and no error. Brilliant. And um, 18 inches in your 925 sterling silver. It's your finished chain there as well. So you've got your bolt ring clasp on there. Um, finished beautifully and you've got your 925 stamp on there as well which is you know again that's, that's something that saves us a job you know because because going to the we'll just getting to mm. the assay office assay office assay office yes office yes bit of gin um <laughs> just trying to get to that flag yes um you know wherever you may live wherever you go into the birmingham one or the sheffield or the edinburgh the london um it, that's going to cost you. But then you get there, and I'm not sure how much it actually costs to get your, your 925 stamps. It is, yes, it's, it's, it's relatively significant. Yeah. And also, if you make your own jewellery and you want it stamped and assayed, you have to buy your own stamp. Yeah. You know, so... Um, it's quite costly, it isn't is it? It is costly. Yeah. It is, it certainly is. So this... Um, Absolutely, definitely. This is proof of the quality mm. of the metal. Yeah. So you don't need to do any more than that than point it out. It's there Beautiful. already for you. And the way that the, the, the actual um, clasp has been added is, is, is brilliant. It's mm. just a complete flow. It's, like, it's yeah. basically silver soldered, isn't it? That's, yeah. So that's yeah. more silver because exactly. it's had to be a silver solder. Yeah. Look at the fluidity of that as well. It just sits beautifully. Do you know, if I hear the words, it has always <laughs> been 895. That means yeah. oh, we're about to do a Friday price. Six pounds and ninety-five pence for you. This six pounds and ninety-five pence. My eight ninety-five. We could have sold out at that price tag. No need to take two pounds off this. But you know what? Well, Scott's in the chair, so just. Don't, just taking two pounds off OMPO78 is your code for this one 0800 644 655 loads of you coming through on the web gift ideas your present <laughs> draw you know the chain I think is, is something for everyone isn't it if you're not sure somebody's ring size not sure if someone's got their ears pierced or not not actually sure if that particular person wears a lot of jewellery, do they wear a lot of jewellery? Would well, you know what? A chain, it's just a little bit of something. So they'll love it. They'll absolutely love it. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. The gift that keeps giving as well. Mm -hmm. You could make them a pendant to go on this. When you give them the chain, then make them another one for their birthday, make them another one for Christmas. Um, and maybe then the next birthday, you know, you can just keep making the pendants. Yeah, don't and, and going back again to, to chains for um, certain pendants and things, the Tahitian pearl yeah. again. Oh, again, that's a great chain for it because it? it's got detailed texture. And yeah. it, it actually works with the Tahitian pearl or with a, with a, with a pearl or, or with any high end gemstone. It works because it looks value with value, if you know what I mean. Can I just show you something? <laughs> Guest designer Jan is drinking gravy for breakfast. Yeah, but there, there you go. Times see. ten. Yeah, rest my case because what does Jan use a lot of? She <laughs> uses a lot of pearls, and it's it's just a great chain for a single pearl drop. Ten, <laughs> Jan. That's just greedy. <laughs> Saying that, she's got over 300 strands of pearls to accommodate, hasn't she? She's still on the phone as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's probably just said, look, I'm not going to put the phone down. I'm just going to stay here for the next couple of hours. Let's talk about the weather or something. And then, you know, it saves me dialing in again. Unbelievable, I tell you. Um, ONPO78 is your code for this one. Massive, massive congratulations. There are so many. I tell you what, I'm surprised there's any left after Jan. Um, Catherine in Lanarkshire's got two, Rosalind's got two, Nicolette's got two, Sandra's got two, Tracy's got two, Anne's got two, Patricia's got two, Collect in Bookham, she's got three. Massive, massive. Congratulations, 6 Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Right. Oh, oh. Look how, isn't that pretty? 
Oh, do you know it's really funny how certain strands make you make make yeah. you make certain sounds. You do. I was about to say that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You go. Oh, oh it's like it's <laughs> a little baby. Oh, yes, it's like a little new little baby. Oh, just look at. Do you know what? It's the it's the colour. It's the size. Four mil rounds in your multicoloured barrel. Now, I raised not an argument, <laughs> um, discussion, a discussion, yeah, if you like. Yeah. Um, quite a while ago, it was probably a good 18 months ago now, if not maybe two years ago. And do you know, I just thought, if we, if we call this aquamarine and morganite on our graphicals, we could, you know, that price tag could be higher. It's aquamarine and it's morganite. You know, the fact that we're kind of skirting over it and calling it multicolored beryl, mm -hmm. why, why are we doing that? Mm. So I just went to the management team. I just went to the management team and I just said, look, just, just want to raise a point that, you know, if we call this strand Morganite and Aquamarine, we, not, we could sell this at a higher price tag because Aquamarine and Morganite are two very value gemstones in the gem industry. Anyway, long story short, the reason that we're calling it multicolored beryl and not aquamarine and morganite is because there are actually some green beryls in there that don't quite qualify as emerald. So you've got your greens in there, which is an added addition, but actually, in actual fact, you've got morganite and aquamarine. Morganite is the pink variety of beryl and aquamarine is the blue variety of beryl. So whenever you see graphicals on your screen that say multicolored beryl, you are looking at morganite and aquamarine if you're seeing those pinks and you're wow. seeing those blues there. And I have to wow. say, the pinks and the blues are so distinct in this particular strand. You know, we're not looking at very pale colour. We're not questioning that colour at all. Both the pinks, both the blues and the greens in there are clearly aquamarine and morganite as well. See. Now, I would change those graphicals to Morganite and Aquamarine. That would be at least three times that price tag. £9.95 pence for you this morning. They're four mil rounds as well. I mean, as far as four mil rounds go, Linda, there isn't anything you can't do with a four mil Absolutely. round. Absolutely, I think. I mean, you can big them up by making beaded beads from them, that, but if, if you sort of take a look, can I just bring yeah, one over? Yeah, perhaps, perhaps this bigger oh. piece. If you perhaps pop the, those barrels into um into that wouldn't that be beautiful oh my days can you imagine in, in, Bromwell. <laughs> can you imagine where those those sort of larger seed beads the pearlized ones there can you imagine those morganites and aquamarines and the beryls yeah because sort of peeking the through that the blue is in there it's just got well. the right tone beryl yeah. has the right tone to go with the silks of the ribbons definitely uh, and speaking of tone actually it's one of those that again is very serene it's very exactly. calm and it looks exactly. great with your jadeite it looks great with your oh, angel jadeite eyes, isn't it jadeite and pearls fabulous. wow yeah. it would look absolutely beautiful wouldn't it you know if we're looking at a 35 carat strand here i would say hazard a guess that probably three quarters of that strand is morganite alone have a look at morganite prices have a look at morganite prices and <laughs> that's a good point ollie Dr. ollie she said you know what if that was if we took all the morganite out just remade a strand using that morganite there it wouldn't be nine pounds and 95 pence would it it wouldn't at all. Um, how about with the deal of the day that we've got coming up at 11 o'clock for you? Beautiful bracelet chain. Um, I've got an amber connector in here. You could just replace the amber connector. Oh. Or just a beady bead in there Yeah, as well. exactly. And it's a strand um, for me that I probably would um, multi-buy on because I would certainly keep one um, as what I call my little stash for bridal yeah it's a little bit of something blue stitched into the hem Gorgeous. um a little boy has been born or something you know so yeah. you can just put that into a little box yeah into a nice little sterling silver box or something pink obviously you can make the little pink charm bracelet for the little girl yeah. it's got a lot again of mileage it really has hasn't it there's absolutely less. if i just <laughs> count out 20 gemstones actually you've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty yeah that's twenty 
What are we getting on? 80 oh, gemstones? I would say probably more than 100, <gasps> actually. There. Goodness, yeah. so they could go. I mean, macrame, kumihimo, um, chain mail. Friendship bracelets beading. as well. Friendship yeah, bracelets. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Lovely. Yeah. And, and as you say, um, Linda, that actually the amount of gemstone you've got, the mileage, you know, the amount exactly. of jewelry that you could make exactly. from just that yeah, one exactly. strand would be fabulous. In fact, Little delicate bracelet, the heart charm. Oh, yeah, they were hearts, weren't they? In the yeah, kit, yeah. the 95 heart charm from the kit as well. Nine pounds and 95 yeah. pence. What a giveaway! Again, um, Lucy used to do this with Jade, and I think she still does on the jewellery that she makes. But if you want to have a signature, yeah, and you know, on the back of necklaces, yeah. it doesn't matter what colour your necklace is or whatever. Yeah. But you can always put a morganite on, on on your extender. You can always put an aquamarine. You can always put a goshenite. You can always put a heliodor. Yeah, it's a barrel. It's precious. Um, and it would be a great signature at that mm. price just to pop, you know, on the back of any and every piece yeah. that you make. That's such a good idea. And that's actually the perfect exactly. size. Of course it, it is, yeah. Totally. Perfect size. Totally Lots of people texting in saying it reminds them of new baby. Absolutely. Well, it does, it does. doesn't it? It does. It's absolutely. baby blue, it's baby pink yeah, that you've absolutely. got there. So great, as Linda yeah. said, you know, for making gifts for new babies, you know, just so. Um, that would be perfect. Yeah. Would absolutely yes. perfect. And you've got like a little keepsake there as That's well, right, haven't you? Yeah. That you know, yeah. you could perhaps it could be a Christmas present, could be the birthing present, absolutely anything. They're gorgeous. You've got to get those into your stash today. No extra cost on your P and P. Well done if you've managed to get those. Are you light? I don't think I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> it's about to kick off here at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Ten thirty on a Friday morning. And, uh, or maybe I shouldn't talk about this, is Colin still in there? Um, yes, we're, we're not doing this under £10, no, pounds, actually. Uh, it's going under um, uh, 50 Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's coming up here at 10.30. Brilliant. <laughs> um, have a look. Oh, oh. I mean, is there, any, is there any other 925 in the building or have we just uh, got it all in our show? Brilliant. Oh, oh this is word. brand new. Brand new. Oh, oh, where do you remember that chain I had yeah, earlier on? Exactly. Oh, oh, perfect. How designer and how, look at the design oh, that's, that's gone into this. Stunning. Oh. That is really that. That would be my my my. You know, you with your holidays. That would be so my holiday. Yeah. Well, you know, you and your holiday <laughs> your maxi dresses. Well, whatever. But that is my holiday piece of jewellery. I yeah. wouldn't need anything else, to be honest. Yeah. You could work with everything. Absolutely you? everything. It's Do you know, if you make, let's yeah. say, so you, you know, sometimes here at Jewel Maker, we bought you before the silver um, ninety-five sterling silver sheets. Yes. I think they were six. Sixty pounds, fifty pounds. Yes, about the that, sterling yeah. silver sheets that we had. You know, you'd need a lot of silver to make all three components, and you would need a lot of expertise as well. Yeah, you know, <coughs> you know the time, Excuse the me. texturing. I mean, even yes. just making this piece here. Because if I put my finger behind there, you can see um, that that actual, you know, that that silver work that you've got there, that design, that would take for ever yeah. to achieve that it look. certainly well i mean that that to be honest is right up my street i love things that mix and match yeah and that's a mix and match sort of pendant drop for me i love the way it mixes mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily match do you know what i mean yeah but it just flows beautifully yeah it really does do you know what there's 3.4 grams of 9.925 solid stones so and we've done amazing. it again brand new already loads and loads of these have gone they're flying out I had no idea we were going to 9.95. That to me, that's that's a 40 pound component there. They're brand new. We only started with 76. You're the first people to get your hands on this component. Nobody, do you know what? This is going to be the last time. Yeah. This is going to be the last time that you see this. I tell you, it's not coming back for a while. GYRF79 is your code for this one. 0800 644 655. Director Ollie's just said, do you know what? You could so separate those, couldn't you? You could. Um, I'll just have a look at the jump rings. Um, Looks like they're soldered, those ones, so you would have to cut them, but keep them. They're 925 mm -hmm. solid sterling silver, and then use them as three separate components. Absolutely, yeah. Goodness me. Oh, I, to gosh. be honest, would, would if I wanted a, a statement pair of earrings, yeah. I'd multi-buy. I'd have the two yeah. and then drop them from the fine sterling mm -hmm. silver chain as, as a yeah. really beautiful sort of quite... Um, 
What's the word I'm not like Balian esque type Ooh. jewelry? Isn't yeah, it? yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, you're kind of uh, Indonesian. Yeah. Um, can I just hold that up just against my? Oh, sorry, oh, Ollie. Yes, please do. I want to see Sarah that. slowly. Um, just, I just, I wish I had a chain. I wish Gorgeous. I had time to actually connect that to, to a 925 chain for you. Do you know if I'd got five times that quantity, yeah, they'd all go. I'm really sorry, really, really sorry if you've missed out on that opportunity. That was beautiful. Such a great price tag as well. <clears throat> um, right, let's have a look. It's in a box. Oh, you know the Morganite that we had? Come on, I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> Linda's like, do it, do it, get it out, get it out. Oh, um, my word. Linda. I think I know what they are. Sapphire, oh. like you've never, ever seen before. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. Look at this. You want to go all quiet and... See, yeah, see. So we, we, we were talking like we were talking to a baby with yeah. the Morgan Island Camry strand. And now no, we're this just strand makes us want to whisper. Knocked away by the sheer gloriousness of that sapphire. Goodness me. Look oh, at the sparkle. <laughs> Look oh, at the wow. sparkle. Look at the colour. Oh, oh, I love it. Is this not one of the best strands of sapphire we've ever seen here? Do you know, if you say sapphire to somebody, in fact, if we, if we just did a little survey, went round our local town and said, what's the first word that pops into your head when you think of sapphire? Blue. I guarantee 95% of people would say blue. <laughs> the other 5% might say royalty. Um, it's, what, it, it's the colour to own in your sapphire, isn't it? It's the dream, the absolute dream to own this colour. <sighs> Do you know, I'm really going to put my neck on the line here. And it's a big statement. I've only ever seen in my lifetime Salon Sapphire once. The actual Salon Sapphire. No, not Salon Sapphire. What am I thinking of? You are. Am I thinking of Salon? Salon the Royal Engagement Sapphire, Ring yeah. is Salon Sapphire, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you are. It's, yeah, not, it's, it's not called Salon anymore. Yeah, that's why I'm getting confused. Yeah, the Royal Engagement Ring. So I'm yeah, thinking, no, that's the color, no, no, I, think. I know what I'm thinking of. I beg your pardon. Starting again. Right. Oh, so for a big statement, I've really messed this up. <laughs> um, cash me a sapphire. Cash me a sapphire. Cash me a sapphire. Yeah. That's what okay. I was thinking. I think I've, I'm sure I've definitely seen Salon Sapphire before. Yeah. Cash me a sapphire. I've seen it once mm. in my life. Cash me a sapphire. Now, anybody in the gem industry will tell you, if you can get your hands on cash me a sapphire, and you can afford it, go for it. It's one of the most desirable locations um, and sapphires in the world. I've seen it once, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you now, this rivals it. It really, really, the color and the sparkle from this is just exceptional. If this were 60 carats of cashmere sapphire, I would be surrounded by security guards. I can tell you that now. I think you'd have to be. Six, I'm really shocked at how low that is already. When you think sapphire, we're talking one of the most precious gemstones on the planet. We're talking other than diamonds, the most famous gemstone on the planet. It is the absolute dream. Absolute dream. Ollie's now saying, do you know what? It, 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 it does come close to the wall engagement yeah, ring. The colour, the colour certainly does. Yeah, yeah it certain, does. Certainly does. This is yeah. what I'm saying. This and is again, again, this is this is as like continuity of the whole morning so far. It's virtually gem set quality mm. that without a shadow. I mean, can you imagine channel setting that? Oh, Channel setting that would be beautiful, gosh. but could you just just indulge me and pop it with the deal of the day? I just want to see it. <laughs> yes, with that. I can. I can indeed. Nine two five. You wouldn't compromise, oh, my would you? Word. <laughs> you, you couldn't have oh any goodness. less than 95 sterling silver with this, wow. this particular strand here. Oh, I mean, Gorgeous. I'm just thinking that Linda could maybe have a challenge. And Gorgeous. <laughs> just, just saying. 
yes, unmistakably not with sapphire. That it is, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that's the most high-end, elegant, beautifully lustrous, colourful blue strand of sapphire. Do you know? I don't know how we're doing this. I don't know how we can get this into. That's 60 carats. You type into a search engine now, 60 carats of sapphire. You'll probably come up with some autocorrect. Did you mean six carats? No, search engine. I meant 60. You probably won't find 60 carats of sapphire anywhere. That is absolutely incredible. £89.95. £864.655XL XL YY63 is your code for this one. Get checking out as soon as you can. Now, I understand, I understand that that is a considered purchase and that 89.95 may not be your budget for today, it may not be your budget for this week, it may not even be your budget for the month, but do you know what, you have the most spectacular, the most special strand of sapphire here. That could be the piece that you pass down through your family, yeah, you much, know, yeah. through generations. It could be your family heirloom piece of jewellery, this could. Um, get it home, you have... What was that, sorry, Sam? Oh, Margaret, our Margot in Fife. Uh, just seen Cashmere Sapphire on the web. Oh my gosh, at 59 grand. Yeah. There you go, I'll have two. Do you know what? I, I, that's what I mean. I, I rest my case. I, I, honestly, for me, this is one of the closest examples we've ever brought you here at Jewelry Maker. And at a fraction of the price, £89.95. and pence. I'm wondering what carrot weight that was, Margot. I mean, was it anywhere near 60 carats? <laughs> Do you know what, well, um, Sorry. That's all right. But really, if it is outside your budget, which yeah. I can imagine it, it, it could well be, um, I, for one, would, you know, Sheila and I often buy strands of this calibre and share. Yeah. Yes. And because that's such a great graduation, you can go straight down the middle and you'll both have the same. Yeah. So, you know, it is yeah. worth thinking about. That is, and then it would just be half that price for you, wouldn't it? I would get my certificate of authenticity for sure. If you need 30 days to think about it, you can by all means. You know, get it home and have a closer look. Think how you would use it in your designs. I mean, you could literally save this particular strand for, for bridal commissions. I mean, imagine Absolutely. having that as you something blue. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. If you just sewed um, even two or let's say six of the little ones inside the hem mm. or the cuff of the bra, and then say, I'll make you the earrings afterwards. Wow. Something like that. That's, That's a little a bit of something, something blue. Beautiful. It's stunning. Well, not a little bit, it's a mega bit. It's, it's a lot. And, and, and going back to what we, we say here at Jewelry Maker a lot is that actually, you know, in, in Jewelry Maker terms, 60 carats, it's not the biggest carat weight we've ever seen at Jewelry Maker, is it? But actually, if you go onto the high street mm -hmm. and you look at sapphire designs, you might get a carrot, you might get two carrots. 60 carrots, that is 600 points of sapphire that you have there. That is incredible. Please, please get this valued. Yeah, definitely. Can you imagine the valuation yeah. of something like this, Linda? Yeah. It Do would you know be what? incredible. I'd, I'd be almost inclined to take it as it is at the minute for yeah. valuation. Yeah. yeah, And then make up, say, a very simple piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, about six of them in earrings. Yeah. And then take those for valuation mm. and then see. And I'm almost pretty confident that you might get roughly the same valuation. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine, can you imagine these are spaces with pearls? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kate Middleton, eat your heart out. That would look fantastic. 89.95. If you have this in your basket, just check out. Get it home, then make your mind up. Don't, don't get to later on this evening and think, oh, wish, wish I'd have gone in for it. Wish I'd have just got it. Because once they're gone, we can't get them back for you. Not at this price tag. So massive, massive well done. Um, right. It's 10.30. Star by. <gasps> can I just check? Has Colin left the gallery? Whew, we can do it now. We'll do it. Let's quickly do it before he comes back. Star by. <laughs> Just want to check how many do we have? 
157. No Nowhere way. near. Oh, actually, make that 155. Linda and I are going to have one each, at least. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, at least, thank you. Yeah, yeah at least. We'll, we'll, we'll just <laughs> yeah. take one for okay, now for and now. see okay. how it goes. Yeah. If there's right. any left, we might get some more. Um, it's not going to be enough, okay? Um, I have never ever seen Linda move so quickly as I did when Scott bought this strand in earlier on. Before we'd even got halfway across the studio and he said the words, I alight. She was gone. She was gone. Um, this is incredible. And we have already promised to do this. £10, which is ridiculous. Graphicals are in, so dial now. There will be a queue in this auction, for sure. But it's a free telephone number. It's not going to cost you a single penny to hold on those phone lines. When you come through, there's an automated message. If you want to skip that, press your number one button and come straight through and just hold those lines. If you have it in your basket, don't leave it in your basket. Check it out. Check it out straight away. Iolite is a collector's gemstone that you have here. So incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Um, Iolite has been used for many, many years in jewellery, but not just in jewellery, for other purposes as well. Because Iolite is a very, very pleochloric gemstone, which basically means that as the light hits it at different angles, you'll see different colours coming from it. Um, so, you know, some angles you might see those deep dark ocean blues, at other angles you may see flashes of violets coming through, then you may see cornflower blues coming through. Now, because of the pleochroism within this gemstone, Vikings would use it to help them navigate the seas. So, in more recent years, um, with this legend there, if you like, there was a gemologist who also happened to be a pilot. Now, he decided that he was going to put the, the theory to the test. And he thought, well, you know what, I'm actually going to try this. So, he took some eyelight upon his flight with him, placed it, I'm going to call it the dashboard, <laughs> don't, know what, don't know what the technical term is on, a, on an aeroplane, uh, placed it on the dashboard, if you like, to see if it worked. <laughs> and you know what? Next to the gear stick. <laughs> yeah. It worked. It actually worked. Next time he went up on his flight, he covered up the compass and just used the iolite. And he said that the pleochroism above the clouds was the best he'd ever, ever seen in any gemstone before. And it worked. And how, do you know what, that's incredible for me. Any gemstone that comes with that, that little bit of history, that story behind it, I just think, it just holds something of very special, it does. doesn't Yeah, well, it? it's, it's got to be um, memorable and special if it has any story behind yeah. it, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It really does. And it's just, it's the hues in this for me. You know, sometimes you look and you think, oh, I can see tanzanite yeah, hues yeah. in there. And then other times you look and you see those violet hues in there, those deep, dark ocean blues in there. It is just one. And it, do you know, how often do we have this? Exactly. Exactly. I've not, I've not personally bought you a strand of Iolite probably for the last two, three months. No. It's not something we have every day. It's not something we have every week. And do you know why? Because when we have one strand, it sells out as quick as you like. Just like this one is going to do. If you love your blue gemstones, I mean, this is a great one for the gents as well, isn't it, Linda? Yes. I think because of the tone, yeah, depth absolutely. of colour that you've got of there. Of course it is. Yes, it's, it's it, you know, the, what I like about highlight is the different hues that you yeah. get within it anyway. And the different hues you get within any one stone, mm -hmm. um, not just a, on yeah. the graduation itself. It's, um, it's incredibly mystical. It, it is um, mystical, but isn't it? it? It's, it's a beautiful colour to mm. wear if you get where I'm coming yeah. from. And it's also a bit of a talking point thing because, I mean, I can see that that's not, that's not sapphire. Mm -hmm. I can see that's not any of the other blue stones. So yeah. is it kyanite? Is it iolite? Yeah. But you know, there's, there's a definite question there. Intrigued. What is it? And that's, yeah. Yeah, there yeah, is, isn't there? It, it, just, is it, just, it, it is intriguing. Yeah, it creates, uh, it's a talking point, isn't it? And it creates interest and intrigue. 
Um, it's beautiful and if you've never, never ever um, got eye light into a stash before, let this be the first time because the price tag we are going to bring you for this strand today is ridiculous ridiculously ridiculously low in fact uh scott kind of flippantly just said earlier on yeah it's going to 10 pounds and then you know when you do that sometimes you do that sometimes and then you think hang on is it is it i, I, I actually i'll just check I'll, I'll just make sure that it is because just saying it out loud sometimes doesn't quite sound right does it it, it doesn't make sense so we did check the bad news. <laughs> it's not going up in price, just that <laughs> half of the quantity has already gone. Nine pounds and 95 pence for you. That is incredible. For 35 carats, that is just pennies per carat for Iolite. That is unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. In the of. gem industry. Yeah. Um, two by one, six by four millimeters, a fasted rondelles, perfect for channel setting, mm -hmm. aren't they? You know, you just pop three of those, make a beautiful trilogy ring, that would look stunning. Have that graduation, drop them onto a headpin and have a little drop in some earrings. What oh. color findings would you use, Linda, with these? Um, instinctively, um, without thinking about it, I would use silver. Yeah, instinctively, I think. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's because of the, the, the sort of the silvers that are coming mm. from it. And it's quite nice. You're sort of there, right on top of it. I am here at yeah. sort of a, a, a few arms length, sort of thing. Mm. So I actually do tend to get different, a, a yeah. different view, but in some respects. Um, a jewellery wearing view, mm -hmm. if you see what I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, because um, you can see yes, it from the back. So I can yeah. see those dangling, you know, through the different hues as earrings mm -hmm. as being, whoa, aren't they? Yeah. You know, phenomenal. And again, um, any time, any place, any function, any, anything at all. Mm -hmm. um, and with anything because of that sort of indigo blues yeah they seem it's like one of the colors of the rainbow isn't it it's the yeah. indigo blue and the rainbow yeah. so it will go with any other color because it's in that sort of spectrum yeah yeah absolutely right 9.95 9 is where we are 9 do you know what this is going very very quickly i've got about 30 in baskets right now it's fastest fingers first on this one i wouldn't hesitate yeah. at that kind of price tag there pmru85 is your code you've got 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 do you know what? I'm going to go with approximately 60 to 70 gemstones on that strand there. It is absolutely packed. In fact, you can make an entire suite with what you have here. Yeah. And if you get the deal of the day that's coming up for you in 20 minutes time. What's not going to go with the deal of the day? <laughs> I could put everything with yeah. this, couldn't I? Absolutely everything. Look at that small section of your eye light there. Pop that into the bracelet. Beautiful. Isn't what it kind nice? of price I mean, is it, that, Linda? With the eye light yeah. in it. Yeah, um, with a small section of eye light. With eye light and a sterling silver bracelet. Whoa, I'm going to go 49.95. With that, we're in a heart. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's, it's a no it's it's it? I like the gemstone as well, which is which is very eye catching. Yeah, and I think it's because of the different hues mm. of a very unusual blue. Yeah, it is. It's not your everyday it blue. It is. It's so kind of not. Yeah. Your center, you I mean, I like and Labradorite and think, together. Are yeah, phenomenal. Do you know, I don't think I've ever together. seen yeah, that combination. they are of phenomenal together. Those two. Mm. Um, lots of you multi bond there. Collect it in Greater Manchester has got two. Collect it in Essex has got two. Chris in Essex has got two. Barbara's got two. Marty in Surrey's got two. Catherine's got two. Patricia in Tyne and Weir's got two. Collect it in Lincolnshire's got two. Collect it in Glamorgan, wow. you've got two as well. Patricia in Kent's got three. Um, Irina in Sussex, you've got two. Congratulations. Um, Margaret says she'd wear them everywhere. <laughs> you, do you know what? You don't want to yeah. take. You wouldn't want to take them off, would you? That's the thing with your jewellery. When you're a lover of jewellery, you don't ever want to take anything off. Uh, Nikki Vienzi in Lynn in Ayrshire, Samina in the West Midlands, Collect in Langshire, Pat Deb, bad Deb in the West Midlands. Um, Deb, you won an award, didn't you? I'm sure our Deb won an award in the. Um, she did. Yeah, which one was it, Linda? Was it a Tip? The oh, best, jewelry, the best yeah. tip, best yeah. jewelry maker tip. Well done, yeah, congratulations tip. to you. Uh, Denise in Derbyshire, Margaret in Cheshire, Collector in Yorkshire, Collector in Cumbria, Geoffrey in Staffordshire, Claire in Bridgend, you're all there as well. Well done for coming in and checking this out. How many do we have left, Sam? About 30. It's not many, is it? This will be so. In fact, I've got more in baskets than I have available quantity. We are over allocated at this moment in time. Um, I don't like it when I know that people are going to miss out. It makes me feel sad. 
get checking out. If you love it, don't hesitate. And do remember, it doesn't matter how many times you log in and check out on the web. You could log in 50 times today and you can combine that order. You still only have one postage and packaging regardless of the amount of times you log in and logging out. So just get checking out. PM, are you, Ben says, obviously up to a certain weight. No, no, Ben. You know, you could have a truck deliver for 2.95. Yeah, yeah, I know, Somebody, I don't know. Ben just said, how do we do it? I don't know, is the answer, I don't know. PM, uh, are you 85? Well done, it is fastest fingers first now for the last few chances. Oh, do you know what we've got with this? See, that just, that just does something Magical. It does, doesn't it? There was me saying so the silver. Well, I, I was You've totally You've done with that, you. and I'm thinking, do you know what? It, yeah. Gold. It, 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 it's one of those, isn't it? That's the versatility yeah. of the colour that we've got there. You know, you can put it with your 95 sterling silver components, no problem at all. But you, you put it with that gold, and it instantly brings that warmth. It is. It's stunning. It? It, oh, it, it brings a sort of a real... Mm. Luxury. Do you know uh, you you look in some of these high end jewellers and you'll think, "Whoa, I'd never have thought of putting all that together yeah. in a million years." And then when you actually see this finished product, you think, "Oh my goodness, I'm so glad somebody did think about yeah. doing that." That that's what I think a lot of the time with the uh, guest designers as well because. I always say, you know, oh, well, you like, you know, the eyelight and labradorite. I've never seen that combination of gemstones, and I wouldn't necessarily think to put those together. But then when you see, them, of course, yeah. Do you know what? Oh my days. Do you know what this is actually like? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got my contacts in. My contacts are for distance, so closer. <laughs> Not very good. Um, you, know the, you know the popcorn bracelets that we have? Um, <laughs> Not the one that won product of the year, the other ones, the links on them. The links are very much like this. Oh, yeah, can, you, can you see? Yeah. That looks fantastic. You know They're really, really sizable, sizable links that you've got there as well. They are beautiful. The weight of this is phenomenal as well. The first thing I noticed when I picked it up was the, was the pure weight. Of this particular design is you know with weight comes fluidity and you just know that even without putting this on or holding it up to the neckline that it's just going to fall beautifully around the neckline absolutely it's it will got so look much movement incredible it? yeah. it's stunning i love do you know and, and those links as well the way that this is made that makes for such strength such strength in in, in, a, in a necklace in a chain design and um, we've we said before that you know, you can, you can go on to high street, you can buy your kind of really fine trace chains, but you look at them and you think, do you know what? If I catch that on anything, it's, it's going to go, it's going to give, Absolutely. you know? And this is what I love about our chains here at Jewelry Maker is that the way that they're made, and you know, we, we, we showed you before with that other 925 sterling silver chain, we, we zoomed right in, 40 times magnification, we were as close as you like, and you could see see how well made that chain was going back to being a jewelry maker if you're selling your jewelry you want to sell those pieces and have that peace of mind that your customer isn't going to be coming back next week saying well it broke you know True, you, you've yeah. got that peace of mind there you know you've, you've not only got the the strength of 925 sterling silver there as well but you've got so much weight in there and the way that it has been made gives you that peace of mind and you know as i said before i don't sell jewelry but if i was selling my jewelry i'd want that peace of mind because the last thing i would want would uh, was for anybody to come back to me and say well you know i'm sorry but i'm not very happy mm. with uh with the piece that you made me because uh, yeah. it wasn't made to last that's what you want jewelry that is made to last yeah definitely so you've I mean, got your 95 yeah. sterling silver absolutely if you, if you are selling your jewelry on you do need to be confident in what yeah. you're selling because word of mouth is such a huge um passer on of um you know reputation isn't exactly. it exactly so. yeah um it really really is and and this you know you, you, you can and that's why we've got customers that have been with us since day dot absolutely. because it's trust absolutely. at the end yeah. of the day and you know if you are new to see it you're making you perhaps tuning in for the first time and you're thinking well you know i'm not sure because you know it is it's shopping television and we we've all got there and had a flick through and thought wow it's too good to be true isn't it you know just turn over 
we're so good here at Joy Mind Care. You know, we, we literally go as far as we can with price. We cut out the middleman so we don't have all these huge margins. You've got a free telephone number to get involved, which is great anyway. Um, our postage is brilliant in comparison to some other channels and especially other you know, auction websites or that forest website that you can buy things from as well. You know, our postage is incredible. 30-day um, money-back guarantee. That's peace of mind in itself. You know, that's that, no quibble. We won't even ask you why you're sending it back. You can just send it back, no cover money back guarantee. The final price you see on your screen is the price tag that you pay. There's no hidden extras, you know? Plus your PMP, that's it, that's all you're gonna pay. It really is a no-brainer. So if you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, what I would say is just trust us, give us a go, come in, buy some components from us, get them home, see how you get on. I guarantee you'll be back. We are so competitive. 16 inches, gold plated, 925 sterling silver popcorn link chain you have here with your two inch extender on there as well. So again, adjustable according to the neckline that you're wearing. It's perfect, isn't it? 12 pounds and 95 pence. KNPO21 is your code for this one. Can I hold this up to the neckline, Ben? It's gold. Look, I mean, look at that. It's just the fluidity you have in that is exceptional. As soon as you pick it, you can just see the way it falls, how beautiful that is. Wear it by itself, it will look incredible, or you can quite easily attach to that if you want to. You can pop a jump ring on there and pop a pendant on there, no problem at all. KNPO21 is your code for this, 0800 655. I would be multi-buying for that one, especially with that gram weight you've got there. Gram weight versus price, lots of you multi-buying. Huge, huge congratulations to you. Well done if you've managed to get that already. If not, just dial in now. You can do it. You can still get this home. A couple of days time, you'll have it home. I think standard delivery is four to five working days. Mm -hmm. That's right. uh, standard. Yep. Yep. Uh, and your premium, if you upgrade to premium, that's two to three working days. You have it a little bit quick. It's an extra two pounds. It's four pounds and 95 pence, which is still cheaper than a lot of other places for delivery as well. Uh, massive congratulations. Maureen, you're in Natalia, you're there. Congratulations. Julie, you've just tuned in. Well done. Anita in Bedfordshire, you've got yours. Sandra, you've got yours. Anne Lillian's in. Well done. Sally in Somerset. Tracy Dawn. Karen Collector in Antrim, you've just tuned in and got yours as well. Patricia's got two in Essex. Sally in Somerset's got two. Collector in Buckingham, she's got two. Well done to you. Angela in the West Midlands. Carol in Leicestershire. Linda in the West Midlands. Collector in Somerset's got three. I tell you what, our Jan. Our Jan must be putting the kettle on or something. <laughs> that, that, the last <laughs> chain we had. <laughs> I guess designer Jan came in and bought 10. Tell you. I'll tell you. Um, there's about 15 baskets right now. Get checking out for that one. It's absolutely beautiful. You can wear that just by itself. Can absolutely. You, I mean, when I first started making jewellery, I, uh, couldn't, I couldn't afford to buy finished chains. Yeah. There was no way. So I was buying chain off reels. And basically, I was paying... You, they come on various reels and they're sold by the inch. So mm -hmm. X amount of inches, and that particular chain would not have been under three ninety five an inch mm -hmm. without, and that's going yeah, back yeah, some time. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love it, love it. Well done if you've managed to get that one. Um, why did hope? Oh, garnet. See, I told Laura Binding yesterday that I say it like that even <coughs> when she's not here. <laughs> um, wow, look at the colour of these. Ooh. These are beautiful. Do you know what? I, this is like purple garnet. Purple garnet. Just <coughs> exquisite. <coughs> Look at that phenomenal, phenomenal colour that you have there. You've got a big, big carat weight of your garnet. And those drops are exquisite. With all the 925 sterling silver that we've had this morning. My goodness. Perfect perfect components you've had this morning to put with this this chain um this uh, not chain sorry strand i should say you've got beautiful drops there that every single one perfectly color mm. match they are completely natural 100 percent natural and the clarity in these is phenomenal as well amazing color 
amazing clarity, no help from man whatsoever, completely natural. 30 carats in total you've got there. This month's birthstone as well, so if you're doing any of your birthstone pieces, you will need to have garnet in your stash. It's an absolute must. Just check out the colour of these. Wow. It's, I think garnet's so romantic. It is, it's beautiful. I mean, um, another myth or legend or whatever way you want to perceive it, no... Uh, Yes, Noah was meant to have lit the ark with yeah. the glow from a garnet, wasn't he? So uh, it's mentioned in uh, in the Bible. Mm. So it's it's a very ancient gemstone that's been used for all of those years as well. It's my obviously my birthstone, yeah. and I would make those into a um, tumble, a waterfall mm. earrings. Have we got three January babies? I love that Lynn's like, yeah, yeah obviously yes, my Sam's birthstone. Too. Sam pipes up. Yeah, it's mine. Carrie's like, and me, and me. When's yours, Linda? When's Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, Elvis's yeah. birthday. When's yours, Kerry? <clears throat> 31st. 31st. Sam? I really should write it. Do you know what? I ask everybody when their birthday is like, I'm going to remember and get them a card. I should write it down. <laughs> I should write it down. Um, all garnet babies. When's yours, Ben? June 11th. So you're pearl. Greedy. Pearl, Moonstone and Alexandrite for Ben. All three for Ben, please. Um, do you know what? I'd be more than happy with a with a January birthday, especially with this gemstone. It's, wow! Hang on a minute. Sorry, I've only just realised the price tag. <laughs> yes. um, Seven pounds and ninety five pence. What on earth are we doing? That's ridiculously, ridiculously low. As I was saying just a minute ago, if you're brand new and you're questioning that price tag, thinking right, well, that's too good to be true, isn't it? Yeah. It's obviously, in, in, it's obviously not genuine garnet, is the, it? Um, um, I instinctively knew that, oh, hand on heart, that that would be Indian yeah. like garnet mm. because of the colour. I mean, it's so, Textbook, isn't it? it's so, you know, where you imagine the Indian jewel colours, you know, the oh, colours yeah. of you know, those really vivid, what I call treasure chest yeah. colours mm. of gemstones. And, uh, and that garnet is that, but it still has lots of clarity. Yeah. Which is, it's got such a depth of colour, but it still retains its clarity. It does, doesn't it? It's, it's astonishing. astonishing. Natural with that colour as well. IWRU29 is your code for this one. That's a 30 centimetre round. What would you do with these, Linda? Well, as I say, I would definitely do these opera drop shoulder yeah. uh, drop earrings, definitely. With another strand, I, I would do a tassel. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, <coughs> excuse me, I would multiply probably, I would probably like to have three because I would definitely like to have a longer necklace just with, you know, the gold chain that yeah. we had there, but if I could buy the loose chain and have links of chain through mm -hmm. it, because oh. garnet and, and gold chain go together so well. Garnet and gold, the absolute dream, isn't it? Uh, Nikki in Cambridge says, it's my mother-in-law's birthday tomorrow, and we've made her a sterling silver and garnet necklace. Beautiful. Today, oh, oh, happy birthday, Happy Mom. birthday, Kerry's mum, Mrs M. Mandy. Happy birthday, Mandy. <laughs> oh, that's what you get her any garnet? No. No. Well, you can now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pop out and go and get her one. <laughs> um, oh, do you know, it's my mum's birthday as well, a week on Saturday. Gosh. Yeah. All the mums having birthdays as well. Happy birthday to uh, Nikki Kemp's mum in law as well. Um, well then if you've managed to get that 7 95 that's absolute steal, loads in baskets again, make sure you're checking out as soon as you possibly can. 0800 644 655. Deal of the day, coming up for you. Wow, not long at all. Where's it gone? <laughs> I was wearing it. <laughs> right. What is it? It's, what is it? I had it on my wrist, like... You've still got something on your wrist. Have I? Where? There. <laughs> That's one yeah. way of getting nice it out of the building, try, isn't it? Nice That's one try. one way of getting it out of the building. I do, I was like, how Where on, on the day earth of the day that gone? Please can't find this I just, one. I just had it on. Like, what's going on? Who's taking it off me without me even noticing? Oh, my goodness. What a shot. I'll have to wear this dress again, will not I? Um... <laughs> Deal of the day is coming up for you uh, just after the break. It's your speaker chain. These have been so, so popular here at Jewelry Maker. We've been really lucky to have quite a few, actually, over the last few weeks. 
Um, and they've all flown out, all all different, all beautiful individuals. In fact, you've had loads of opportunities to get um, connectors as well. We've had loads of connectors. Yesterday's deal of the day was the turquoise connector. I don't think we've got this connector coming up today, actually, but I will double check in a second for you. We've had the Peridot connector earlier on. We had the black onyx connectors right. as well. There's loads you could put into that the lovely, centre. That. The, the labradorite that yeah. was in the earring things, wasn't it? But you could mm. make a connector like that if you had sterling silver wire as well. Yeah. So. Could, couldn't you? That's beautiful. So the deal of the day is coming up for you just on the other side of the break. So just to make sure you stay exactly where you are. Loads more to bring you as well. Don't forget, you've got your second kit coming up with some shibori ribbon as well. So I'll see you back here in a sec. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you have found a workshop you'd like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator, Wendy, at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. soon the sewing quarter the uk's first shopping channel dedicated to sewing and quilting we will have all the things you love to sew including clothes quilts bags toys cushions and much much more We're really excited about our launch and we can't wait to share it with you. So head over to our website, sign up, get a free pattern and get all the news on our launch of The Sewing Quarter. So tune into The Sewing Quarter on Channel 78. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. in time for the deal of the day for you now this is beautiful and these speaker chains have been probably one of the most popular components on the back of last year it's absolutely beautiful now I have this one on I've been wearing this nearly lost it 
I've been wearing this uh, since eight o'clock this morning with an amber connector. Now, I don't think the amber connector is coming up in today's show, but we'll just double check for you. Um, however, you might already have this connector. It might be that you came in yesterday because the deal of the day yesterday actually was turquoise connectors. They were stunning, really, really beautiful. Uh, we've had amethyst connectors. We've had black spinel connectors. We've had peridot connectors on today's show as well. Lots of different gemstones that are um, bezel set into silver already but it doesn't have to be a connector as such so you could if you want to see, I mean there's lots of strands we said earlier on in fact I think Linda has made me pretty much put every strand with the deal of the day um, the aquamarine and morganite strands the multicolored barrel that we had earlier on you could take a small section small section of the barrel and pop that in there yeah a little bit of rosary Lincoln in there like it Ben that would look fabulous or the eye light did you manage to get the eye light as well Small section of the eye light in there, no problem at all. So you could take any of your gemstone strands if you wanted to and just pop a little bit um, of something into the, into the small section there. But chain mail as well, why not make yourself, uh, make yourself a beautiful chain mail link in there as well. So it could be the, um, I, know, I never say this right, the Tau flower chain mail. No, I've said it wrong. Carrie's like, what? Uh, <laughs> um, no, the flower. The sounds Japanese. The towel so you flower. Are yeah, right. I'm sure it's called Japanese, the towel flower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's really beautiful in town manor. So you could just pop that in between there as well. It could be just a little Byzantine chain as well, a small section of that. A bit of macrame in there. I was thinking of all the different... How about a polymer clay bead, you know, or one of your silver beads in there as well? Any medium that you work in will work with this. Now, what I was saying earlier on, what I was saying earlier on is that for me personally, and this has been a, a bit of a problem for a while, is that um, I, I struggle to cut 95 sterling silver. So I've always kind of, if you could, you know, like your three meter lengths of 95 sterling silver chain, I know that you just take your cutters and you cut that length off for your bracelet or your earrings or whatever it is. I find it really difficult. <laughs> it, it, I, I'm quite frightened in case I ruin it or damage it in any way. You know, I've always been a, a bit, you know, not necessarily very confident with it. So when we launched the Spiga bracelet chains, and I, I did literally, I got the chain. I was like, "What's this? Or was it broken? No, it's not." It's in two halves. This is brilliant for any of you out there that perhaps are the same as me and think, oh, you know, I'm not quite confident enough to, to, to go in and, and just, you know, hack away at the 925 sterling silver. Um, there is just, they're, they're, they're just perfect, absolutely perfect for you to work with. And this is great for a beginner as well. So actually, we've made this really versatile in that, you know, you don't necessarily have to be in jewelry making for ages. We're not just kind of throwing you in at the deep end, saying there's a metre length of chain, go and make a bracelet with that. All you have to do, all, and it literally, it's like Ben said, well, it's not finished, is it? It's not finished. But you know what? All it is, is opening and closing a jump ring. If you want to pop maybe one gemstone in there, you know, just a little bit of wire, um, you can go onto our YouTube channel as well, which has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, tutorials on how to do different things there. So if, if there's anything you're a little bit unsure of, just get yourself along to the uh, tutorials on YouTube as well and have a look at how you could put your link in there, whatever that may be. I mean, it could be that you come in today and you buy 12. So you come in and you buy 12 and then you decide to do birthstones. So you could go through every month of the year. You could have your own little birthstone collection, couldn't you, on your craft stall if you wanted to. Right from your garnet in January, right through to December, and your tanzanite. No reason why you couldn't do that at all if you wanted to. So buy as many as you like. You've got a significant grand weight of 95 sterling silver. And if I just hold that out for you there, you can see you've got your bolt ring clasp on there. And you've got an extender chain on there as well. So you can adjust that length, 20 and a half centimetres, which is approximately eight inches. Eight inches in length. So I would say, well, in fact, shall I give it a measure for you? Much easier if I do that. Uh, so we're talking six and a half to eight inches. So you've got an inch and a half on that extender chain. And have a look. 
have a look at the little heart drop on there. I know that's that's attention to detail. That is that's so so beautiful. So just having that little heart drop on there, a little bit of attention to detail, can make a big big difference. And actually, that could be you got your 925 stamp on that side. That side is blank, so you could just pop a little stamp on there. It could be an initial. It could be a significant number for you or a date if you want to. You could texture that if you wanted to as well. Or perhaps have your own little logo, you know, your own little um, trademark, I guess, if you wanted to. It's so versatile. There's so much that you could do with this as well. They're fabulous. In fact, you know what? Janet and John in Wiltshire have come in and got 10. 10 of these. That's the great thing. And you know what? Can I just say, Janet and John are on the phone lines. So Janet and John have no idea where this is going on price at all. No idea. Webbers, see Webbers, if you're playing on the web, you get to see a price tag. Might not necessarily be the price tag, but you can see a price tag. So you've got some idea of where it's going. So nine times out of 10, Webbers come in, check out, telephone bidders don't get a look in. Trust us on this one. If you're playing on the phone lines, come in nice and early. 0800 644 655. Get them home. Make them interchangeable if you want to. There's no reason why you couldn't. And I think it was Kleshner that was here last week that said to me she would make a wardrobe. Was it Kleshner? I think it was. I think it was, yeah. She would just make an entire wardrobe of interchangeable sections for the speaker bracelet. You could just... Because you could have a different look every day mm -hmm. and people would think that's a completely different bracelet. It would be brilliant, wouldn't it? You can have your daytime yeah. pieces, your nighttime pieces. Absolutely, but pieces. also um, it would be, like, for me, there would be, and these are really increasing actually on trend at the minute, um, it's sort of very high-end stacker bracelets. Mm. Can you imagine each one in a different gemstone and that, you know, six or seven of them on your wrist? Really, really nice. Wow. Um... <clears throat> Just getting a confirmation in my ear there. There's, uh, after lengthy discussions with the buying team, we're going to do a price drop on this. Get dialing now. 0800 644 655 Webbers. Check out, check out, check out as soon as you can. CFRF. 54 is your code for this one. Loads and loads of you coming through on the web now. We've got 400 available. And you know what? Way over a quarter of the stock has already gone. And you know why? Because so many of you are buying. Uh, you know, Janet and John have got 10. Uh, Georgina in Nottinghamshire has got five. Carrie in Lancashire has got four. This is why. This is why that quantity is falling so quicker. So quicker? Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, brilliant. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, baby brain, just blame it on that. It's not like I'm like this all the time. Uh, Marion in Norfolk's just got four as well. Congratulations to you. Get dining now, get this in your basket, and get checking out as soon as you can. 0800 644 655 Webbers Jewelry Maker.com. I have so many in baskets but not checked out yet. Deal of the day if it sells out now, you're not going to get another look in. That will be it. Just get this on, pop a pearl in there. Just a little bit of pearl, a little bit of pearl, a little bit of wire with your pearl. Have that in the centre there. That's, that's your June piece. That's your June birthstone piece. For me, nice little ruby in there. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? And then for all of our garnet babies here in the studio. When's your birthday, Leah? March. March. Another March one. There's loads. Of, somebody just said to me not long ago, like 70% of the employees here have March birthdays. Yeah, I'm having March off. Actually, <laughs> no, I'm not because there'll be so much cake in this building. Can you imagine? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, CF, I will be off April anyway, Ben. I'll, I'll be off having a baby. Um, 0800 655 <laughs> uh, Marion in Middlesex has got four. Dorian in Dorset's got two. Sharon in Greater Manchester, you've got two. Right, let, let's just talk about price now. Let's just think. So the amber connector that's in here, we've had them here at Jewelry Maker before. What kind of price tag would you sell this bracelet on for, Linda? With the amber connector yeah. in? Um, I would say it's got to be around the £50 mark. It's got to be. I and think I think so that's, uh, that's on most sort yeah. of levels. I think mm. put it in, in there. And um, mm. even perhaps go up to the 69 79 if I'm in sort of more of a... Yeah. You know, but... Yeah. 
So let's say, let's take a gemstone, let's take a pearl, one pearl, sizable, and you're just popping that onto some wire and linking that in, into the middle section there. Okay, well, we'll probably come down to 39.95. Yeah. Okay. Um, but what I would tend to do, if I, if I was um, multi-buying on these and I'm mm. selling my jewellery, yeah. I would certainly have um, a birthstone, a birth yeah. uh, gemstone corner and make yeah. every one slightly different on design, mm. but mm. with all the different gemstones. Even if there's four gemstones for a month, I'd, yeah. I'd do the, those particular four and that. Mm. And that just brings people in, yeah. um, opens up sort of a bit of a dialogue and that, and then you can uh -huh. always say to them, well, what gemstone do you want? You don't have to have a you, you Whatever, you can yeah. have what you want because everything and anything will work. And I think the gallery is still thinking about what, what you can't use in those bracelets and I don't yeah, think they I come know. up with anything. Ben, yeah? I, think, I think Ben gave himself, <laughs> what, three minutes and said to me in my ear, do you know what, I still can't think of any medium here at Jewelry Maker that wouldn't work. Sutash was the closest he got, and then yeah, he said, "Actually, you, you could still make that work." That would actually be fantastic, Sutash yeah. design in that. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, actually, of course, every medium you ever seen here at Jewel Maker, they're going to work. How fantastic! Um, look, I can't believe the quantities on my screen: fives, tens, nines, six, fours. Never seen so many people buying in such big quantities. Take it, I don't have, I have no idea where this is going. No idea at all. Oh, 800, six triple four, six double five, nine pounds and 95 pence. Your deal of the day today. That is just fantastic, fantastic. Take one gemstone off of one of your gemstone strands, pop it in there. As Linda said, 40 pounds. There you go. Oh my gosh, we'd be quizzing with these, wouldn't we? Um, loads of you coming through on the web now. So many more coming through on the phone lines. Mrs. Pauline in the West Midlands, you've just got five. Uh, Sharon in Greater uh, Manchester, you've got two. Marion in Middlesex has got four. Shelley in Hampshire's got three. Clex in Cheshire's got three. Bernadette, County Carlo, very regular customer, you've got two. Donna in Midlothian's got two. Pat in Essex has got two. Collect in Lancashire, you've got two. Congratulations. Sandra's got three as well. Do you know, I can see people there and the quantity next to your name is going up. You're kind of thinking, yeah, I've got one. Actually, I'm just going to get two. Actually, do you know what? I'll get three. I'll get three. That is fantastic isn't it loads and loads of you there for these massive congratulations but as i say that quantity is falling quicker because um because there's so many of you multi buying in big big quantities and that's the great thing here at jewelry maker is you can you can buy as many as you like 0800 644 655 um again i don't know how close you can get to to the links on the bracelet chain but you know I, I'll do this with every single one if we can just look at that look at the quality and look how well made that chain is you've got so many links going on there yeah, that yeah you've I got mean um, you mentioning that word that you've just used as well I mean there is a, <clears throat> um, a very large company that have virtually built their business yeah around this type of bracelet yeah um, and look how big that I business know. is mm. um, and you're not going to find a bracelet anywhere near there that price not anywhere today. near it especially with the silver prices exactly. you know it, it, I keep forgetting I keep forgetting about 925 sterling silver a couple of months ago we were given the heads up from our buying team that the prices are likely to go up so we kind of took it with a pinch of salt and I thought right well it's perhaps going to go up five percent ten percent maybe you know, some you know, insignificant, something we probably won't even notice. Thirty percent price rise in sterling silver prices. And the very day that that news hit the hit the industry, we we check prices in the morning, you check them an hour later and they'd gone up, you check them an hour later and they'd gone up again, you check them an hour later, and they just kept going up throughout the day. So it was like as the news was spreading, people were like, Right, I'm jumping on this bus and I'm putting my prices up. Everybody was doing it, but here at Jewelry Maker, it's not what we're about, so we haven't, and that's not what we've done. So, so going forward, any new purchases that we make of 925 sterling silver, if we're paying that 30% price increase, then we will have to add that on, obviously. But luckily, we've not kind of said, well, do you know what? Let's just put all our silver up now by 30%, because we could, that's what everyone else has done. But we've not. We're still sticking to our guns here. We're still passing our deals on. And we won't put the price of our 925 up until we absolutely have to. But remember, 
And, and this is what I thought, when, when the silver's going up, I thought, oh, gosh, you know, 30%, that's, that's quite a significant rise. But then, sterling silver adds value to your pieces. So now, it's adding even more value to your pieces as well. And obviously, if you're paying 30% more, you put your prices up by 30% more as well. So really, we're never going to lose, are we? CFRF54 is your code for this one. We've got, in fact, we're down to double figures now, actually. 0800 644 655. Kathleen in Essex has got three. Angela's just got two. Edith Ann in County Durham has just got two. Lillian's got three. Dolly. Dolly, I love that name. And me. Dolly, <coughs> such a lovely name. Uh, you've got four, well done. Uh, Laura in Midlothian's got three. Do you know, every, there's not many people that have only bought one. I'm, I was going to say every other person, but it's actually more than that that have multi-bought. I'm struggling to pick out the people that have only got one of these. So a massive, massive congratulations to you. Uh, Ellen has just come in and cruise again. Well done to you. You've got yours. Caroline in Cambridgeshire. Joanna in Conway. Kathleen in Essex has just got three. How many would you get, Linda? Um, I think I might do a Jan Dwyer on it and do the ten. Oh, I see, I'm thinking yeah. birthstone pieces. Yeah, um, this. and also uh, from a jewelry maker, again, a jewelry maker point of view, this mm -hmm. is a quick make, so yeah. there isn't a lot of time involvement that you have to work out for on, on your sale price, so you can mix and match it with things mm -hmm. that are more time consuming. Yeah. But then again, it still gives you what we all crave as jewelry makers. It still gives you an opportunity for creativity mm -hmm. and what to put with it and how to put it with it. Yeah. So you've got the best of both worlds there. Yeah. A lovely backdrop, but you've still got some, a lot of creativity yeah. left to work yeah, with. Yeah, absolutely. And again, if you've never made a piece of jewellery in your life, you can do this very easily by opening and closing a gem ring or by simply popping one gemstone in into the centre there and following a tutorial over on YouTube of how to uh, uh, create a loop and attach that. It'd be really, really simple for you to do and you have the most beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Very, very high-end finish on that one as well. And uh, here's one I made earlier. I didn't, I didn't make this actually, I didn't make this. One of our lovely in-house designers made it for you. And um, I've got approximately, at this moment in time, 60 in baskets. Now, while you have things in your baskets, you've not secured your purchase, do remember that. Um, until you complete your checkout and you've had that confirmation, that's it, okay? So just make sure you do confirm as soon as you can. So many of you there, um, so many of you on the telephone lines as well. Apologies if you have been in a little queue, but don't worry, it's a free telephone number not going to cost you a single penny to hold on those phone lines. CFRF54. Uh, Lynn in Northamptonshire, you've got two. Catherine in Lancashire, you've got two. Trudy in Essex has got three. Sandy in Berkshire's got two. Anne in Suffolk, Ragsia in the West Midlands has got two. Rosalind's got two. Elaine in Aberdeen, she's got three. Paula in Northamptonshire, she's got two. Well done to you. Helena in County Tyrone's got three. 0800 644 6 Double five, you can still do this. Hold on those. In fact, if you've got a phone line in your phone line, telephone in your hand, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Oh, thanks, Leah's just rescued me. Literally, do you know what that happens so often in the studio? Just random spiders crawl down from the ceiling, something catches my eye. I'll have to try really hard not to scream out loud. Thanks, Leah. She just saved me. Brilliant. Right, well done if you've managed to get that. Okay, just pop that on there. Pop those out of the way as well. If you've just tuned in, by the way, um, go and have a look on the website, www.jewelrymaker.com. Anything still available from the show today because it has been an incredible, incredible show. Um, I have to say as well, we've had so much 925 solid sterling silver for you. It's been and the gemstone strands we've had. We've had the best strand of sapphire I've ever seen. We've had the best strand of morganite I've ever seen. Oh, and I've got the best strand of aquamarine I've ever seen. Look at these. So wit. So woo. Time for a star by. <laughs> We had a multicolored barrel strand earlier on, and we were talking about um, the prices of 
aquamarine. Um, because if we if we labelled that that strand of multicolour beryl up, uh, as aquamarine and morganite, chances are price tag would be a lot higher. Um, Aquamarine, there's two gemstones on the high street for me that I'm always saying, do you know what? <laughs> and, 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 and when I tell you, you'll go and you'll have a look and you will always notice these two gemstones now. One is topaz, the other is aquamarine. Both of these gemstones on the high street are so highly priced. I cannot believe. And, you know, you look at them and you see small carat weights, you know, maybe a quarter of a carat, which is 25 points in a cluster design. And you could be talking three figures for something like that. And I just, I cannot believe, I don't know how they get away um, with putting such huge, huge prices on them. I know they've got all their margins and stuff, but it just seems to be, for me particularly, topaz and aquamarine. So here at Joy Maker, as always, with all of our gemstones and components, you know, these prices, in my opinion, we can't be beaten. You know, we really can't. Carrot weight versus quality versus price. Our prices are exceptional. And quality, you know, it's not like you might think, okay, well, I've heard about Joy Maker. Um, Perhaps the quality is not so good, you know, perhaps there's some compromise on quality where, where gemstones are concerned. There isn't any compromise at all. Now, the majority of our gemstones are bead quality. The difference between bead quality and gemstone quality mainly is that transparency, so the clarity of the gemstone. So with a bead quality gemstone, you'll get that opaqueness. You won't necessarily get amazing clarity with it, as you would do with a, genu um, with a uh, gemstone quality gemstone. But this means that we can bring you fantastic prices. However, on the other occasion, like now... Um, and with the Morganite we had earlier on, you get gemstone quality, where you have colour and the clarity to boot. Oh, look at that blue. Textbook aquamarine you have there. That is the epitome of aquamarine, isn't it? That, that, that's exactly what you'd expect to see. If you close your eyes and think of aquamarine, this is better. Yeah, and, and to be to be absolutely honest, it's it's bluer than that. Yeah. To be honest, in the studio, it's bluer, than, and with our lights and that, that's difficult to do. But it is bluer than that. It is, isn't it? Studio yeah, lights. it's definitely got the uh, the you know what you would term the colour of aquamarine. Yeah. You know, you'd say that's not blue, that's not good. That is aquamarine. That, yeah. That would how you would describe that. Even if it was mm -hmm. a piece of glass, you'd say that's aquamarine. Yeah. You? Yeah. Um, again, um, what's fantastic, as with the Morganite and the um, Iolite and that gorgeous sapphire we had earlier, is the graduation of mm -hmm. it. It's just such a solid look. Yeah. That's what I like about it from my point of view as a joy maker. I just love the solidity of, of the that slight graduation. It's, yeah. It just, again, it means they've been cherry-picked. Yeah, absolutely. And it just flows, yeah. doesn't it? You know, the strand. That's why I, I think so many times it's... You look at a graduated strand like that and you think, oh, well, I just, I'm going to have to just restrand it because you don't want to separate them. You don't want to take them, but you know, there's a lot of time and effort gone into to, to restranding this um, in the first place and graduating those gemstones and the fasting and everything else. Um, but it just works so well, that graduation. You know, it's a really delicate gemstone that you've got there that's very delicately strung um, onto the strand as well. The gem of the sea, you've got that beautiful pastel crystal waters, you know, those faraway places that are hot and sunny. Yeah. Um, they're just beautiful. It makes me think of summer. It makes me think of sunshine and white sand and tropical fish. <laughs> and you said it, Ben, holidays. Um, it's one of those gemstones, isn't it? But I think, you know, you're something blue. Whenever I think of something blue in a wedding piece, in a bridal piece, I instantly think tanzanite and sapphire. I tend to forget aquamarine. But it's perfect because if you don't want... Because it's quite difficult to get blue into your attire as a bride, mm. isn't it? So if you don't want something that is very striking in its hue and you want something that's more delicate, 
you could just have a little aquamarine. Totally. I mean, Isn't considering, I, sorry if I wasn't concentrating and you've already said that, but that connotation, Pay sorry, <laughs> for that connotation of yeah. putting it into the bride's um, outfit as a, as a something blue, it literally was the engagement ring gemstone yeah, was, for, for a long yeah, yeah. time, ever mm. since sort of engagement, it was aqua, aquamarine yeah. was the original, wasn't mm. it? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? How can you not love um, aquamarine? And the thing is, if you like brilliance, if you like um, light within your gemstone, so brilliance basically is that internal light that comes from within the gemstone. Generally, the more colour we gain in a gemstone, we sacrifice that brilliance. So if you want the best of both worlds, if you want the colour and you want the brilliance, go for those lighter gemstones because the lighter they are the brighter they are you've got 40 carats of your aquamarine here three by one to seven by three millimeters in size that is an 18 centimeter strand that you have there Ooh, 19 pounds and oh, 95 pence you. can you imagine this no. with the morganite strand uh, that we have well, absolutely oh. i can um, and with the eye lights and with the oh, sapphire um yes. you know and again with the deal of the day let's get these stacker bracelets made of oh, the deal yeah. of the day and yeah. um and each one of those glorious gemstones that we've had today that's just that's beautiful looks great it together, is beautiful it? the eye light yeah, and the aquamarine beautiful um, i don't think i have the morganite <laughs> around i tell you what i do have though the I've barrels got the all work the barrels yeah. the little four mil barrels <coughs> so oh, let's see the sapphires oh. let's see one the sapphire oh goodness oh. me Gosh, you need your sunglasses that. on for that. Wow, doesn't that look so high end? The aquamarine and the sapphires together look beautiful. Or as Linda said, it could be the four mil, in the four mil barrels that we had earlier on. That's just a you know, uh, just a couple of little highlights yeah. of um, of the aquamarine in mm -hmm. there. Um, or the other way around, you know, whichever way around that you choose to do it. Yeah. The aquamarine themselves can be used really sparingly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, let's, let's, at, at sort of 20 pounds a strand, it's not something, you know, I often put, well, let's use it sparingly. And the reason why I'm saying use it sparingly is simply the sheer beauty of it. Yeah. And, and it's going to be a long time yeah. to get any more like it. Of course. Yeah, you, you, do, you do want to make it go as far yeah, as you possible. Yeah, absolutely you do. I see on those. It's, it's a beautiful gemstone. Um, you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'm going to say about 60 gemstones you've got on that strand there. They will go such a long, long. You, you could make an entire suite if you wanted to with that. Do you know, I think, Linda, both you and I will agree that pretty much every strand we've had today, we both kind of agreed that you wouldn't go for less than 925. No, absolutely not. No, no, I mean, you know, you were right when you opened the show saying that, you know, there's, we do bead quality, but we haven't today. We've done gem quality. Yeah, we've done I know. Quality. Yeah, if you're tuning in for bead that. quality, you will be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> um, 1995, Catherine's got hers. Joan collected in Aberdeen. She collected in Lincolnshire. You're there as well. Sandra in Nottinghamshire and Wildon, Diane in Wiltshire. Deborah, Lady V in Lancashire. Maria in Middlesex. You're there as well. UBNV42 is your code for this one. Massive massive congratulations if you've managed to check that out march's birthstone that covers most of our employees doesn't it <laughs> yeah yeah i think uh I, d I did hear a number in my ear earlier on but i kind of missed it somebody was like gosh everyone everyone's a birthday is in march um somebody said to me the other day well what star sign is, you, is your, your new baby going to be i was like no idea, but I can tell you what gemstone they are. <laughs> I can tell you what birthstone they are. Yeah, another aquamarine in the march. Um, right, under ten pounds showcase. Under ten pounds section. Oh, let's. Oh, get away. Well, if you, if, you, if Sam said to me, right, uh, pick up which one you think you think it is to start with. I wouldn't pick this up. No way, no how. Oh. <gasps> been spoilt with fluorite already today we've had an incredible strand early on wow. look that's mouth watering it is isn't it yeah that's a real black current hue this is in under 10 pound yeah no it can't be you've picked the wrong one up hannah have we got the right one Oh my okay. word. No, I've got the right one. Oh my <laughs> word. We just made me panic then for a minute. Yeah, I maybe I have. I have my right word. One. Let's cut that um, out quickly. We've got these. Oh. I mean, it's the colour, isn't it? Fluorite for me, again, it's one and a half along with garnet. Um, 
on my list. It's one of my favourites because so I've got quite a lot of fluoride actually. I'm quite lucky at having quite a few pieces of jewellery. And you know, every time I wear it, at least one person will say, what is that gemstone? Yeah, I can understand What's that, that gemstone? Mm -hmm. You know, not many people have seen oh, fluorite, not many people have heard of fluorite at all. And it's just, it, I think it's the whole, um, the fluorescence that, that really captivates people with this one. It just has that spectacular inner glow. It's like a, a, a glacier um, inner glow that you get from this gemstone. It does come in a variety of colours, ranging from your kind of amethyst purples, your black currant hues, through to your glacier greens and your blues. Sometimes you get the yellows in there as well. The great thing is, is that we're not just bringing you uh, your purples, we're not just bringing you your greens or your blues. You've got a, 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 an array of those colours in this particular strand there as well. And I love that with fluorite, you get this spectacular banding in the gemstone as well. So no two oh, that's will ever be the same. I mean, the depths on this one. Do you know what? That, that, when you did that then, I could just see a stretchy bracelet. Yeah. If that's going under £10, a stretchy bracelet, yeah. how beautiful will that be? And we've got the, uh, we had an earlier strand, didn't we? Very we early did the this morning that sold out. Mm -hmm. um, using that together with that as the, the sort of the faceted yeah. with the plain round would be fabulous. Look at that. That, that as a stretchy is beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Look at that glow. Look at those greens coming through. That's 56 crazy. carats you've got there. Seven pounds. So not even just 9 95 We've gone down to seven pounds and 95 pence for you. 56 yes. carats in total. 0800 655 4 by 2 to 7 by 4 millimetres in size 15 centimetre strand that you have there. And look how low we are on price tag. Get dialing, get checking out as soon as you can. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, approximately halfway there. Oh no, 18, approximately halfway. We're going to go with 36. 36 gemstones on that strand. It would be perfect for a stretchy, wouldn't mm. it? Oh, it would certainly. Summertime. You know, just pop that on yeah, with your that, jeans that and your t-shirt. That's again a staple holiday wear, isn't it? I love the fact that going Linda says holiday wear. more than I do. I don't know anybody that <laughs> says that time of year, Hannah. Now it is, start, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's January. That time of year. All of the adverts now yeah. on on uh, yeah. television are holiday. Yeah. Kevin, you haven't got one booked. What is wrong with you? Kerry never doesn't have a holiday booked. You going where? Going to Disneyland Paris for a birthday. Well, can I give you a shopping list, Kerry? Is that all right? Please. Thank you. I love the fact that Kerry says, I'm going to Disneyland for two days for my birthday. But then she says she hasn't got a holiday booked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you haven't got a big summer holiday booked. I'm shocked and surprised. She doesn't normally go more than three days without a holiday, Kerry. Um, 56 carats you've got there. Joyce in the Isle of Wight's got two. Sally in Somerset's got two. Anne in County Durham's got two. Carol in Suffolk's got two. Maria, you've got two as well. Congratulations. Karen in West Yorkshire, you've got two. Well done, Collective in Suffolk's just checked out. I want you could just simply restrand that, pop some little spaces in between, some silver spaces. Oh, yeah, because you've got that icy design. It is. I mean, it's astonishing, that price, because it certainly isn't in context with the strand at all in any way, shape or form. It's just... Oh. <laughs> Look at that with that eye light. Look at that depth of colour. They they're very beautiful. similar, but they're not the same, are they? But they are. They're, they're, they're the same they're, in tone. They're, they're exactly. So that, that means they just work, you yeah. know, the diversity of. Yeah. Um, yeah. They look beautiful, don't they? 0800 644 Again, hats off. Congratulations to the Webbers because you are on it today. You really, really are checking out straight away. And congratulations to the multi buyers as well. You can get as many as you like in any one day. Um, and you've only got one postage and packaging. £2.95 standard. Amazing. Gorgeous. Right. I'm, oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm kind of here. I'm waiting for Sam to tell me what's next. I'm trying to guess. I'm like, right, what, what's <laughs> going into £10? Um, to be honest, everything that I have there, apart from one thing, which is a tool, which I know would be under £10 anyway, I don't get it. Look at these. Oh, bring back the barrel mm -hmm. from earlier on. <gasps> Oh, look at those. It's like Kerry's <coughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Kerry, who has a different <coughs> colour hair every time she comes in. I love it from the pinks to the purples to the blues. Um, these are beautiful. If you got the four millimetre multicolour barrel strand earlier on, I would definitely be coming in and getting these as well because they will work obviously perfectly alongside each other. Six millimetres, these are so six mil, often referred to as the desert island size in a gemstone because there isn't anything you can't really do, just like your four mil, you know. Um, you can macrame with them, you could kumihimo with them if you wanted to. Um, you know, if you're a seed beader, then they're perfect. You know, if you've got your bead loom again, perfect. Into chain mail, you can use them. As stretchies, they're perfect. Look at the blues again. This is what I was saying earlier on is that, you know, with bead quality, you just guaranteed that colour. Exactly. And, and that's what I love about um, bead snap quality. That up. If, if, you, if you're sort of going to be interested in the, in the next kit, the ah. Shibori kits, um, in gemstones, fours yeah. and sixes right. are the ones that I use more than anything. Gemstones, Shibori. pearls of any size, but sixes and fours mm. with my shibori and gemstones are what I use more with than anything. With the colours. Exactly. The ribbon that yeah. you've got in there as well. I can't wait to bring you that kit very, very soon. Um, you've got 65 carats of your multicoloured aquamarine here. I love that because you've got so many different tones of your aquamarine running through this strand as well. I mean, look at that one there. Look how blue. That particular, that just really, really stands out. And then you've got those paler tones running through. So you really have a fantastic selection um, of tones there. 0800 644, look at that one there. Wow. They're gorgeous. So pretty, aren't they? March's birthstone as well, as we were just saying. Um, so if you do your birthstone pieces, do get this one home. If you've got the deal of the day, just a few of those in between um, the connections there. So this amber connector, it uh, wasn't part of the deal of the day, but the bracelet is. So you've just got to, to find a component that you want to use to pop it in between. And those aquamarines would work beautifully, wouldn't they? 0800 644 655 NFKY59 is your code for these. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Ooh, good AC. Good 80, maybe even getting on for 100. £6.95. pence. Add it to your order price tag for you this morning. That is phenomenal value. Going back to what I was saying before with the other strand of aquamarine, high street prices, 65 carats for 6 95 They would laugh you out of the shop, wouldn't they? <laughs> you got 65 carats of aquamarine? No. 65, do you mean 6.5 or 65 points? Do you mean 65 points? No, 65 carats is what I mean. They'd think you'd got thousands and thousands of pounds to spend, wouldn't they, if you asked for 65 Yeah, um, in, in my local village, we have got um, a jeweler shop that does a lot of um, pre-loved, mm -hmm. rather than corn sec, and I like to call it pre-loved yeah. jewellery now. And um, there was a very similar um, aquamarine um, I, I spotted just before Christmas. Um, it was with some pearls, but honestly, it was very similar. And uh, it just looked so beautifully, having those mm -hmm. different hues. Yeah. It gave it a lot of texture instead of just like a flatness mm. somehow so mm. again from sort of not wearing jewelry but making jewelry yeah. you know I, I really embrace these different colors yeah. to the jewelry because yeah. they really you know they they really work beautiful really that really price beautiful. anyway I mean it's a cup of coffee and half <laughs> a nice muffin really isn't it oh, yeah it is half I tell you 6.95 doesn't get you much these no, days no, no. does it at all uh, NFKY 59 is your code for this one 0800 644 Quantity is dropping. You've got a 38 centimetre strand there as well. That could go a very, very long way. I would definitely be putting this with the multicolored barrel strand that we had earlier on. That looks stunning, wouldn't it? Mm. Six mil rounds you've got there as well. 0800 644 655. Um, drill hole on these. Very substantial. I'll just see. Yeah, I was about to say you could use that as a stretchy too. Yeah. Oh, no problem. You know, except well, I've got an aquamarine stretchy bracelet. It's a bit like Fleur's jade eye yeah. stretchy. Whoa, have you? It's very lavish, wow. isn't it? Very decadent, that. Well but done if you've managed to get those. Lots of your multi buying. Okay. Oh, this isn't. Right, sorry. Scott's just came back. You do know we're doing an under £10 section. And that strand's next. Okay. Uh, not just any agate. Oh, no. Oh, isn't that <gasps> beautiful? 
Blue Lace Agate. Get out of town. This is not going under £10. Do you know, Agate, it's, quite, it's a very abundant gemstone. And um, we're really lucky that we have lots of varieties. But there are two in the gemstone industry that are very, very highly sought after and can command huge prices for Agate. One is Botswana Agate and the other is Blue Lace Agate. Oh, and this is going under £10. I would dial now and I would check out now. 85 carats in total you've got there. Blue Lace Agate gets its name uh, because of those beautiful frilly like banding inclusions that you get throughout the gemstone that is often compared to lace. Um, but those, uh, those banding, that, that inclusions that you've got there, um, also called Earth Rainbow, referred to as Earth Rainbow, which I think is beautiful with this gemstone. No two will ever, ever be the same. Completely, completely unique in every single one. Look at that colour. Again, it's like your angelite. It's like your jadeite. Really soft really serene, really calming. 11.95, not under 10 pounds. Well, Sam said we were taking it under 10 and ran and left us to do the dirty work. Um, 85 carats you've got there of your blue lace. I got at eight pounds and 95 pence. You've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, four, that's 14 solitaire rings for me, Ginger. Exactly, Bromwell. 14 um, single drops for a silver chain. Yeah. Um, 14 pendants to be encased oh. in um, some beautiful wire work. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 stacker bracelets set all in different ways. Yeah. Uh, again, popped in with the deal of the day. There's nothing, is there, that's not working with that deal of the day? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, deal of the day is still available and it's at the bottom of your screen um, if you do want to get this. Do you know what I love about the blue lace agate? You can go through the strand, pick out your favourite gemstone. So for me, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. That's throwing a spanner in the works now. Uh, I was going to go for that one, but then I saw this one. Oh, Can look at it on the one? side. I yeah, just, that, that, that little kiss. Do you know what? And I always say this and people laugh at me. I don't mind. Um, Blue Lace Agate takes me on a little journey. And gemstones do this, I think, don't they? Do, they? Yeah. they kind of transport you. For me, I'm in the sky okay. and I am a running on fluffy clouds. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's where Blue Lace Agate okay. takes me. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, <laughs> I'm a, a Care Bear. My Little Pony <laughs> or an actual Care Bear. I used to have a Care Bear. Other bears it? are available. Yeah. Um, do you know what? One of those 925 sterling silver wire in a ring for me, that's going to be a £40 piece of jewellery easily. 895 is amazing. Right. Um, oh. These are shell. No. Are they? <laughs> well, look how perfect these are. Oh, oh my days. Yeah. Oh, my day. These are real teal hue, exactly. aren't they? Yeah. These, look how perfect they are. Do you know what? I never thought these, I thought they were, I just looked at them and thought they were, they, they were shell. They well, just looked too perfect. Yeah, exactly, in shape. Yeah. Which is very cool, yeah. Absolutely. The colour of these. I love green gemstones. Quite often called the queen of the green here at uh, Jewelry Maker. Um, yeah, I'm working on, working on that t-shirt. Um, yeah, I love green gemstones. So for me to be able to get a pearl in this colour is Fabulous. I think they look so high end. White pearls, don't get me wrong, you know, we all want to own that classic white pearl necklace, don't we? But next to that and your peacock pearls, for me, it's this particular colour that we have here because I think they look so expensive. They absolutely do. Um, as I say, as a, as a, a tumble drop, again, again, waterfall, it, they sort of conjure up waterfall tassels, waterfall mm -hmm. earrings. Um, but I'm sort of zinging back to the chrome diopside. 
mm -hmm. um, popping the creme dye upside with it just give that and also you know the fluorite oh. that we had you started yeah. off the fluorite that you started yeah. off this yeah. um, under 10 pound hour with the mm. fluorite would be stunning it's almost in between teal and peacock pearl isn't it colour? it is because actually yeah. just as you said that I was yeah. thinking there's so many they different colours they are peacock colors. feathery aren't they beautiful they're real <laughs> They're real pearls, and mm. they are six pounds and ninety-five. I tell you what, our Janet will be back in times ten, swimming in her gravy. Um, I hundred six triple four six double five six ninety-five for genuine pearls. I'm sure all of you at home right now, even if you're using plated pair of earrings, two gemstones, you'd have your money back. Absolutely, would well, doubtless, absolutely, completely. Look at the iridescent. Yeah. Well, you know, the iridescence yeah. is beautiful, and this is what was, I suppose why Linda you said they about the, the peacock hues. Yes, they are. There are. I love the fact that they're not all just one colour. Yeah. I love that fact because that shrieks to me. This is a cultured pearl. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's an organic, and mm. and, it, and each one is so different. Yeah. Um, I love that. It's rare, do you see, other than the mixed pearl strands that mm -hmm. we have here, it's rare that we see sort of multicoloured within the same colour hue pearls. Yeah. And that just shrieks out that I'm real. Five by six millimetres. I mean, it's not even like they're tiny, you know, it's not, not like they're all. seed bead no. pearls, you know. Five by six millimetres in size. They are really, really sizable pearls that you have there. I mean, earrings, if I just count out two, four, six, whoops, go and go, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight. I'm about halfway, mm. thirty-eight. So that would be 76 mm. pairs of earrings at a tenner each in plate at a pound each you'd be going in yeah, don't do them oh. at a pound no. each then nobody no. will believe no. you no, no. No, no no yeah three pounds upwards please oh gosh i'd, I'd be a tenner each on my craft store with plate yeah. they're genuine yeah. pearls you've got there 10 pounds each how many can i get how, how many can i how many earrings could i make Ollie, how many gemstones? You've got You're better at maths. So you've got 38 76. pairs of earrings. 38 pairs of earrings. Yeah, so it's 380 pounds. Why are we not all jewellery making? <laughs> really? And um, Ollie's just reminded me actually that guest designer Flo Hastings did say with pearls, you don't have to no, justify I, the price. I totally you agree know? with, with yeah. her. I do totally agree with her there. Yeah. Because everybody knows pearls. And I'm, I'm not joking, but even... If you think you don't like pearls, if you think you don't like yeah. pearls, get them and you'll have an instant love affair with them. Mm. And anybody, oh. everybody will eventually grow into pearls. There's yeah. no doubt about it. But how can you not? I look at that. Some of those are really green. And then you get to some that are yeah. kind of more of the peacock yeah. hues. I tell you, if they were, honestly, if they were um, described as multicoloured pearls, yeah. we could have tripled that price. Yeah. Yeah, you're but right. because we've turned them as green, we've mm. sort of kept that price incredibly stupidly low, I must add. But it's great for the customers. Yeah, absolutely. Great for you. Colour, luster, iridescent. Six ninety five is incredible. Well done if you've managed to get those. Amazing. Um, see, this is the only auction that I was thinking, well, yeah, I know these will go under £10 because we're so, so good. Um, now, these are your hollow half round pliers. I don't think I've ever had these pliers before. They are, and no I haven't, Scott's just confirming that I haven't there. Um, these, look at these, I'll show you these um, front side on first so you can see the shape. I don't, I'm going to turn them the other way because it looks much happier that way. Oh, look, look at the smiley face. <laughs> um, these are your hollow <laughs> round pliers. I'm thinking, Linda, I'm looking at these and I'm just thinking, you know what, to achieve curvature in your wire, these would yeah, be fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I must admit, I've not used them, I've not seen them before, didn't know they existed. So wow. I'm definitely intrigued. Yeah. Um, and I understand that these have done incredibly well in the past. Um, yeah. They've flown out of the door. Very, very um, popular. I'm just thinking, because as far <laughs> as kind of um, pliers go, so I'm thinking... Okay, so curvature in your wire. We can use our round nose pliers to a degree. We can use our bail making pliers yeah. as well. But 
where you want that slight, that graduation exactly. in that curvature, yeah. you know, your forming pliers, your yeah. nylon forming yeah. pliers are brilliant, but obviously they're big, they're and quite sizable. And also sizeable. they'll create, they'll create um, well your flat nose pliers are going to create a 90 degree angle, aren't yeah. they? They're not, they're going to create a curve, yeah. which is very attractive um, yeah. for jewellery making. And when, you, when I think of all the components that we've had, so you know like the little um, the tubes that we've had recently that have just got mm. that slight curvature to them, you know if you wanted to make any kind of finding yourself with that very slight so with that very slight curvature that's the kind of curvature that would sit beautifully Absolutely. across the wrist you know across a smaller Definitely. area more so than using your your kind of forming pliers if you yeah, if, if you, if you were sort of um, making a uh, bangle yeah um, and with with perhaps flat wire you mm -hmm. know the, the three four five mil six mil flat wire that we have yeah perfect that's perfect. in actual fact Tools that can be really underrated. Yeah. Um, because unless you've used them, um, exactly. you have no idea just how useful. And, and yeah. at the end, <laughs> my dad was an engineer and he, he always used to say, um, you're only as good as the tools that you're working yeah. with. So true. So, so true. And it's one of those things you stand about tools actually. I think we don't realise until we can't find them exactly. or until you lose exactly. them and you think, what do I use now? Where are they? Where are they? They're four pounds and ninety-five pence. Get them home today. You've got thirty-day money-back guarantee. Tools. I was talking about this yesterday. That actually here at Jewelry Maker. Do you know what? Anywhere else, you could be paying up to fifteen pounds for a single tool. Four ninety-five, and they're specialist. It's not just any kind of tool. It really is a specialist tool that you have here as well. NX GX one eight. Your little um. You know your little stamps as well that you've got. You know, if you wanted to just create that little bit of curvature in any of your stamping blanks that we have, that's a perfect tool for achieving that with. Well done if you've managed to get those. Scorry, 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 sot. <laughs> I know, I, I know you've told me twice already. Uh, you, I listened, kind of. I have to have these. I mean, how many do we have? Ah, oh, maybe I'll do it then. I'll just say, it was a really low quantity. We'll put them back. We won't do them. Um, these, oh, I think I've said it twice already today about stars and hearts never dating. Look at these. Oh, how, sorry, Leah, you're over there, aren't you? <laughs> um, have a look at these. Oh, I love them. I have to have them. Can you make the um, star chain that we did very early oh, on this yes. morning, using that yeah, as a yeah. dropper, um, yeah. that is a little for, for earrings, oh, charm bracelet, wow. whatever. They are beautiful. Do you know what I love? Oh, let's just move on. £4.95. <laughs> Next. Um, Four ninety-five. I've got no chance of getting these now. Um, we've got a three-figure quantity. That three-figure quantity is not going to be there for very long at all. Let me tell you. Oh, eight hundred six double four six double five three. And do you know what? This is what Alison Terry nearly fell off her chair before because I was like, you know, every single component is stamped and showed her the stamp on a head pin. How on earth do they get it on there? Look, I've even got it on the side of one of these stars. Can you see just on that side there? Look at the thickness. Oh my God! Let me just turn that round. That's it just shows you the amount of silver that's used in it to just form it, doesn't it? It's so solid. Yeah, 95 stone silver. Because it's such a solid drop, it's perfect for an earring because it'll have that little yeah. bit of weight that you need Definitely. to keep the drop straight. Yeah. I think these would be great, though, because of the size of these at seven millimetres. They'd be a great addition to something else. So you know, like the bar necklace that we had earlier on, and oh, you said yes. you could put something yes. on top of yes, that yes, yes, to create kind yeah, of like um, movement Lovely. in your jewellery. Yeah, and yeah. oh, they're just beautiful. Four pounds and ninety-five pence for you. You've got three little stars. That could be quite significant for you, couldn't it? So you know, I could have these on my uh, deal of the day bracelet, and you know, that could be. Uh, husband, baby number one, baby number two. You know, you could make yeah. be quite significant. Or you could give one to your mum, give one yeah. to your sister, give one to your BFF. Yeah. Oh, I like that, Ollie. This is an I am the chain that holds them all together. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is usually the mum, to be fair. LSRF91 is your code for these. That is an absolute steal. I'm going to be multi buying these when I come up. I mean, don't you think, again, as um, you know, if you do do craft hairs and things as well, it's, it's, yeah. it's nice to have a little stash of these because occasionally people want to buy gifts that aren't sort of that. 
uh, obvious as a gift, something like if somebody passes an exam or something and you're yeah. a star or driving test or something, yeah. something like that is so nice. Yeah. Isn't it? Definitely. It's perfect, isn't it? That mm. star, that word star covers yeah. such it's, a volume of different lot of sentiment. successes, doesn't yeah, it? It's, yeah, definitely. They yeah. are. I'm getting these today. So getting these. Uh, 4 95 I'm going to... Do you know what? I think I might get four. Just because I've never seen them before and I don't think we're likely to see them again well, either. You're only so going to be touching £20 there. Yeah. They're beautiful. Well done. Last... Oh, last 30. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, they're gonna, we've got no chance then, Hannah. Um, <clears throat> just so happens that uh, I can see a name on screen. That name happens to be my mum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> High five. <laughs> um, uh, I want these as well, mum. So uh, you might want to multi-buy there. That'd be great. <laughs> LSRF91 is your code for these. 0800 644 or on the web jewelrymaker.com. Um, probably about 20 in baskets right now. Um, make sure you're checking out as soon as you possibly can. Kathleen's got three. Collect in Kent's got two. Alison's got two. Marine South Yorkshire's got two. Patricia's got two. Kathleen's got two. Where have you gone, mum? Where's your multi buying? No, mum, you haven't got two yet. Come on, come on. Has she texted in? Uh, got them, Hannah. <laughs> Mum. Yes. I love that. Personal shopper. Very handy, my mum. LSRF91 is your code for these. Massive, massive well done if you've managed to get them. Oh, I've got them. I've got them. Don't you think if, you, uh, if you've got a little sort of part of your jewellery making as well where you do um, charm bracelets and that, yeah. what do you always find on a charm bracelet? You yeah, always you find a star, Absolutely. don't you? Yeah, you do. Always, Star, so. Stars and hearts. Yeah. But it's just and then if you want to go out and buy them, because you, you've got orders for charm, you can't find them. No. Certainly not in Sterling Silver. You just can't. Yeah. Not at that, that price. And that price. Actually, Absolutely. that works out to like a pound something each. It's, it's crazy. It's bonkers. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, right, do you know what we've got coming up in the next hour? I've got the kit and the shibori ribbon in there. Oh, my. Do you know this is only the second shibori kit I've ever had? Is it? Very excited. I love the shibori ribbon. I really do. Uh, so that is coming up for you after the break. What's the quantity like on that kit, Scott? Okay, we've got a hundred of each. It's not fabulous, but you know, I shouldn't complain really. So do make sure you're straight back in a couple of minutes time. I'll see you in a sec. No matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $4.95. genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details the certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. Good afternoon, welcome back to Joy Maker. If you've just tuned in, uh, welcome. Um, I've got one more hour with you on the morning show today and we've got one more kit. You'll be so glad if you have just tuned in, by the way, because it is the best kit ever. It's only the second chance I've ever had to bring you the Shibori. Um, Linda, you launched this and very recently, actually, wasn't it? Yes, um, time flies. I probably, was it? August, September time? Yeah, it wasn't long ago, not that was long it? ago. No, it wasn't very long ago at all. No. And, and since you've had it, we've had, you know, I've read so many um, reviews and, and comments on Facebook about the Shibori ribbon. It's, it's so unique and so beautiful, isn't it? Well, it absolutely it is. And I mean, it's gaining a lot of, um, it's gaining a lot of stature within um, sort of catwalk jewellery now. Mm -hmm. Look at those colours. I'm just still looking at this one. I've just picked up my favourite one out of all these. Uh, out of all, oh, actually, I don't know. Look at that it's one. <laughs> Holiday. Yeah. It's hard to choose, isn't it? It's it's the the, um, the actual material. Um, the silk is just. It's it beautiful. Feels isn't it? divine. Yeah. Yeah. It, it feels divine. It feels. It's 100. So percent It's 100 percent silk. Completely. Then um, everything that happens to it is totally man made. Then. Um, whereas by you know you uh, it's painted yeah. by hand um, and it's pleated by hand and then obviously um, it, it, all the processes it goes through is totally a hand and that finish. that really took me by surprise the last time that you and I did a show together and you had a shibori kit it, it, when you said it was painted by hand yeah well shibori I mean, is the um, it is a, a Japanese art of painting yeah. So that's why it's called. I mean, Japan. how? That's just fact. That just already, you know, I'm thinking, gosh, this is, it's not just jewellery, you know, it's a piece of art, isn't yeah. it? The Shibori. I mean, you don't have to think it as being. It was fun that when I, um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, a lady texted in and said she was thinking of making um, or adding to a clutch bag. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It can be added to to any textiles, the backs of, say, you know, stiletto shoes just on the, no. on the back of. Um, oh, there's nothing it won't work with. It truly won't. And it is such an easy, uh, use the word skill, yeah. in inverted uh, commerce, because it's such an easy medium to work with. Oh, do you know, the last time, I've got, I've got to get this kit today because the last one you had, I did miss out on. I was absolutely gutted. Um, but these, I just love. And, and, and for me, I'm thinking, because it, uh, 
the, the word art just jump into my head because I mean, when you have a look at Linda's pieces, it's not just jewelry, they are works of art, all of these designs. Linda, I mean, how long does, I mean, that piece, for example, how long did that take you? Um, that took me, I actually didn't know where I was going with that mm -hmm. one. That was the first um, time I picked up the Swarovskis yeah. within the kits and um, didn't quite know where I was going, but I did actually time that one, and that took me just over three hours, That and that was working relatively slowly. Really? Yeah, with no plan, no plan whatsoever. Um, the Shibori does that for you, as do the seed beads, etc., etc. Oh, so, look, you can yeah. just see, that's what I mean. You know, you'd think that was like a day's work, absolutely uh -huh. minimum. It just looks like there's so much work. Just be I could just stand here all day. The and sparkle look at within the backdrop of the pearl eyes seed beads and the oh. metallic seed beads and just yeah. that little hint of the shibori. Um is Slash beautiful, colour. isn't it? That's stunning, Linda. Absolutely beautiful design. Now in this particular kit, there's three three parts to the kit. Um this particular part is the actual shibori ribbon that you've got here. Um, now these come in lengths of half yards, so you've got half yards length, half yards length. Um, look at that. Oh wow, that again. Yeah, you see the, the Shibori ribbon, um, because it's pleated, it's cut yeah. on what we call cut on the bias. Right. So when it's opened out as well, it's very um, stretchable. It opens mm -hmm. to four inches in width. Wow. Um, as you say, you've got the 18 inch um, length. Mm -hmm. um, unavoidably, sometimes there is a join. Yeah. Um, the lady that supplies us, and as you know, it's a very expensive way of cutting any fabric is yeah. on the bias. It's very wasteful. Um, but the, the lady virtually guarantees us when she has to join it, she'll give us an extra three inches, which wow. is what you will get That's as nice, well as. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, but I have never yet found that the join in the Shibori ribbon mm -hmm. has in any way, shape, or form um, stopped me from doing any, um, any piece at all. And I'll show you in a minute. I'm working with the original, the components from oh. the original kit. I haven't touched at all. I haven't gone anywhere near the second kit that comes mm -hmm. out. Look at that. Um, and, and it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Oh. The way that you can, you can cut that um, at least three times lengthways. Right. Um, so basically you are then getting, what's three, 54, 54 lengths. Right. Or 54 drops, yeah. you know, of yeah. um, inches, I should say, that way. Mm -hmm. um, so you can triple that as far as usability. And you're still not losing. In fact, sometimes you need to um, to cut the ribbon lengthways because it is just so pleated yeah. that it's uh, you can just get just the amount of pleating that you need by cutting it through. Oh, these colours! I ha I really hope there's some left. Really, really hope there's some left. Um, you have um, four pieces of your um, shibori here. So you've got your lagoon, your lullaby, your steam, and your water um, there as well. Sarovsky crystals, Linda. We were talking about these earlier on. These Swarovski crystals are I'm just gonna get my tweezers. amazing. Um, I mean, I, I enthuse Swarovski. But if you look at those closely now, when they're coming around now, can you see there's a, there's a very sparkly crystal yeah. end to it, and the other oh. half is a, is a mirrored end, which gives you the most phenomenal look when you're using them in any when you're using them as a backdrop to fabric or whether you're using them as a drop for earrings. Because that mirror image um, actually, looking into a mirror, you see yeah. the whole thing all yeah, over yeah. again. So it's, it's reflected each time. So it's almost, when I used this little tiny 15 seed beads mm -hmm. with this, I thought I was having double vision <laughs> because I could actually see two rows yeah. of size 15. Wow. They are. You know, it's yeah, amazing. And, and, wow, they're beautiful. Do you know what? Half of them, I just want one. I just want one. It's fine. Um, over half of the stock has already gone. Oh no, don't go too low because then they'll sell out. Uh, 40 pounds and 75 pence. You know what? So many of you have already checked out at that price tag. This is absolutely, do you know what? We can sell out at that price as well. LBGC37 is your code for this one. Those bicone beads, is there 48? Is there a pack of 48 you've got of the mm -hmm. bicone beads That's there? Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's a huge amount, isn't it? It is. And it's gone a long way. I mean, ribbon. with all the, I've, I've still got, I think, I think I've got 11 left. Yeah. Um, from using How? them. <laughs> um, How? And the thing about the ribbon as well is, uh, I, I know I do say this, and I do, I am sorry to keep repeating myself, but it's still quite a rare um, item to source. Yeah. Um, we are sourcing ours, and, and we have to wait a long time for it. 
Um, and on that massive um, site that's a bit the forest, the river, etc., you're getting 10 centimetre lengths at four pounds so in my sort of working out we have got what did i say 72 pounds worth yeah. of ribbon if you were buying it from that other sources gosh that's amazing oh eight hundred six triple four six triple five. do you know what? i keep holding this one out linda because ollie said animal print and i yeah, think absolutely yes zebra. on a yeah. cushion yeah, on yeah, yeah. shoes on a clutch there's absolutely bag absolutely nowhere that you can't i mean it's oh. it, you can use it as you say in a kitchen yeah. and that but certainly um my, my aim at the moment to do which i'm going to start working on soon is to do a little sort of clutch bag oh. um for a wedding show and wow. um and possibly you know some lovely stiletto shoes with just a little emblem on the back um, but there was a lady on my workshop who's, who went home full of ideas. She was yeah. a textile artist and she wanted to actually sew shibori ribbon into a landscape scene. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? And you can see it, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, it would look phenomenal. That, you know what, that price tag is absolutely incredible. Um, just say, Mum, if you're still watching, I really, really want this kit because I missed out last time. Really, really want it. Can you check it out for me, please? Uh, 34.95 LVGC37 is your code for this one. They are so close. I will cry if I don't get this. It's so popular, the Shibori. It's yeah. been a massive, massive hit. It has been it, a massive hit. I mean, t to be honest, the, 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 um, the colours are permanent, um, as are they are also light permanent. So in other words, light won't affect the colour, won't could fade you, them. Could you iron them, Linda, if you on want a low heat? To, if you want to, I wouldn't take an iron on it. Yeah. I'd take a steam iron near Over to it, it yeah. to slightly relax the, the, the pleats. Mm -hmm. But you can also take it near to a light bulb. Be careful, obviously, on both occasions that you oh, don't I remember burn. you saying that. But you can yeah. take it as well, just to relax the pleating. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they yeah. are permanently pleated. Ah. Uh, Mum's got it in a basket. We just need to check out, Mum, really, really quickly, please. Oh, 800 655. That is just, I love these. I love, I mean, that turquoise. It's, it's really tactile as well, isn't it? I mean, um, this one at the moment, I'm working on a collar for a commission yeah. at the moment. And um, this lady is going to a wedding that has a peacock theme. Wow, perfect. So she wanted a, um, a shibori necklace using peacock colours. But I'm going yeah. to put some soutache and make the sort of peacock with the soutache as well mm -hmm. to make the peacock feathers to it, hopefully. But That'd this is something silly. else I want to bring in with yeah. shibori is to bring in the soutache at, at That's some point with it. absolutely fabulous. Have you got any uh, workshops coming up, Linda, soutache works? Um, uh, not the soutache, shibori, sorry, shibori workshop is, workshops. I think there's one coming up in... Do you know, I'm not sure when there's one in January now. That yeah. January, February. If you could, yeah, I've lost the plot a minute at the moment <laughs> with workshops. Um, Scott's going to have a look on our I've website. Got an introduction to jewelry making next Friday. Yeah. There may be a Shibori. I'm not sure if Scott can have a look. I'd be okay. grateful. Yeah, yeah. We'll but there is, a, there's definitely, and I'm, oh, in February, I'm doing part two Shibori, which is cuffs and collars. Wow. I know that in February. I've got to come on one of them. Got to come on one of those. Like, they are just stunning. Um, that is. Shibori yeah. ribbon for beginners, 24th, 24th of Jan. Of Jan. Yeah. I, Scott, if you could just yeah. check the voucher, am I working on that? Yeah, and then we're going to move on in February to cuffs and collars using our metal cuffs and collars. Yeah. And we're going, to, we're going to be putting together a nice little free gift package oh, wow. on that one. Oh, I've got to come on this course. It's just, just stunning. It's beautiful. Um, do you know what? They are nearly sold out now, so well done if you've managed to um, well manage. Uh, well managed? I've lost the plot too. Um, right, Linda, I'm going to let you start and then right, I'll bring okay. you the second part of the kit in just a second. There's okay. 17 left. I've got mine. <laughs> Thanks to my personal shopper. Um, just so that I can just show you, yeah. this, this is what's left from the original kit. Wow. Okay, so this is what's left from the original kit, having, having done all that. And that one at the far end, that big collar, took... It's probably, it's probably the most amount of shibori I've ever used okay. um, in, in an item, but I just wanted to do that one. Mm -hmm. And having the four different ribbons, it yeah. was brilliant. But that's what's left. Loads of seed beads which are coming up soon and mm -hmm. some fantastic uh, cabochons. Okay. Um, right. Now, what I did for that heart shape, actually, um, is I'll just show you how, to, how the shibori works first. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully we might be able, we'll see when we get to yeah. um, how, how we're getting on okay. as far as adding the beads. Mm -hmm. But um, if you just, you need to get, you might already have, just some beading foundation. Okay. We sell it here, we sell it in mm -hmm. the black and the white. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we might have some in, in stock, but I'm not sure. But it's a beading foundation, um, which is quite a sort of taut 
tight um, backdrop and it takes the needle brilliantly. Okay, yeah. it doesn't slip or anything. Obviously, then a size 10 or a size 12 needle. Um, I'm using here. What's oh gosh, it's gone straight out of my head. What's the beading thread I'm using at the fire moment? Line. Fire line. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm using the fine fire, <laughs> fire line thread. Um, I also, I've also used the Ceylon cords. I've also used the silks that we sell right. on the reels, etc., which are all great. The fire line just has that extra advantage of having this slightly waxy finish, so it doesn't okay. slip out yeah. of the eye of the needle, uh -huh. which is a bonus. Yeah. Because threading the needle can be a bit of a right. So all I've done um, is I've cut out the heart template. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is a, just a simple heart motif. You can see I've kept my pencil edging um, around the edge there. That can obviously be on the back, but I've just kept it there because it's, it's the guideline that I use to sew up to. Because when I put the final edging, bringing, um, when you've cut this template to an ultra suede backing or um, whatever backing, found uh, backing foundation to hide the stitch work that you want to do. But if you keep your sort of pencil edging, um, it will be hidden by all of the work, but it just shows you roughly just on the inside of that um, pencil there to bead up to. And then when you start doing your edging, um, then um, you've got you've just got enough room to get your needle in to make the edging sit on the the very edge of the motif. Okay, so I've only got, I've cut this is a third width. Okay, that's a third width right. of the um, of the ribbon of the peacock ribbon, and I've cut it sort of straightish on either end mm -hmm. um, it has got a slightly raw edge sometimes sometimes right. it doesn't that doesn't offend me because I like shabby chic jewelry mm. anyway but so you can just snip that off with sharp uh, scissors if you want to or leave it in or you can curve it round um, now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch the shibori literally yeah. pinch it um, and I'm just going to place it you see it's very 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 organic shibori work is now I'm going to bring the needle in from the back Okay, and just, it just comes through. It's just a stab stitch, and as you see, that is not slipping out of that backing foundation, which is why that backing foundation is mm -hmm. great. Okay, and I've just put a little knot on the end. The only thing I um, enthuse that you do really is just do the stitch work slowly so you don't get horrible magic knots right. in the thread because that can be a nuisance. Virtually the same place as I've just come out of, but not exactly, but virtually, I go back out. It's just single stitching the mm -hmm. whole time. Just move along. Don't get it caught on your beadboard. Um, move along, stab stitch down. Now, then it's taken me two stitches okay. right, to do that. And that's basically glued in. So let's see what the, the ribbon does now. Let's see what the ribbon will do. So I'm just going to pull, mm -hmm. pull it out and push. Ooh. So if I pull out and push it in, like you get that, that shape. Right, so that's the shape I'll work with. They're all going to be different. I'm mm -hmm. going to drop right down going to drop right down to the end again okay so I haven't I haven't backstitched it off I haven't cut it off yeah. because all of this will be hidden okay so I've just brought that through pinch that in very slightly and again it's where obviously be careful you don't stab your finger but um, just wherever you use your finger or your thumb to anchor the ribbon is where the stitch needs to okay. go okay so again I'm going to pinch it in a little don't worry about the stitching mm -hmm. don't worry about the the raw edging because everything with shibori work is covered um the sort of mechanics of it right. is covered with your seed beads mm -hmm. with your gemstones with whatever else you're using mm -hmm. and there is nothing that does not go with shibori yeah okay so i've come out the back every time you exit the back is an opportunity then to see what else the ribbon needs mm -hmm. or wants to do so obviously I'm doing this really quite quickly. You can take far more time, okay. but I'm just going to edge that one out. That's quite a pleasing mm. shape there. Mm. Okay, so we'll just pop him in. You see that I've got that sort of, um, that lift there. Yeah. I'm trying to retain it. Yeah. So if I pull ah. just with the needle yeah. and then anchor it Brilliant. and then bring the needle through. So I'm jumping the whole time, mm -hmm. okay? Um, Linda, do you always leave a gap around the edge? If yeah, yeah I was going yeah. to, um, on a piece like the big necklace yeah. there, I more or less wanted to cover um, a whole template with ribbon and right. then see what to do with yeah. it. Um, again, this is why it's such a diverse medium, because as you quite rightly say, I am leaving a lot of beading foundation mm. 
there, but that gives me texture. Because the ribbon ultimately will lift, yeah. I can then follow the lines of the ribbon, follow the lines of the template, and load up, which I'll show you in a minute, load yeah, yeah. up with the, with the seed beads, lay yeah. them down, and then that detail. There's no preparation right. for this at all. It will grow. You don't have to sit for an hour and think, Plan it. what am I going to do? Yeah. Just, just relax just do it. and yeah. do it. Absolutely. Brilliant. That's fantastic, isn't it? Um, I'm going to bring you the second part of the kit now, because the first part of the kit has virtually sold out. I think we're literally down to four, something like that. Um, these are fantastic. They really are beautiful. <clears throat> Just for my personal shopper, I do need these too. Um, to go with the Shibori ribbon. Um, these are, I mean, look at the colours that you have. Now, the Miyuki beads, loads of people are raving about these. All of our seed beaders, you know, Kleshner, uh, Sarah Elvin, Hannah Osborne, um, all raving about the Miyuki beads because they are, they are the cream of the crop. They are the best. They are. Um, you've got lots of different sizes here, so you've got your, uh, your A, B, C, Bs, which are your 11 O's. Uh, you've got your Miyoki Pearl Salon Beads, which are your 6 O's, which are these ones here. Uh, you've then got your 8 O's uh, Galvanized Silver Beads, those are your 8 O's there. Um, you've got your Bright Purple Seed Beads, they're 11 O's, whoopsie. Um, if you're 15 O's in the silver as well, which are these ones, yeah. they're the which tiny go ones. go forever and ever and wow. ever and ever in a day. Do you know, you look at them sometimes, don't you, and you think, well, I don't, they're maybe not going to go very far, but... Oh, they do. There's Absolutely. literally... They do. Thousands. I mean, let's, I have still got thousands. a quarter of a tube and I've used virtually thousands. Yeah. I, can, I have found this 15 almost to be an eye-opener with seed beading because yeah. they do such a big job. They show off a larger mm -hmm. bead, so it's... And it, again... With Shibori, it's texture, and yeah. that's what the 15s do. It, it creates texture. They're beautiful. And these ones, look at these They're ones as well. The duos oh. are amazing. Look at the colours you've They're got in amazing. there. You've got your turquoise, your African turquoise super duos, two and a half by five millimetres in size. Um, they are beautiful. gorgeous. Do you know what? There are some that look like amber in there, aren't there? Oh. They are. The, there's some that have got real clarity, which mm -hmm. are like an emerald green, that have got like inclusions running through them and silver yeah. spots. There's complete silvers, there's the turquoise colours, there's like matte um, turquoisey green colours, yeah. there's bronzy colours. It's just phenomenal. And it, again, working with Shibori, ev every colour, mm -hmm. and the fact that the Shibori is, you know, um, yeah. is. It, is like two to three to four tone. Mm. These super duos are fantastic. They are amazing, aren't they? I need them. I need them to go in my Shibori ribbon. And we've only got 37 chances left. Do be quick. They're flying out of the door. These are 0800 644 655. Didn't have as big a quantity of the seed beads as we did with the original kit, actually. Um, so unfortunately, everybody, it looks like it's gone that way for me, everybody who got the Shibori ribbon, uh, not gonna get the, uh, the seed beads as well. As quickly as you can, check out, it is fastest, fingers first, 0800 655. Do you want to work on any of these projects that, that Linda, any of these pieces that Linda has made, you've gotta have that. that this, I can't believe that price, actually. How many you've got there? Is just fantastic. We'll move straight on to the third component because that's pretty much gone now. Yikes! Um, let's have a look at these. Oh, look at those. Look at the banding in these uh, cabochons for you. These are stunning. Aren't they gorgeous? The um, I've used them. I've used one in the uh, the big necklace and yeah. then one as a wing for the for the bird. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> They're just so unique, aren't they? They really, really are. Um, your beautiful, beautiful um, pack of four blue opals. Should I have a tanzanite? Why does it say tanzanite in my graphicals? Oh, I don't have the tanzanite here. No, I've got my pack of four opals, but I don't know. No, I don't think I... You get a tanzanite. Yes, there you go. There it is. Do you know what? I've missed this, Scott. I, I missed that in my kit. Yeah, I did. I've missed it in my kit. It's there. It's there in the second kit, but I missed That's it in my first. That's like the best surprise yes. ever. I just was looking at these the whole time, thinking, right, we've got four fabulous um, opal cabochons there. I've got to get, I'm going to have to get yeah. the tanzanite yeah, out. Yeah, get the tanzanite out. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I was so excited. I got all these components and I didn't, I didn't notice it. 
A, a three oh, why carat. Why did I notice that? Oh, Linda, a three carat oh, solitaire. Look at the, there's pink in there too. Look at the colour. Oh, it's look at the colour and look. Do you know what? If this kit, if this kit is going to sixty nine ninety five, I'm in. Isn't I'm it in. gorgeous? You've got three carat tanzanite solitaire. Oh, wow. and G. I'm eight hundred six triple four six double five hundred. Do you know what we've done? We've done it so casually. Haven't we? We've just done it so cat. We're like, yeah, we just, you know, just pop a three carat solitaire in there, just, as you do. That's ridiculous. Oh, 0800 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com. KTGC04. That Tanzanite solitaire by itself. Bezel yeah, set into 925 sterling it. silver, independent. Deal of the day bracelet. Whoa. Oh, now, <laughs> with the deal of the day bracelet, you've yeah. got to be talking. Oh, you've got to be talking. You've got to be nudging 70, 90, 80, 80 90 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. easy. Just, that, that's just the tanzanite yeah. alone without the other cabochons there. That yeah. is ridiculous. Do you know what? This is like, I was going to say buy the tanzanite, get everything else for free, but 29.95 still doesn't do it no, for me with the tanzanite no. alone. That is incredible. 0800 644 655. Multi buy as well if you want to, because obviously with that banding in your opal exactly. there. Exactly, exactly. No That's two will ever be the same, one is, isn't it? Oh, it's stunning. That one is just gorgeous. Um, make sure you check out as soon as you can. All of these kits are flying out of the door today. Massive, massive well done to you. And uh, commiserations if you've missed out. I'm really sorry. Um, okay, Linda. Okay, right. Well, um, we've got on the Shibori ribbon. Um, so basically, you can just start beading wherever... Um, you want to and as i say it, it's not you don't have to have any experience in in bead embroidery in sewing or anything as long as you can sew a button on fine so my um fire line is now exiting out it's exiting out at the top of the shibori mm -hmm. so i always seem to start where uh, so start my beading where i started my shibori right once i get something in here it's just then seems to flow mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of what um i'm not necessarily going to repeat yeah. that one um so what i've decided i will do is just sort of pick up one of the little silver uh, what size are these? 11s, I think they are. Uh, we had pick, 11 pick up a, Yeah, pick up a little silver 11 and then I'm going to pick up... 8 -0s. No, 8 -0s. Yeah. The silvers are 8. Pick up um, one of the 8s, mm -hmm. um, let it drop down um, around or onto or nearby the shibori. I've also popped on one of the little um, Tanzanite blue um, 11s. Now I'm going to miss the 11 and then go through the... Eight, mm -hmm. and then sorry, I just got my needle caught, and then stab stitch down. Okay, that will just give me a little bit of a profile on the top. Oh, okay, nice. and once those are all, um, I wish I did have enough time to finish a whole piece. Yeah, but obviously most pieces range from anything from two hours upwards. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to load another one of those up. And then again, whenever you load your um, seed beads, whether you're loading two, three, fours, five, sixes, tens, yeah. always before you um, sort of make the stitch is let it drop. Okay. See where it drops. Wherever it drops is going to be its optimum place, trust okay. me. So it's dropped there, so stab stitch down. Okay. So basically what I would do now is I'd just come up again at the side, um, of the shibori mm -hmm. and just catch the shibori at the top. I tend to sort of cover these raw edges of the shibori at the top and okay. also at the bottom. Right. Okay, because that's where I've pulled the shape in. Yeah. And then sometimes I will um, follow the edge mm -hmm. and that little lift there, that little natural lift mm -hmm. there, um, that little tanzanite I would have popped in there. Wow. Just laying onto the foundation yeah. and just sort of peeping out of there. So it's very much a natural flow. Follow the little sort of um, canals and rivulets of the shibori. Um, if I'm coming down that side there, let me just load up on the, um, the little 15s. If you've got a little sponge mat then, um, or a sticky beading mat or something, have that mm -hmm. handy. But I'm going to, with the 15s, I'm just going to load up probably at least 10 onto the needle. Okay. okay, let them drop down. And then using the thread, very gently, very gently, see where it wants to go. Yeah. Wherever it falls, right, just stabilise it with your thumbnail. And then mm. very closely, just do that stab stitch. And again, don't sort of pull at it. Yeah. Just gently form it in. 
okay mm -hmm. so then you can have it in a curve because what I would do here now would I I, I won't but what I would do yeah. I would come back to that position there mm -hmm. see where that little bit of white yeah. is thrown there and then I just put perhaps some of the little purples in some of the little tans and eye mm -hmm. colors or even come back right load up I haven't got these out excuse me I'll just get one of these right. out um, it builds up very, very quickly. It really does. It's just such a joy. It's really relaxing and it's mm. such a joy. Now with this, I'm just going to pick up one of these um, okay. sixes. Yeah. Then I'm going to pick up one of the eights, right? And then I'm going to pick up one of the little fifteens. Mm -hmm. Because with the sixes, yeah. if I'd have picked up a fifteen, the six would have disappeared. That's how generous yeah. the holes are. So I'm sort of stacking so I know that that 11 there won't go through that hole and I know mm -hmm. the 15 won't go through the hole of the um, of the previous bit so okay. now again come down again I'm going to miss that 15 and then just go through the 11 and mm -hmm. the 6 Okay, and just yeah. gently bring that in. And can you see, it's very random, yeah. but if you've got a little bit of foresight, like you see from the finished products, mm -hmm. that you are just following edges all yeah. the way around. Um, obviously, um, well, what I do is I bit and bop around with my stitching. Mm -hmm. I very rarely finish them off, because right. I know I'm going to put backing on. But I've come into the other edge there now yeah. of, um, of the shibori. So if I just pick up three... Um, you'll soon get, you'll, it's, it's uncanny actually how quickly with seed beads you'll realise how many fill a space. Yeah. You know, you don't have to keep on trying it. Yeah. And it'll be roughly three to four here, so it's going to okay. be four. So I'll, which is why it's a good idea to let the, um, don't do your stitch until you see the amount of coverage you've got on the okay. work. Okay, so now about four. So I can do a stab stitch right to the edge on the inside mm -hmm. edge of that little pencil mark. Okay, gently bring that in. And you see now I can, I, what I would do now, I would load all that yeah. exactly the same. Okay. Then I'd change course and follow the line mm -hmm. down there. It's a bit like painting, I suppose, a bit yeah. modern art-ish. But it is so, so easy. Um, with the, um, the sort of star shape, uh, where is it? Here it is. The star shape, I'll talk you through that because I don't think we've got a fat lot of time left. The yeah, little star amazing. shape that we've done here are six of the Swarovski beads, six of the Swarovski bicones on the fire line. Okay, so yeah. all I did is threaded them on and then thread it all the way through again okay okay so when you thread it all the way through again you come out to the little tail of the excess that you started with little knot off okay and yeah. that gives you a nice backdrop and then all I've done then um, is I've popped on a 15 on my needle mm -hmm. gone through the Swarovski another 15 gone through the Swarovski another 15 gone all the way around then that gives me um, the place where we can thread through okay so um, to do the little sort of star shape is working with your thread going through that that little 15 that you've got at the edge of the Swarovski right is where you thread through with your needle I've picked up seven more 15s taken it round and gone through that little threaded um, 15 again that gives me that that sort of point to get a nice sharp point, you come all the way around your star shape in exactly the same pattern. When you meet your first star shape, right, you then go through the little seed bead at the base of the crystal. Now, I know this is tiny, um, and then you pick up three. Okay, now bearing in mind we've got seven there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the seven in that point. So I've just picked up three pulled it through, okay, then I've missed the very top one, and then let's make sure that's the one I'm missing, just so that I can just, gone through the next three, gone through the little seed bead, the little 15 that's at the coming, exiting the Swarovski, okay, now what I'm going to do is, sorry if I'm covering it at the moment, just need to stabilise it, just need to stabilise it. I'm just going to pull the thread. And when I pull that thread now, because I missed that fourth bead, mm -hmm. as I, you see, did you see how that yeah, just yeah. shot into a point? Yeah. 
So that gives you the point on the star ah. going, and it also stabilizes and firms up that yeah. work. So it's exactly the same on the earrings. Mm -hmm. So it's given me a nice solid um, look to the earring as well. Yeah. And that's the thing about seed beading. The more you thread through, yeah. um, the more solid something like that gets. Mm. Do you know I thread make great Christmas tree? Absolutely. Isn't they, those stars? Yeah, yeah we've beautiful. got plenty of time to make them, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Lindsay, can I just ask a question? Yeah. Do, do you glue your cabochons onto the... Do you right. Glue them onto the, um, the, the, the opal cabochon for that bird's wing is basically, it's a ladder weave right. in, in the 11s, and then um, attach that yeah. uh, around just with a stitch. It's, again, it's on beading yeah. foundation, which is quite rightly glued onto the beading yeah, foundation. Yeah. And then I attached the, the length of ladder weave, and then that was on that bird there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can show you. Do you want to just sort of? Yeah. You can probably point that out better than I can. But can you see there's the little drawing of the bird there? Yeah. That's the template. So on that bird, I started with the wing, so that cabochon covered that ah. wing. So that was glued onto the beading yeah. foundation, and then I worked around it yeah. with, with the seed beads. Ah, fantastic. So, it's so really that's easy. So that's basically, really the shibori work there, there's some without the shibori, yeah. um, there's some without seed beads, and then there's the bird, which mm. is completely seed beaded. Yeah. Yeah, Lindsay, I mean, you, your work is just... Oh, well, you can't help but, mate, honestly, you just can't... It's just unavoidable, I'm afraid, <laughs> to make other than beautiful jewellery with Shibori, Swarovski and seed beads. Um, can I just quickly ask you, Linda, this piece here, yeah. this masterpiece, I'm going to call I mean, they're all incredible, but, I yeah. mean, what kind of price tag would you pop on that? That's the £200. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I mean... Oh, I can't wait to go. But at the end of the day, it's, it, it's silk as well. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and as I say, the seven, basically, basing on, 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 on other opportunities to buy <coughs> Shibori ribbon, yeah. that's, you know, the £72-ish most places. Yeah, handmade, handmade silk, one of a kind. Shibori ribbon. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you. So you certainly inspired me anyway. I can't wait to get like it. <laughs> um, brilliant. Um, now... Enough inspiration from our Linda. Let's get some inspiration from you. It's Wall of Fame. Um, the Wall of Fame is a competition that we run here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it gets drawn every Wednesday morning. You can send your entries in at any time. All that we ask is that you send your pictures of the pieces that you are making anyway and as a result of that you could be if you picked out at random you could be winning 100 pounds credited to your account or if you're the runner-up you could be winning 50 pounds credited to your account i love this competition i think it's amazing because you're making these pieces anyway so you may as well send us a picture of them the email address to send them into is uh, studio at jewelry maker Dot com. Keep your eyes peeled and hopefully you'll see your design on air and then make sure you're watching on a Wednesday morning. It's great that we have our in-house designers here at Jewelry Maker um, on every show that join us and give you inspiration. But as I'm always saying, you know, as a guest designer, I couldn't come up with something different every single time I'm here. So well, it must be great that you can take inspiration absolutely, from our viewers Absolutely, absolutely. Well. You never, ever, ever, ever finish learning, ever, yeah. ever. It's fabulous, isn't it? I love, I love all these designs. Just admiring this so open, cool. actually. This is gorgeous. How well photographed is this? It really shows off that Ethiopian opal. This is from um, Jackie Robson uh, in Redka. She says, uh, please see my latest entry for the Wall of Fame. It's Ethiopian opal and 925 sterling silver bracelet with an extender chain and Swarovski drop. Jackie, that is absolutely beautiful. The very, very best of luck to you. This is absolutely wow. stunning. Uh, it's number 646 and it's from Lynn, Lynn Goldsmith. <coughs> Lynn says, hi everyone. One of my New Year resolutions is to send in more entries to the Wall of Fame. I make so much but hardly ever send the photos in. Uh, I specialise in Kamihimo and here are three pieces made for the Christmas first season. Uh, the top are adventuring chips in clusters with gold seed beads. The middle are mukite rounds with Kamihimo chips and seed beads section either side and the bottom are mukite chip clusters. This year I'm developing a range of <coughs> birthstone jewellery using Kamihimo and I could wow. do with a win to be able to buy some diamonds. <laughs> Good luck to everyone and that's Lynn. Lynn, that is gorgeous. That's gorgeous work. I love it? them all together actually. It looks fab. Beautiful, really, beautiful. Really You're 646. Uh, this is number 652. 
And this is from Michaela in Cornwall. She says, hi there. Uh, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a black spinel macrame bracelet. I love how it came out. Been ages since I did macrame, so really pleased with it and want to next make a collar just like it. Good luck to all in the draw from Michaela in Cornwall. Michaela, that's fantastic. Beautiful. I love that. Well done to you. It's a gorgeous pair of earrings here. This is 647. It's from Elaine from Chamsford. Um, hi, Joy Maker. Here's this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. I've been trying for a few years now for a win. Well, good luck, Michaela. Uh, sorry, good luck, Elaine and Michaela. Um, <laughs> this, uh, the idea of swan stolen from one of your designs, but I can't quite remember who, but it was a great idea. Why from Jewelry Maker, of course. Where else would I get such a bargain? <laughs> you make my days. Please keep it up. Love you loads. And that's Elaine in Chamsford. Well, we love you too, Elaine. Oh, and those are fabulous. They're beautiful. beautiful. Oh, really beautiful. They? Love those. Um, take a look at this. Oh, oh. oh isn't that this lovely? This is amazing. This yeah. is incredible. Beautiful. Um, Anne in Berkshire. It's stunning. Gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. This must take ages. Uh, Anne in Berkshire says, Hi, Jen. This is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. Wow. wow. Um, it's made with wire and beads from Joy Maker. I was originally inspired by Claire McDonald's flower demo. Thank you for all of your hard work and commitment to the channel. I am total JM addict and proud of it. <laughs> uh, and that's from Anne in Bar Anne, that is exceptional. It is beautiful. beautiful. You should be really, really proud it of that. Is absolutely. And you can, that bird is hovering yeah, that hummingbird is actually it's hovering. Perfect, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just perfect. Yeah. Well done. Um, this is six four eight. Some a beautiful pendant, mm -hmm. beautiful wire work, and it's from Annette. And it says, "Hi, Joy Maker. I use champagne gold coloured wire with one of your pyrite cabochons, and I think they go together really well. Um, I set the stone sideways for a change. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that. Um, hope you like it, and that's best wishes from Annette. Annette, beautiful, mm -hmm. and your six four eight. That's stunning. Well done." Oh, Lindy, you're going to love this one. I did take a peek. <laughs> you're going to love, love this just one. Just shot off the... Uh, oh, Christine oh. Jobbins. Look at this. Goodness <gasps> me. Sweet. Oh. So look at all of that chrome upside. Yeah. Good, there's loads. Um, Christine says, hi, John, I can please find attached my entry this week. A sterling silver multi-strand white topaz and chrome diopside suite. Uh, despite using a total of eight full strands to make the necklace, wow. it's extremely light and easy to wear. The sterling silver connector was what I won as jewellery maker um, of the month in November. Brilliant, wow. well done. Uh, I've never seen a multi-strand chrome diopside necklace, so as far as I'm aware, it's a first. Everything is from JM and works perfectly. Uh, good luck to all. Kind regards from Kiss Christine Jobbins. <laughs> Christine, that is just, just. I would definitely get that value. Yeah, me too. Without a doubt. Beautiful. Oh, this is an absolutely stunning ring. Um, this is number 649 and it's from uh, Deb, Deb Briggs in Coventry, just up ah. the road. Hi all at Jewelry Maker, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's been hand set by myself. I bought wow. the mount from you ages ago but wanted a stone I hadn't got in my jewellery collection. Um, I bought this from your ex-sister channel, Gemporia, and I finally set it. The gemstone is a natural Ratnakiri cognac zircon. Wow. Hope you like it. And that's uh, lots of love from Deb in Coventry. Wow. Uh, Deb. Award-winning Deb. Award-winning Deb. Top mm. tip, Deb. Beautiful. Amazing. Nice. Uh, number 655, have a look at these from Janet in Eastbourne. Uh, she says, Dear JM, please find attached the earrings to match a pendant I made and entered a while ago. I've been promising myself that I would make uh, ruby earrings to go with the aforementioned ruby pendant. I hope you like it. All ingredients are from JM, of course. Much love to all of the JM family from Janet in Eastbourne. They are fantastic. They're beautiful. Massive, massive. Gorgeous. Well done. Gorgeous, mm -hmm. beautiful chainmail bracelet here, it's number 650, and it's from Laura, Laura Haining. Uh, hello, draw all at Jewelry Maker, please find attached my entry for this week. I've been back to making chainmail after watching Fleur on a recent show. This is made using silver plated jump rings and a toggle class from one of the findings packs. Hope you like it. Best wishes to all, and that's Laura. Laura, absolutely beautiful. Good luck, Stunning. you're 650. Good luck to you all as well. Amazing, amazing entries. Great inspiration from yourselves. Uh, do keep your eyes peeled on Wednesday morning. Find out who wins. Not long left of today's show. I think we could squeeze in one more star by. <laughs> Yellow Beryl, 
Oh, 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 oh. Don't see this very often at all. Beautiful, beautiful gemstone. So the beryl family consists of um, quite a few different gemstones. So you've got emerald, of course. You've got your blue variety, which is aquamarine. You've got your pink variety, uh, which is morganite. And then you've got your yellow, your heliodor. This is just, oh, colour and clarity is just exceptional. Just exceptional. Look at the clarity there. Oh, they are beautiful. Do you know what? I'm thinking actually, on the back of the shibori that we've just had, the shape and the size of these, these would be perfect addition to the kit, Linda, wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful. Because you could stitch these on in the same way. My word, that is glorious. I actually thought that was a zircon the first time I, I, I noticed yeah. it, but I can see now it's just got more of a champagne to oh. it, hasn't it? Gosh, they are. Diamond citrine, I've just oh. heard, come from the gallery. Ooh. That is spot on. That is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if really diamond is. and a citrine got together, yeah. that's what you get. That's the baby Fabulous. right there. Uh, 12 carats. <laughs> 12 carats of your yellow beryl. Graduated faceted rondelles. They're 2 by one to 4 by 2 millimetres in size, and that is an 18 centimetre strand that you have there. Again, it's not a gemstone we see every single day of the week by any means, is it? It's a, it is a rarity to see this gemstone. Do you know what? Straight away now, I am seeing this in with the shibori. In with the shibori, it would look fantastic. That sparkling with the Swarovski that we just had as well, and all of those seed beads, you've got the perfect gemstone here. Um, somebody just said serenite as well. Yeah. yeah. It is very, isn't it? Very much like uh, your serenite, which we don't see very often. Again, you know, it, we're comparing this to diamonds. We're comparing it to serenite. You know, these are, are, are gemstones that command high prices, rare gemstones as well. 12 carats of your yellow barrel. So, of course, it naturally, it's going to work with your aquamarine, you know, the blue variety. It's going to work with the green, the pink variety of your barrel as well. Collectors. I would be coming in and checking this out and getting it home. Using your 30 day money back guarantee, FJJN87 is your code for this one, 0800 644 pounds and 95 pence. Now, can you imagine this with the chrome dioxide, Linda? <gasps> yes, I can actually. I can oh. definitely imagine it with it. It's a beautiful vision as well. It would be real, a real spring-like freshness, the isn't it? You know, the, Chrome dioxide, the sapphire, the sapphire, I can see it with the oh, sapphire. Wow. It looks yeah. like a, a yellow sapphire mm. then, doesn't it? It does, it does. Do you know what, this would, this would go, because you've got such a light hue, it's a real delicate, it's just a kiss of a kiss. Uh, citrine it is. you've got there, yeah. there, isn't it? It would just look incredible see, it with is. It's like anything. It is like a yellow diamond, isn't yeah. it? A canary diamond. It certainly mm. is. Uh, well done if you've managed to check this out already. I've got lots of you coming through on the website this morning, or this afternoon now even. Um, FJJN87, it doesn't matter how many times you log in and check out, you've only got one postage and packaging. Take full advantage, full advantage of that. Yeah, as I said, it'll go with the Morganite early on, the pink variety, the aquamarine, you know that, oh, you know that, that one strand of Morganite that we had? Oh, my days. And then put the uh, aquamarine, that, you know that one strand of aquamarine we had as well? Oh, my gosh, it'd be overwhelming brilliance you've got there. Sparkle, you've got luster, you've got brilliance there as well. And you know what, above all, you've got rarity. Let's, let, let's think about, you know, the, when we have the multicolour strands of beryl, you have the blue, you have the pink, you have the green. Do you have any yellow in there? No. No, uh, you know, pretty much every strand of multicolour beryl, not seeing the yellows in there. That's how rare we don't have. We don't have enough yellow beryl to incorporate it into those strands. You ever seen gemstone quality yellow beryl? You do now. Well done if you managed to get that one. Gorgeous. Right. Um, Peridot. Oh, look at these. I love these. <clears throat> Talking of gemstone quality, take a little look at these. 
Oh my days. Sweet and indeed swoo. Oh, oh my gosh, look at those. Do you know peridot can often come with inclusions known as Ludwig needles or black spots? I'm certainly not seeing any there, are you? We are so close to those gemstones and look at that, no treatment by the way, no. No enhancement from man whatsoever. That clarity and that colour is what we should be seeing in Peridot. You are going to get, one, two, three, four, five, I'm missing a gemstone, not to worry, you'll get all six with yours. Um, you will get six of your gemstones and you'll get two of your earring bounce in solid 925 sterling silver. Now you have a huge carat weight, 3.7 carats of your Peridot and then you've got serious grammage for earring findings, 3.7 carats. And um, Shanghai Peridot, we're talking here as well, incredible, incredible location for this gemstone. Now Peridot is formed in the mantle of the earth, so most gemstones are formed in the crust. There's only two that are formed in the mantle, one's diamonds and the other is Peridot. Now the mantle is um, approximately 90 miles deep into the core of the earth. So when you think that actually this gemstone has come on such a long, long journey and retained its colour, that is ridiculous isn't it absolutely bonkers however um the um the mantle ab above the region of uh, sorry below the region of shanghai approximately only 50 miles so we believe that the, the shanghai peridot retains more of its color because it's come on a shorter journey if you like do you know what every every time every time 14 pounds and 95 pence all you have to do when you get this home is open the claws on the gem setting. You've got your gem setting tools, brilliant. If you haven't, don't worry. Um, open the claws, she says. Your gem setting tools are really handy. Drop your gemstones in and then close the claws. And that is literally how all of those earrings or all of those claw prong set gemstones that you see on the high street, that's exactly how they are set. So don't think that you can't do it. If you haven't got the gem setting tools off the website, you can use pliers as well. Just be very, very careful because you're dealing with 925 sterling. So I don't know, Ollie. Ollie just said, what on earth are you doing? I'm trying. I'm trying my best, Ollie. That's what I'm doing. Um, you also, on these, if you noticed, you've got a loop at the top of your earring finding there. So if you wanted to turn this into an earring cuff, um, you could, in fact, I'm sure I should have one in this box. Yeah, you know the little cuff that goes on the top of your ear and then you take the chain and you put it, I found the other gemstone, um, but uh, you, you take the chain and you, and you attach it to the cuff at the top of your ear, sure that will be in yours. ZL PK 49, well done if you've managed to get those right. Um, I've never ever seen the, anything like this before. <gasps> oh, Jinder Bromwell. Never. Double drilled. When was the last time we saw double drilled anything? I don't think I've ever. Spoilt for fluorite. Do you know that that really opens up a, an opportunity for a newbie to seed beading? Because trying to get sort of two rows through yeah. is quite, it's actually a bit of a jigsaw. Yeah. But that you can see immediately how to, to get your seed beads or silver spacers or whatever through that, can't you? God, look at the back. Do you see that one? The banding in that one that literally is zigzag. I've never seen that kind of banding before. You can see it on this one here. Um, as well. Look at, I've never seen banding like that on a gemstone. No. Literally, you've got a zigzag through the centre of the gemstone. £19.95. They are the last 19 chances. Do you know, automatically, I just want to put them across the wrist, Linda. Yeah, like automatically, and automatically with the deal of the day again, setting into the deal of the day with some... Wow. Um, the, you know the little, the gorgeous, um, fantastic under £10 rondelles that we... Uh, uh, they were rondelles, weren't they? The, yeah. Um, of the fluorite, there's yeah. really sparkly yeah, yeah. ones to go with oh, that. 
that. I mean, I loved I love the uh, same gemstone with the same gemstone, but with fluorite, because you've got all those colours of the rainbow in it, it just yeah. looks as if you've mixed up a load of different ones. Yeah, it's just fantastic. You've got greens, you've got purples there, the blues again, the teal hues, Beautiful. that banding. Look how different and unique. Oh, did you see that one there? Can we go back to that one? It's like there's a tree in this one. Keep going, keep going. Can you see it there? Look. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's a fluorite tree. Absolutely oh. beautiful. My God. Mandy the JM addict, Finn. Um, well done. Wow. Oh. Be rude not to finish with one of yeah, Linda's favourites. Absolutely, it would. Look at these. Very, very glamorous. These are beautiful. Five by four millimetres. size. That's a gorgeous size. Yeah, yeah that's isn't it? sort of what I call my bridesmaid size. Mm. Um, but rarely do I. I mean, even if I have a shibori kiss um, and there isn't a strand of pearls included in it, I'll do my best. But I often ring in and say, Can I pop pearls in? Because yeah. there's something about a pearl and silk shibori ribbon that really oh, works. It does, doesn't yeah. it? I guess it's. Um, as, uh, with the shibori, it makes us think of waves. Exactly. And, you know, it, it's you, just it's just the organic, yeah, yeah, the organic look. Yeah. Definitely. These are be beautiful size as well. Absolutely. Five by four millimeters size. in size. A fresh water culture potato pearls. You've got the real deal here. Not fake. Not synthetic. <laughs> <coughs> we better go <coughs> quickly. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. That, with your P&P, that's under £10. That is ridiculous. You've got any weddings coming up this year? These would be perfect. Bridal designs. You've got a wedding to go to, Leah. She, she actually nodded at me, though, just listening. Yeah, I've got a couple of weddings, actually. One, four weeks, potentially, after I've given birth. First night out. <laughs> oh, dear. BAMG14 is your code for these. Get them in your basket. Check them out as soon as you can. If you haven't dialed yet, you can do it now and get them home. I might have to add these to my order. I mean, know? these are the right size as well, isn't it? For, mm. for sewing into bridal wear, veils yeah. and edging and things like that. Mm. Whoopsie. They are beautiful. Um, do you know what? We're out of time. It's absolutely flown. Absolutely flown this morning, has. Uh, Linda, a massive thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think we said a massive congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> a massive well thank you um, for joining us this morning. When That's are you back? Um, a little, 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 little week, Sunday, I think it is, but I'm doing a workshop Friday. Okay, and check the uh, website as well for any future coming uh, workshops that Linda might have with the Shibori. I'm off to book myself on one, I tell you. Um, I will be back with you on Monday show. Not sure who I'll be back with, but do check in at one o'clock on Monday for the mid show because I'll be back then. You've got Rebecca Redican coming up next, taking you through the mid show with Gemma Crow. It's going to be fabulous. Don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. I'll be back here on Monday. Take care. When I look back on it, I think I was brought up as a beader, not a jewellery maker, a beader, because, you know, we always had my granny's button box and lace box and 